home. Don't laugh at the sunburn. <laughs> it's very embarrassing for me. Don't laugh. Please. Dude, I... So, I was at... In Utah. I, the sun is different out there. They got no trees. Just rocks everywhere. And desert. Unbelievable. The atmosphere is different. It's a different world, truly. No oceans to be seen anywhere. Hi, everybody. Oh my god, my lips are chapped. I got sunburned hard. I didn't even spend that much time out in the in the sun, dude. I really didn't. My skin is, is becoming fairer for some reason. Crazy. Oh, sick. Okay. Something that I was waiting for on the panda side just came in. Good, good, good. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday stream. It's a bit different, I know. But we've got some stuff we got to do today. So we're here. Did Send give you a swirly? Funny enough, I actually caught him in the bathroom. I didn't catch him in the bathroom. He was in the bathroom the same time I was. I told him to stop playing that piranha plant bullshit. Because he was making my blocks go longer. Because he was, he was having a laugh. Dude was just trolling. And my blocks were going long because his sets would go to game four and five. Even though he would win anyway. Because he would play Piranha Plant. Unbelievable. Wasting my time. Not the controversy? Oh yeah, let's address the controversy. Hold on, let's make a tweet. Let's address the controversy. There we go. The controversy is going to be addressed tonight on stream. Tonight is the night that we address the controversy. Can't wait. Where are the claimers? I don't know, actually. Maybe because it's a uh, Monday? Instead of a Tuesday? Ah, here they come. Okay, I got a couple. No, uh, this is not a normal thing. Uh, because it's Monday. I usually don't stream on Mondays. But tonight is the last night, and I know I'm going to break so many hearts by saying this. But please, just close your eyes and bear it. It is the final Roller Champion stream. I know. I know. It's all over tonight. I know. It's so sad, dude. It really is. You don't know what you got till it's gone. And we're at the end of the month. It's going to be tragic. Oh, by the way. <laughs> you guys know how I tried to get the raid numbers up to 110? You guys remember that? How I was pushing that? The number was actually 165. <laughs> so all that was for nothing. Whoops. There's no way we were hitting 165, though. No way. It made me mad because on the thing, if you look at the contract, it says 110 to 330. And those are the milestones. So I was like, oh, 110. And I didn't read further down. It's 165. Whatever chucklehead made that contract really put one over on me. Unbelievable. They really got me on that one. So sad. Thanks, Ace. Thanks, KT Slybox. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, everybody. I missed a bunch of people. Tonight is a weird night because I feel like we might hype train. And I'm going to have to owe you another subula. I know. I know. <laughs> Don't be mad, okay? But I'm gonna have to owe you another one. Tonight, I can't. I can't. I simply mu I cannot. B bro, do you know what I did today? Do you know what I did today? 
Uh, about... Well, I guess it's not that impressive anymore. I was in Utah at 12 a.m. I took a red eye right when I got... Uh, for, as soon as I was done with the tournament, at midnight, I hopped on a plane to get to Maryland. And I got in at 6 a.m., and my ass has been on and working all day. Mr. Never Breaks. Mr. No Days Off. Because I have to go to CEO on Thursday. So, otherwise I would have taken a later flight out, but I got Roller Champions tonight and some other stuff. You got beat up by a 13-year-old. What? Huh? That's Cat Williams. What are you talking about? Oh, workaholic ass? It's not even workaholic. It's a busy time right now, dude. It's just very busy. We've got CEO. That's the first event on the Panda Circuit. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be nuts. Smash Summer. Yeah. Do you have a stream schedule? I sure do, but not Mondays. Today's very different. It's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. And then Sundays at 7. Sundays aren't always because I go to tournaments sometimes. I was gone this Sunday. Next Sunday, I'll be gone again. And then Thursday, I'm going to be at CEO. So my plan is to stream tonight, tomorrow, and Wednesday. But I might take a night off to not stream. <laughs> I, I might take tomorrow or Wednesday off. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't been able to take any streams off because I have been doing Roller Champions and other sponsor streams so much. So I've been on for a while. So tonight, we're going to have a little bit of fun. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be good. How was your Father's Day? I spent it in Utah away from my family. Very sad. Uh, but I got a nice video, which is very sweet. I got a nice pre uh, present, which was very, very nice. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little bike carriage because I like to go for bike rides. And now Juliet can get in the back and we can drive around and... Uh, we're, we have a pool membership, too, so I can take her to the pool, and I don't have to get in the car. It'll be nice. Did you get Utah Arby's? No. Hold on. Okay. I did not get Arby's. Ah! However, however... Sorry if you already said this by how... Oh, she's Crown Canadian. Seems Sorry. Seems like a good tourney. Satch for dogs. Crown was awesome. Crown was great. Uh, I loved Crown. The owner and the guy that runs it, the, the guy that runs Land King, is awesome. His name is Michael. He's a great guy. Um, it had a very distinct, different venue because it was like an outdoor thing at a at a student like a university thing um it was awesome i loved it to death there were pools and hot tubs and shit you could watch outside it was amazing loved it um no it was great it was great i felt very bad for the buzz though because i was positive he was gonna lose and then he lost so we love michael yeah michael rules i love him he's awesome it was great um yeah, I couldn't believe the buzz lost again. I was so sad. I knew he was going to lose, but I didn't want to say that I knew he was going to lose because I don't want to jinx it. But it was obvious he was going to lose. That's how this... He never wins. <laughs> Mr. Second Place. Oh, Jake. Jake, you're in here. Jake, Hey, everybody raise a glass to Jake's mentions and his, uh, his situation for the next week. Good Lord. Good luck, my friend. Best of luck. <laughs> You are, you're going to go through it for a little while. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good God. Poor fellow. Good God. Godspeed. Yeah. <laughs> it's silly. It's silly. Drake's for Jake's. Yeah. Little late, maybe you got a sunburn or rally. Dude, I got sunburned as shit. And you know what's stupid? You can see, because I wore sunglasses most of the event, you can see it. Like, it's, it stops being pink here. So I had this stupid blue vein that I always have. It's annoying. Totally didn't DM Keck to see if we were banning Steve or not. You don't have to worry. I promise you. You do not have to worry. Unironically, if Steve gets banned, or if he's even close, that's when I go on a fucking warpath. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking now, because I, I think a lot of people realize how silly it is. But I do think that eventually, if it does start going up, I'm going to... It's so dumb. I think a lot of people realize it's a meme, but you never know. The community's young. Steve's strongest soldier? I mean, I don't know how powerful I am, because I tried to get Mies unbanned. Me and Gimmer gave two totally different arguments, and nobody listened to us, so fuck it. 
I've I have a lot more influence now. AKA I have a lot more viewers. I can yell at events now, which is nice. Uh so about the Arby's. Yes, sorry, forgive me. Um I did not eat Utah Arby's. But once again, this is my third clinical trial. I tried both Canes and Zaxby's on the same trip. Because I've done that in North Carolina. Or I don't think it was Canes. In, no, I tried just Zaxby's in North Carolina. I did it in Vegas. I did it in Orlando. And now I did it in Utah. Zaxby's fucking blows. It's not close. Zaxby's is not as good, period. It's so, dude, the fucking strips you get are this big. They're so small. It's awful. It's not good. Zaxby's fries are great. No, they're just crinkle cut with Old Bay on them. You can do that in the comfort of your own home, you dipshit. It costs $2 to do that. Go buy some Aura Ida or whatever it's called. Oh, is that for Oregon and Idaho? And buy some Old Bay. It's very cheap. You can do that. Cane's, Cane's fries or whatever. I don't care about that. But the fingers are always so juicy. They are delicious and the go. toast always hits. Cineblade 3 direct on Wednesday. I don't care about that. Shut up. I'm waiting for the real direct, which apparently is happening. Apparently somebody leaked that. But I don't know. I saw a tweet that was going around that was like, fans of a certain Nintendo franchise will be very excited soon. Motherfucker, what are you talking about? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> he was right, though. He was spitting. Come to think of it. No, Cades is delicious. EE e. and I have had conversations about this. And I think we hand shook on Zaxby's being... Uh... Do not oh, yeah. really hear the Saxby slander. He'll never forgive you. No, I think we, we, we hand shook on this because he loves Zaxby's and I love Kane's. And I think we came around that Kane's is the white person Zaxby's. Because you even have a golden retriever on the front. The The restaurant is named after a fucking golden retriever. It's for, it's for, you know, uh, it's fine. That's for us, you know. But we're welcome everywhere. Kane's is good, but overrated is fine. Dude, I just don't have a Kane's. I think if I did have Kane's, I would... I feel like how people used to feel about Chick-fil-A before they expanded everywhere, where everybody thought it was crazy, and then once it sort of, sort of gets overexposed, you know. Absence makes the heart grow fonder and all that, you know? Familiarity breeds contempt. I lived next to a Canes and I started to hate it after a few months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's probably a common sentiment. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Hello. I know it's weird to see me on a Monday. That's not typical, but I hope you guys are doing well. Kane's over Chick-fil-A? Yeah, obviously. Clearly. Hi, Coney. It was cool to meet you at Crown. It was good to meet you, too. It's good to meet everybody. I had a really good time at Crown. Uh, it was a great event. I love the outdoor venue. I, I might have gotten sun poisoning. I don't know. I got a headache and shit. But... Did you guys know you could get poisoned by the sun? <laughs> He's strong. He's a powerful body of gas and fire. I never put on sunscreen. I'm too I'm too tough for that. It's toxic masculinity. What do I look like? A pussy? Fuck it. Give me the cancer. I don't <laughs> I I don't put on sunscreen. I need to. I really need to. It's bad. It's really bad. I I have, like, dots all over my chest now that I didn't used to have. I've got, like, liver spots. I look like Mr. Burns, bro. It's bad. I got a red dot I didn't used to have. You guys get red dots? There. Can you see that? You see the red hand? The red dot? See that? Whatever, that's probably skincare. Oh, I'll peel it off. It's fine. I'll just peel it off, and I got a new layer underneath. It's not a big deal. I shed my skin every six months anyway. Thank you, Human Porch. Thank you, everybody that dropped primes and tier ones. I appreciate it. Dude, poor to buzz. Good God. That poor fellow. Can't believe it. Uh, Guys, really quick. 
before we get started with the agenda tonight, I want to tell you something. Do you want to know what that something is? I am this close. This fucking close to popping a web surf. I am this fucking close. Yahoo! Why does this keep happening to me? I'm so close. Yeah! But you aren't giving me enough good sights. Please help me. Help me help you. Go to websurf.coney.gg and drop the payload. Send it. Send the websites. You never use mine. That's because you send me dog shit. I don't want you to send me anything. Everybody else send me sites. Not you, though. Not yours. Yours are bad. Dude, I, I had one person. <laughs> I had one person, and I swear to God, this is true. Link 12 sites in a row that were all on one of those, like, have you guys ever seen those sites where it's like, click to get a random website? It's like, I'm bored.com or something. They linked 12 of those in a row. And I'm like, dude, this is, this. you gotta, these aren't good. These aren't good. You gotta do a little bit of work. I have a lot of sites, but I don't have like a, you know, I need like, a, uh, I need the oomph. Whichever one of you gives me the oomph, okay, I will shout out specifically on stream. I want to do this tomorrow or Wednesday. I don't know which day. I'm probably going to miss a stream either tomorrow or Wednesday. We'll see. Because I got to spend time with my fucking family. I go to CEO on Thursday. Can you explain the premise? Go to my YouTube and you'll see it. Although it's been a while. YouTube.com slash ZZ. Just drop a website. Drop a, a crazy website. I don't care what it is. It's important. Is the man at the top supposed to be you? Yep, that's me. That's a picture of me. That's me right there. YouTube Coney Poggin. It's the same. Oh, I, I've seen some of my strongest soldiers saying that Neon White is good. Can we confirm? Can anybody confirm or deny Neon White? Oh, it's good. Well, well, well. So fucking good. Sick. Okay. Let me add that to my wish list. I'll probably pick it up soon. I finished Forgive Me Father and The Quarry. I still haven't played Ninja Turtles. I need to do that, but... Neon White. Alright, I'll pick that up. Thanks, Justin. Big ups for the tier one. Humor is very anime modern. I don't care. Like, I just care about the gameplay in these kind of games. Not too worried about it. Thanks, another Justin. What the? <laughs> Two Justins in a row. Justin champing. Well done. Will we watch Quarry Deaths? Okay, I watched Quarry Deaths on my own. Dude, there's only one spot that pretty much every character can die. I was so upset. Everything is a fake choice. Did you guys know that? Have you guys seen it? Everybody can get infected, apparently. Everybody can be werewolves. But there's also only one part where everybody dies, basically. Abby can only really die at the scene where she died. Emma can die, I think, at two different parts. Or she becomes a werewolf in one part and dies in the other. Yeah. Nobody can die in that game unless you're an idiot. Yeah, it's bad. Did you see the best ending? Did I not get the best ending? I thought I did. I mean, I didn't get all the evidence of the podcast shit, but whatever. The quarry is kind of a letdown versus Until Dawn. Your first, uh, your playthrough is really fun to watch. I mean, it's always fun to watch and play, but yeah, it's not great. I don't know. It's kind of sad. Thanks, Overslept. I was kind of disappointed. I only had Max and Nick die. Oh, did you try to swim? <laughs> You dumbass, you tried to swim off the island. Omega laugh. <laughs> That's funny. Bro, I gotta show you guys something. You guys wanna see something? I'm gonna show it to you. I don't care if you say yes or no. You guys ready? <laughs>
<laughs> Beep this one. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in uh, foot, foot. <laughs> <laughs> I hate old people. This isn't a bit or a joke. I genuinely cannot stand old people on the earth. Get out of the fucking way! Unbelievable! That's you, brother? Unironically, I feel it. When it comes to me, like, still casting Smash Brothers, my ass is 33. I'm stopping other people from getting top eights or getting work. I feel this! But at least I'm not 80 fucking years old running a country! The leader of the free world! Good God, man! Unbelievable! <laughs> Bro, look at Kamala's face here. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. <laughs> I was gonna put him in a uh, foot. foot. Like, mm, well, well, well. <laughs> TikTok, Mr. Biden, two more years. <laughs> Congratulations to our first woman of color president. Can't believe it. What was that word, Mr. Biden? <laughs> Coney Vince. Can't wait. America will remember this. What was he trying to say? I don't know. This could be deep faked. This might not even be real. I, I maybe I've been fooled. They didn't have a stutter since he was in elementary school. Oh, uh, I listen. That's fine. I'm not trying to get all. I think it's funny <laughs> more than anything because everything this guy does gets documented on the. He fell off his bike and everybody was laughing at him, <laughs> which is kind of it's everybody falls off bikes. It was funny. I think he meant to say foothill of something. That's not a word then. That's not a word. He was starting to say I was at the foot of the Himalayas. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in a uh, foot, foot. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So he wasn't saying the single word. <laughs> Man. That's, that is some excellent out of context propaganda. I've been radicalized. It worked. <laughs> That's very funny. Full clip has him say a story and it ends with him saying the single word. That's a, okay. That makes sense. Oh, that's fun. That's good. What a delight. Okay. Let's do this quick. Let's not spend too long on this, yeah? <laughs> One of my favorite albums of my childhood, bro. This album goes insane. This album is insane. I don't remember the word. Dizzy the girl? Dizzy the... <laughs> I was actually trying to... I, I was actually stalling while I tried to come up with it. Dizzy Up the Girl. That's it. Dizzy Up the Girl is an amazing album. Sick album. From 1998. I was 10, 11, 12 when I, when I like started listening to it in like 2000, 2001. Amazing album, bro. A lot of you guys weren't alive for this. Thank you, Neon Lights, for the tier one. This song's crazy. Uh, Okay. What is that? Is that a car? That shit looked like a car. That shit looked like Mad Max. That's too many Mad Maxes. Oh my god, it is Mad Max. I never watched these fucking movies. I just guessed it. Is that Mad Max? What is Max mad for? Oh, is it mad like he's like, he's crazy. Crazy Max. His wife died. 
Motherfuckers will do anything to get away from going to therapy. You could just go to one therapist appointment or strap yourself to the front of this stock car. That's Furious Frank. Yeah, what's his name again? Angry Alejandro? <laughs> Serious Sam? Okay. The first one was not post-apocalyptic. It wasn't? I thought they all were. Pissed Peter? <laughs> Vexed Victor? I've never seen any Mad Max before, but everybody says that they're good. I feel like I'm not going to do this because it's like... It's probably better in a uh, in a theater. You know what I mean? Play Guess the Game? I don't know what Guess the Game is. Is that like a hurdle? Or like a wordle thing? I can't find it. That actually would be cool. Like a Guess the Game, but it's like screenshots of the game. But that sounds too easy. Link that? Guess the Duck Game. Oh, this is a game? Like a video game? That shit look like the Chronicles of Riddick escaped from Butcher Bay. That shit look like GoldenEye 007, but with mods. That shit look like Dead Space. <sighs> Got it. Can I go back and play the pa past days? That's good. I like this site. This site's fun. Dude, this bed, like, it's something about the screens in the bed, right? Very clear. What? <laughs> Why is this one? Oh, they tell you the developer. That's funny. I didn't even notice this, that they give you the, the stuff up there. How would I notice that this was Dead Space? That's insane. How would I ever know that? That's stupid. I would love to do more of these, but I guess you can only do one a day. Tough. All right. Last sight. Mm. Oh, that's, that shit looked like Rocky. Stupid. Choo! That shit looked like a Star Trek. I don't know which one, though. I guess just the new one. Ugh. Give me a f the hard one. That shit looked like Lord of the Rings. I'm not even going to answer anymore. This sucks. That shit looked like Gladiator. Did I already do this one? And that's 10 things I hate about you. This sucks. This sucks. Dude's not even trying. <laughs> uh, what are the top grossing movies of all time? Duh. And he just goes down the fucking list. Lego Brawl is the funniest looking shit. Dude. 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 <laughs> Guess who just downloaded it? I can't wait. Uh, I might play this tonight. There's a fucking demo. It's, it's a fucking... It's a battle royale game. With Legos. <laughs> Hold on. This shit got Jurassic Park in it? Vehicles? I can't wait, dude. This looks funny. We might play this tonight. If not tonight, then sometime this week. This looks very funny. I can't wait. <laughs> that looks amazing. Game of the year. Yeah, no question. Okay. First time on stream just submitted a cringe story about Bandcamp. Dude, okay, I gotta tell you guys this. I was just about to get started, but guys, so I was in Utah. Three separate people came up to me and they said, hey, I was in Cringe Confessional. 
I don't know what's going on with Utah, but that state has some awkward people. And they were all cool. Like, everybody I talked to was, like, normal. So I was like, what? One guy was like... One guy, one guy, he comes up to me. I swear to God this happened. Guy comes up to me. He's like, Coney, I submitted the cringe confessional. You read mine on stream. I was like, oh, cool. He was like, guess which one I was. Uh, <laughs> I, I couldn't possibly. What does that mean? Did you poop yourself? And he said, I'm the salute guy. And I'm like, oh, dude, you weren't even the cringe one there. That was the girl. That's the one where the girl hit the salute. That's not even you. That's not your fault. And then I realized he's from Utah, which means she's Mormon. So maybe that, like, may, you know, she wasn't comfortable with, like, talking to a boy. You know, maybe she was raised very strict Mormon or something. I don't know. Maybe she felt uncomfortable in the moment. I don't know. I'm kind of slandering Mormonism here. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I'm just assuming. It was all their faults for being in Utah. Yeah, it's a, sins of the father. It's the parents' faults for sure. The 1% Utahers hate that bit. Dude, I met... Okay, two things happened. One, I met a couple Mormons, and they were very nice. Some of the nicest people. I love them. They were awesome. Two, I met an alarming amount of women that said they love my content and my, my stream and my videos. And I'm like... Are you being nice? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. Uh, like, literally four people were like, I, I love your channel. And some of them were like, oh, my boyfriend and I love your channel. And I'm like, oh, that poor woman. The boyfriend is definitely putting on my videos. <laughs> you get it? Yes, honey, I get it. <laughs> I feel like my YouTube videos are like rom-coms for men. You know? Like, <laughs> like, she's sitting through it, so you'll watch The Notebook with her later. Right? That's kind of what I'm feeling. Yeah. <laughs> whatever it, whatever helps you bond, right? Whatever. It's fine. Me and my girlfriend watch panda quizzes. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, speaking of panda quizzes, if you guys are going to CEO, uh, come find me. I have an idea that I came up with that we're going to be doing at CEO, and I think it's going to be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be a good time. Okay. One second. All right. CEO is a CEO in California. It's in Daytona, which is apparently a shithole. I've never been to Daytona, and I'm scared to do it. Everybody has told me it is very bad, and I'm kind of scared to go. Um, but I'm in there because of my job, so. All right. Now, I'm sure a lot of you people, when you, <laughs> why do I say that, you people? I'm sure a lot of you out there saw the title. And thought, oh, there's Coney clickbaiting again. The title of this stream is that I'm addressing the controversy. And I'm sure a lot of you guys said, oh my god, Coney's trying to get us in here, whatever. No, I was serious. I have something very serious that I want to talk about. There's a controversy that you may not have even known existed. There's something that just dropped on the internet that I think a lot of you may have missed. But I'm here to inform you and alarm all of you as to the latest news. Watch Mojo's just dropped the top 20 greatest Nintendo characters of all time, and nobody watched it. 50,000 views? What the fuck? Only 50K? Now, I've heard a lot of people in the Smash community have been talking about banning Steve, right? Ban Steve. Steve is too strong. I feel like if Steve isn't on this list, he shouldn't be banned. If Steve isn't even in the top 20 best Nintendo characters, it's not even a discussion. So we're going to go ahead and watch this and see where Steve shows up, and then I'm going to make my decision. 
No, I forgot I have to do this. By the way, it's Watch Mojo Night, in case you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> We're going to do this, and then I've got a couple other videos. Well, let's have a good time. Tonight's YouTube night, in general. We got a bunch of shit. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down... I might skip through some of this, bro. 20 is a lot of characters. The top 20 greatest Nintendo characters of all time. 20 is kind of too many. Uh, 16. 16 right here. Once we get to the top 10, I want to make guesses. And maybe we run predictions. I mean, obviously, it's like Mario 1, Link 2... After that, I don't fucking know. Yeah. 16 right list, there. We'll be looking at the most iconic and beloved characters owned Surely. by Nintendo. Which Nintendo character fills you with joy and key? Ah, oh, fuck. My intro should have been that Watch Mojo just dropped their tier list. You play. Oh, that would have been funny. Love in the comments and then below. I could have clickbaited that. Fuck. Number 20, Captain Falcon. 20? Zero series. This motherfucker knows like five words. <laughs> Captain Falcon is one of the flashiest, most confident characters in Nintendo's roster. Confident? And we love him for it. As a well-off bounty hunter, Cap- Bro, why does he stand like this? He is- He doesn't have a neck! Cap spends his free time racing in F-Zero Grand Prix. Anyone who chooses to Bro, a high-speed, high-risk races high. has to have nerves of steel. That's a great machine you've got there. The Blue Falcon is the fastest machine on the circuit. He talks like that. There hasn't been an F -Zero talks like he owns a yacht. He's still regularly I hate Captain Falcon now. Super Smash Bros. series. His awesome fire-based attacks are almost he's as so cool. No, he's not. Him yell I don't names, like that voice. Which he naturally named after himself. I don't know anything about him. I didn't think he had a personality at all. Number 19, Princess Peach, Super Mario series. Okay, she definitely doesn't have a personality. You remember when she had a video game about losing control of her emotions? While it's unfortunate that Peach is a damsel in distress... Bro, N64 Toad is magical. I love N60. There is something so beautiful. Wait, I there used to be origami or like paper craft of N64 Toad. I need to look that up. Most of the time, there's, there's something no about N64 Toad that is just so. I I fucking love it. I don't know what it is. is shown to be I think it's because I like Kirby designs. You know what I mean? And elegant. No wonder Mario and Luigi work tirelessly to rescue her each time. Don't She's like the adorable. way. Don't like the way this guy is saying Mario. I'm not into it. But pick Good her as a play. fighter in Smash or put her in a sports competition and watch that adorableness turn to ruthlessness. Plus, kidnapping her makes a lot of sense. Without her, toads fall apart, and her floating ability makes her better at platforming than even Mario himself. That's literally not true. She's been in, like, one game. Bro, Birdo's got to be on the list, right? I love Birdo. Wario. Wario with 18? Are you fucking kidding me? Wario series. What are you talking about? He's funny as hell. Dude, Waluigi's gonna be higher. I'm. He's gonna. Oh, Waluigi's gonna be honorable. By mention. far I'm positive. the greediest character in gaming, Wario would be exceptionally. This dude's funny as hell, dude. First appearing in the Game Boy Super Mario Land 2, Wario became popular. <laughs> Click off with the vid died 10 out of 10. He's the exact opposite of Nintendo's mascot, I'm a this caricature one, bro. of a villain who's only out to benefit himself. This is so dumb. His silly characterization has set him apart <laughs> from most is... other Nintendo. I forgot this game silly... was like over the top detailed. This game is insane. Silly characterization has set him apart from most other Nintendo. I forgot about that. Yeah, otherwise. they went like the so hard off franchises. the sprite work. The platforming Wario Land and the micro game centric WarioWare, which is the dude impressive. reinvented He's the himself. He came up with a whole new genre. The wrong way. Which we deserves way more respect. They put that shit on Wario because they knew it would sell. That's crazy. Number 17, Pits. Are you fucking kidding me? Kid Icarus series. This dude over Wario. That's unbelievable. 
Look at he him. He starred in less games than many other Nintendo characters. Yet Pit has managed to become beloved all the same. To who? In the NES's Kid Icarus, Pit was tasked with defeating Medusa after she invaded his world. He'd only appear in a Game Boy entry before going quiet for years. But like many others, he was revitalized and discovered by more players through Super Smash Bros. D he was discovered, but it's not like anybody played those games except the Buzz. Did you guys know DeBuzz was like the best player of the 3DS game? Other game? He won like tournaments and shit. Uprising on the 3DS gave him a boost in personality as the peppy, joke-cracking no. servant to the goddess of light, Palatina. Literally just a shonen character. I don't know why we're acting like this is a... He's peppy and joke-cracking. Wow, how silly. He's just a fucking shonen teenager. It's we so just stupid. hope he gets another chance to shine sometime soon. Oh, did he say, did he say Palatina? I'm not going to make fun of him for that because it took me three years of Smash 4 to say it right. Wow! Number six. Wow, so Two. funny! Wow, how quirky! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and everybody says this game is good. Insane. Number 16, Ike, Fire Emblem series. I guess. I don't know. I haven't played these games. Happy Pride Month! Speaking Ike's gay, by the way, in case you were wondering why I said that. Smash, <laughs> so he's like, Ike why did Cody say that? Ike's hitters. gay, I think, One right? Isn't he gay? Somebody told me that. Send you flying. But in his own series, there's much more to him than his immense physical strength. I don't know if that's true or if it's headcanon. He Ike is. becomes the okay, leader there. of a group of mercenaries following his father's death. Unprepared and Actually, that's a good question. Will there be any non-Smash characters? That's a really good question. Because you would think with top 20, there would have to be like one, right? In over his head at first, he must uh, work hard to become worthy. I think there's going to be one. Journey, I think there will be he one. He grows to become a passionate, like Toad. strong Toad. hero. Maybe That's Toad? One of the best arcs in the long run Maybe? series, making Ike its most Honorable mention does not count. Honorable mention does not count. We will try to understand one another. Run a prediction. Re well, no, people can cheat. Never mind. Another. People could cheat. People could cheat. No, people cheat. People Number cheat. 15, Ness, Earthbound. That's. Does he have a per? He's not. He doesn't have a personality, though. The continued following behind Earthbound and its young hero always. The game has us. personality. Ness doesn't do anything. Status so efficiently. While part of that is due to Ness's inclusion in <laughs> They're Smash, just gonna keep the talking about Smash of his Brothers. adventure shouldn't be understated. A lovable kid Unbelievable. who's close to his mom and has a fondness for baseball, Ness's world is turned upside down when a strange meteor crashes in his town. Yeah, Ness doesn't do anything in the game. He's just a self-insert. From there... He I guess he does like baseball and whatever you like. The whatever your favorite Gygus, food is, that's his favorite food. Damn, motherfuckers, $80,000! Buy some rockets! Process. It's the type of adventure we all craved as kids. Oh Making my god, easy. dad is loaded! In Ness's shoes. Buy some rockets, young man! How do you pronounce syrup? Syrup. 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 <laughs> Unless I'm talking fast, Number then it might 14, be syrup. I don't know. Ganondorf, the Fourteen. Of Zelda series. Really? Bro, 13's gonna be insulting. The fact that Ganon's down here. 13 is gonna be the a monstrous tingle Ganon or something. As much as the next player. It's gonna be but bad. But it's the instances in which he's in his human form Does Smash come up again? Interesting. The long-time, constantly resurrected foe of Link and Zelda, Ganondorf has come close to taking over... Bro, if Olimar's on here, I'm gonna pop off. I fucking love Olimar. Olimar rules. He's coming. Merciless and incredibly Olimar is a patrician's choice. And using magic. Actually as a personality. I want to play Pikmin again. I love that game, dude. With hordes of followers and monsters at his beck and call, he's not someone. Olimar to be says five words. And you, also somebody didn't some read the, the journal. Fights the franchise has ever you really seen. didn't read his diary? Motherfucker is insightful. You illiterate bastard. Number thirteen. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go! Wait, why is he above Wario? This feels strange. What is he doing up here? <laughs> That's very weird when you... 
I don't know. The son outranks the father. You know what's so funny to me? I don't know if this is true, but I think I read it somewhere. They they needed so Wario was already in, you know, the 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 Mario canon, right? He's in the lore. And they needed a tennis partner for Wario, right? And they're like, okay, Wario is Mario's nemesis. And they're like, okay, we need somebody for Wario to team with. Uh fuck it, make Waluigi. And they were like, okay, does Waluigi know Wario? What's good? And they're like, no, he just showed up one day. Waluigi just actually just signed up for a tennis tournament and started playing. Which blows my mind. He's just a stranger. And it also implies that he never know he didn't know who Luigi was. He was going through his whole life like this. Could you imagine your name is is Dylan, right? And you go throughout your whole life and then you meet somebody wearing the exact same clothes as you but in reverse and his name is Wa Dylan. And he shows up at your place of work and tries to get you fired and take your job. J I, j just think about that for a second. Right? Terrifying. It feels so personal. That's some Twilight Zone shit. That sounds like a great Black Mirror episode, actually. <laughs> That's a really good concept. Nobody the steal that, that idea. That's Waluigi, very funny. Who has no That's very funny, actually. Has very so Twilight Zone, yeah. Honestly astounding. First seen in the <laughs> N64's Mario Tennis, Waluigi has made many appearances as Wario's BFF and partner in crime. Also, the fact that they aren't friends. Being a jerk what is this course? Else? What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, what is happening here? What is this? Wii U Tennis? Okay, I've never seen... I was like, is this the normal game? Okay. Ultra Smash. Okay. So they're just huge. Rather, All right. partner in being a jerk to everyone else. I was so confused. Despite only being created so Wario could have a teammate, Waluigi has managed to surpass his evil pal through an intensely passionate fan following. But uh, it's easy to see why he's been memed into oblivion. I don't Everything know. Meme lords make him kind of annoying. To his nasally voice, to his pencil-thin handlebar as a, As a big fan of Waluigi, uh, Waluigi fans possible. are insufferable. I, you know, I... Receiver. Number There's 12, so much to appreciate Fox about McLeod, him, but Star Fox series. I'm too cool for that. Fox again? I eh, I guess. Fox like does have like, a personality Fox at least. Forced into leadership following the death of his Fox father. is kind of cool. Only in his world, yeah, yeah, yeah. he gets to use an awesome futuristic fighter I bet Falco's higher. Justice. As the leader of I'll go the ahead and Star bet Fox there are no team, other Fox Star Fox characters. Do anything Actually, maybe Wolf. The Wolf, system, Wolf. They and We're not even in top 10. Holy home. shit. Team Star Fox. Ready for duty. While his origin is a bit dark, Fox never seems to let it get to him or distract him from doing what's right. <laughs> Bro, Fox is dead is named James. <laughs> Imagine your dad has a normal ass name like Robert and then he names you person or human being. Named his kid Fox. What the fuck? Nobody else has that. I guess Wolf, right? Falco isn't named, you know, what is he, a, a pheasant? He's assertive, witty, and self-assured, which is great considering his team includes the annoying Slippy Toad and the short-tempered Falco Lo That guy is old. What's that guy's name again? General Good Boy? I don't know his name. Who is that? Pepper? Oh yeah, that is Pepper. God, he's old. Lombardi. We're here because we gotta put this creep on ice. I don't like thin, lanky Falco. Lombardi. <laughs> I don't like this Falco. <laughs> he, he looks like a fucking scarecrow. I don't like that. I also don't like this monkey. We're here because we gotta Ugh. put this creep on ice. Not Number a fan 11. of that guy. Yoshi. Yoshi? Mario series. Eleven? Babies love Yoshi. 
His dad is in F-Zero as a playable character and is a human, which implies Dude, something. I saw that and I was wondering about that. That's bizarre. Five character debuts so splendidly that they almost immediately start getting spinoffs. That's what happened Dude. with Yoshi, the cute Yoshi queen is dino who brought another layer an of incredible to character. Super Mario World. Whether Four it's children. In the frequent ah! collaborations with Mario or the its best own Nintendo character is the fisherman trainer Yoshi in every Pokemon game that tries smile. to battle you with a team of only magic. Wait, that's a recurring character? That guy keeps existing. Wait, you can play this multiplayer? However, it's in the last. That looks fun. I might do that with Mallory. Series, most of which are charming. That looks funny. Themed, where Yoshi that sounds like a funny brightest. stream. Turning your enemies into eggs to use them as ammunition against your friends never gets old. And every adorable sound that comes from Yoshi's mouth makes us wish we could have one of our own. I don't want a Yoshi. I want a shy guy. I would love a pet shy guy. How tall do you think shy guys are? Like three Isabel, feet? Animal Crossing e series. Uh. Isabel's a cool character because she's actually a character. Has been with the she's like a workaholic, you know. Since the beginning, he very buttoned up. I like that. Next to Isabel, the endlessly cheerful Isabel's cool. Shih Tzu is the embodiment of wholesomeness. Literally all Smash characters. It literally is. Waluigi was on it. Isabel is the most helpful assistant we could have asked. Already for. wrong. We were delighted to see her return in spinoffs and to join our new island home in New Horizons. Isabel Always over Wario is a bit suspicious. Though. a bit spacey, Isabel has transcended her. But she does have more like personality traits, right? I'll give it up. A certain slayer. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. Number nine, Bowser. Nine? Super Mario series. I feel like if you're going to hold on to him, you got to put him higher, right? You'd be hard pressed to find a video game villain more well known than the fire breathing turtle monster that is Bowser. Do you think that's true? Do you think Bowser is the most. Like, if you go to Times Square and you show people a picture of Bowser. Do you think it, people would know him more than any other bad guy in video games? I actually don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know who'd be above him. If Okay, you show somebody a picture of Bowser and Wario. Which one do you think people would know more? What about DK? Yeah, Bowser and DK. DK wins. DK clears easy. I feel like Bowser isn't... Like, he's, he's mainstream, but I don't think he's that... Big, right? DK isn't a villain. He used to be, smartass. I think DK clears. I don't know, dude. I don't think Bowser's that well-known. Ever since the original Super Mario Bros, he's been kidnapping Princess Peach and unleashing all I, they would just say it's Pac-Man. <laughs> While he's they wouldn't know like their ghosts, friendly, right? Bowser's actions are pretty despicable. I'm about to go to Utah or back to Utah, yeah. He's constantly bringing destruction. Told his I think if I go to Times Square and I show people Peach into marriage, pictures of Bowser and other and wild bad guys from video games, Bowser will try I feel next, like he's not number one. I don't know why. I just don't think so. Is always so satisfying. Okay, eight more. Hold on. Samus, Mario, Luigi, Link, Zelda, Kirby, Pikachu, Jigglypuff? Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We're done. We're done. Mario, Luigi, Zelda, Link, Donkey Kong, Kirby, Pikachu, and whatever one I didn't say. Marth, stop. Number eight, Zelda. Relax. The Legend of Zelda series. Marth. While 
while she's certainly spent a fair share of appearances as a damsel, Zelda has gotten a lot more positive characterization than Peach. However, it definitely helps that there are multiple no. versions of her, reborn throughout Hyrule's history. Wind Waker Zelda was a fearless, sassy pirate. Skyward Sword Zelda had a touching relationship with Link. Breath of Wait. the Wild Zelda held an... This game has... You could you could pick a conversational route in a Zelda game. They don't matter. Okay. Skyward Sword Zelda had so it's a like a Paper Mario kind of deal. Okay, Breath never of mind. The Wild Zelda held an unholy Fine. magical beast at I should have known that. Century. I should have known that. That's on me. My bad. My bad. Beast, so I thought it'd be different. As easily as possible. Every She's British. On that divine beast, so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. I played through this whole game and I don't remember that. I forgot. Depends on your version. Oh wait, was she's not British in my version? <laughs> wait, I play. I played NTSC. Is she American? We we'll need some adjustments on that divine being so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. <laughs> we'll need some adjustments on that divine That'd beast be fun. so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. Every version of her is more impressive than the spits last. Spits tobacco. Extremely powerful has magic. an ornate, like, Deku pot that she spits her tobacco into. That's great. That could only come from being the reincarnation of a goddess. As the namesake of the series, Zelda is often shown to be exceptionally what is she bright doing? and caring. Willing <laughs> to do anything to protect her people. She's, like, vibrating, bro. <laughs> I beat that whole seven. game. It was pretty Donkey fun. Kong. Seven Donkey Kong series. That is crazy. It's strange and scary to think what the world of video games would be like without TK the Bros. Game it's over. That That's Nintendo unbelievable, famous. dude. Since the Apes debut and several DK rules. Releases, I love the DK, Kong dude. Series has evolved to become a platforming mainstay in Nintendo's catalog. I feel like DK is like a dad character though, right? Like, I feel like a lot of dads Primarily DK. through partnerships with Rare and Retro Studios. Second Donkey most Kong famous gorilla behind, behind Harambe. Who do you think the most famous gorilla is? It's King Kong. It has to be King Kong. King Kong, then Donkey Kong. And then... Coco? Coco's been dead for years, bro. She's irrelevant. She also couldn't talk. I watched a video on that. Exceptionally tough adventure. Harambe? That That's a meme. That's the a difficulty meme. Come on. Of Mario's. Although he's one of Nintendo's. Gorilla most Grod? Dim I didn't know that was a character until Injustice. I couldn't believe DC. Bro, DC was off the goop. DC had had all kinds of crazy shit, bro. They just they just come up with it was un it was unreal. Curious George? That's a good one. But Curious George isn't a gorilla. Character is he? He's a chimp. DK never backs down I from think. a challenge, be it stealing back his banana hoard or using his physical prowess. There's to his no Donkey Kong anywhere here. Sports. Wait. Oh shit! There he is. <laughs> Absolutely blowing ass Number here. Six. Luigi. Sixth place. Not even top five. Super Mario series. That sucks. I hate Even his goofy he ass. Mario across Stupid countless ass adventures, Luigi rarely gets the same amount of praise, and we think that's pretty unfair. He Luckily, had a year Luigi has worst a financial performance in Nintendo history. Few opportunities to step out of his yeah, he had a year. in the Luigi's Mansion series. It's the perfectly spooky, silly franchise <laughs> for a timid, scaredy cat like Luigi to star in. I want you to know, the year of Luigi was Iwata's greatest shame. He died... In, in a great deal of shame because of Luigi. He was on his deathbed, cursing Luigi's name. It's his fault! Damn you, Luigi! Well, nearly every encounter it should have been the year of Toad! His body shaking in fear, Luigi never leaves his allies behind. We <laughs> 50 hope that Luigi Toad always games. remains fearful. Please! Not only does it make us laugh, but it makes his heroism and reliability... Oh, yeah, the... I forgot. You kill a baby in this game. This was weird to me. Even back then. 
I'm like, that's a baby ghost. This is kind of fucked up. More special. It's baby Hitler. No, it's not. That's <laughs> There is no Hitler in the Mario universe. Wait. Mario is missing is a history game. Do they talk about... No. They talk about, like, ancient Rome and shit. Never mind, never mind. Number five, Kirby. Kirby series. I love Kirby, bro. The older I get, the more I appreciate Kirby. I don't know why. Nintendo has I a Kirby design is like fucking peak. But few can top the pleasant Character design, football, music, it's just like the stop. polish. Beginning with Kirby's The game sucked. The game Boy, players Except for the new one which was okay, it's pretty good. Kirby's unique ability, able to but swallow enemies and The design is attacks. excellent. How distinctly he operates depends entirely on you. Superstar? I think Superstar is good, but I'm also old. I feel like playing Superstar now is not good. You know what I mean? Like, if you play it for the first time now. Kirby has no bad games? Come on. Somebody told me? Hold on. Okay, somebody told me, and I beat this game, but I didn't do all the 100%, that King DDD, like, sends souls to Valhalla in this game. He is like a vessel for dead souls. Is this true? Was somebody fucking with me? Comment below if that's true or not. Because I, I think they were having a chuckle, and I didn't know. Subscribe while you're down there. I I'm not kidding. Somebody said that he, like, was... He, he, it's like part of the lore, like the deep lore, you know what I mean? That's a different character, oh. Who are the beasts back? Number four, Pikachu, Pokemon series. Cute. Juliet loves Pikachu now, she's in her Pikachu phase. Bro, fat Pikachu is so cute. I love fat Pikachu. <laughs> I love that. Uh oh, looks like we got some ads. Guys, give them the blink champs. How many ads did you get? Four ads, four blink champs. Create what's true to you. iconic status. There's no denying it deserves to be the mascot of Pokemon. Pikachu is by far the most recognizable creature from the series due to its cute and cuddly design. Is, and is its Jigglypuff still popular? A hefty wallet. Apparently, Greninja is like the most popular Pokemon, which is absurd to me. First appearing as part of the original generation on the Game Boy, Pikachu earned its own yellow. Oh, Jigglypuff's not popular anymore? Game. That's sad. I love Jigglypuff. Bro, he's Great. ugly. Ew. <laughs> oh, my God. Ew. That's a giant rat. He's a rat? Yeah, but he's bipedal. He's a giant... Be what's, a what's the closest thing to a bipedal rat? Is it a kangaroo? There has to be an animal I can't think I'm not thinking of. A kangaroo, right? A wombat? Are wombats bipedal? I I always get wombats and, and wallabies mixed up. Oh I I think okay. No, wombats are, are they have four. Rats can stand. Yeah, but they don't walk around. They don't do this. Stupid. I know they can stand up. Your cat can stand up. It doesn't do it all the time. Rocco is a wallaby. Dude, I know. Wallabies are just small. Dude, I this is this is not a joke. This is going to sound like a joke. When I went to Australia, when I got home, I literally looked up if I could own a wallaby. The answer was no. But I really wanted to own one as a pet, like domesticate it. They're so cute. They're just small kangaroos. The, that's all they are, For I think. I don't know. I didn't look up too much about it. They're so cute. It's in Pokemon. Though even greater when using them yourself in Super Smash Bros. Uh, Pikachu helps Pokemon Smash become again. a pop culture phenomena and deserves its popularity. <laughs> Number three, Samus Aran. Look up gerbils. They're really cute. Jer Jerboas? Ew! 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 Oh my god! That's gross! Ew! 
Oh my god! Oh my god, I don't like that! I don't like that! Ew! Ew! Oh my god! Why did you send me this? I don't like that! I don't like- They have flamingo legs! What happened? Ew! Ew! The rats on stilts! What the fuck? This is a sin to exist. God, when he created the Australia DLC, he just went off. God was like, uh, what's going down there? Pfft, I don't know. That continent is never going to interact with anyone else on the planet, so I'm going to put my most fucked up creations there. Australia is Kalid. It just has these fucked up things that will never go anywhere else. And they're all mammals! Australia just has a billion mammals of different variations. It's disgusting. They're Australian, right? I just know they're Australian. They have to be. North Africa and Asia? Okay, they were definitely from Australia, and they found a way over. <laughs> they, they, they jumped. They jumped from Australia. That's what this is. Anything that isn't a mammal will kill you. Yeah, Australia is the extra hard DLC, I think. They just, they just add all kinds of weird, wacky shit. <laughs> the toilets are in mirror mode. <laughs> For extra content. Detroit series. Look up sables. They're actually cute. Hold on. While we're animal posting. Oh, hold on. That shit look like an otter. It's like a cat. Oh, it's a big ferret. Sables are cute. I'll give it up for Sables. This means I get the thylacine post. You guys want to know one of my favorite animals? Don't get too attached. They don't exist anymore. Bro, thylacines. This shit rules. I want a thylacine so bad. Look at that. Look at that. Ew, don't show me that. It's like half tiger. It's like a dingo. Ant either dog, kind of. Yeah, they're gone. They died. He's like a tiger, bro. I love that. Is it because it's from Australia? I don't know if it is. No, it's a Tasmanian tiger. That's what they're called. So it's from Tasmania, which is very far away from Australia. I'll have you know. Bro, when I was in Australia... <laughs> Editor, I know, I'm sorry I'm giving you so much footage to wade through. I'm sorry. When I was in Australia, I looked up dingoes. Bro, dingoes are just dogs. Why they got a different name? They're just... They're dogs with like two generations. They're, they're literally dogs. <laughs> they're dogs who have been wild for like two generations. That's it. But you could like tame them. You could just bring them back. It's crazy. And they all look like this. I love dingoes. They're very cute. Does Samus really have a personality? If most other game or is her personality have not Samus having does, a personality, which is actually kind of a cool personality, but it's also kind of a cop out because number two and number one on this list, Mario and Link, also don't have personality. To deadly alien lairs, where everything from the atmosphere to the wildlife wants to kill you, we have a feeling they'd run the other way. But Samus has been proving herself a capable bounty other hunter M tried, since the well, NES days. They went the other way. <laughs> Oh, so Alpharad and I were talking about this game on the podcast. I did not know this. The faster you beat the game, the more naked she gets at the end. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I thought you always got the swimsuit, but no. She gets more naked the faster you beat it. That's crazy. You didn't know? No. Dude, look at this. The birth of speedrunning. Yeah, the faster you beat it, the more naked she gets. I had no idea. So this is... Uh, this is it from left to right. So, like, you find out she's a girl if you beat at a certain speed, but, like, maybe not really. It's just a haircut. Maybe she's carrot top. And then she's in a... She's in a one piece, and then she's in a bikini. I didn't know that. Crazy. 
It isn't just her incredible resolve, brilliance, and ability to use any weapon to her favor that earns her high placement, though that would be more than enough. As one of the first female protagonists in gaming, she's part of a legacy that is still influencing the medium. While Metroid has taken a couple of missteps over the years, Samus herself never fails to wow us. Well, Dread was just a big GBA game, but I guess it was okay. Sixty dollars though, Nintendo. Number Come two, on. Link, the Legend of Zelda this series. Motherfucker doesn't talk. I don't get this. The series may be. Bro, wait a minute. Olimar isn't uh, uh, named after the princess, uh, but it's Link who does all the hard work. Where's Olimar? The born hero is always fated to be the one who stops evil, which sounds like a miserable <laughs> existence. Why is he smiling? <laughs> I don't know why I never I never noticed this. He's actually okay champing. Distance to us. <laughs> Thankfully, the series is mostly comprised of whimsical adventures characterized. Everybody by tells me not to play this. Bravery, I've always Link wanted to try Wind Waker, but everybody says it's not the fun. Force of courage for a good reason. Olimar might be an honorable mention. Olimar is an HM along with Birdo. No matter the cost and to his own well-being, Link Absolutely. will always answer the call to save Skyrim. He's traversed There's only one bad part. Everybody tells me the actual like all manner of the the, the sailing on the ocean part sucks. Be excited to join him. I think the idea of Link is cool, which is like the same character but told through like a bunch of different time periods and legends. That's kind of neat, one, I guess. The me. Let's go! It could be anybody. It could be anybody at all. Let's go! <laughs> The Miis win, which means Olimar wins, and Birdo wins, and Toad wins. You want them to be. So how could the Miis not That's true. The Good point. Good. Yeah, they're spitting. No, as much they're as spitting. we like the Miis, there could really only be one choice for number one. So cringe. Before we continue, okay, be sure here we go. To here we go. To our channel and ring the bell to get oh wait, no, I thought they were doing honorable videos. mentions. Never mind. You have the option to be notified for okay. occasional videos or all of them. If Why even have phone, a number one? Sure one. Mario, like if you know who is going Mario on. Series. Tony, he said Skyrim. But... All right. I'm sure it was very funny. Uh, I didn't hear it. From Donkey Kong to Odyssey and beyond, Mario is the gaming icon. Not just for Nintendo, but, it could have been but anybody, for the entire bro, art like... form. He saved the home video game market from the brink of death with the NES, and has since appeared in an innumerable amount of games. Yeah, but he didn't Always do brave that. and never wavering, Mario has been at the precipice for groundbreaking and highly entertaining gameplay with each release. Whether he's saving Princess Peach, putting his dukes up in Smash, racing in Mario Kart, or getting cut through and Mario Party. What happened here? Why is it all squarey? What the hell is that? Every appearance is a celebration. Video games Ugh. simply wouldn't be the same. Emulator? It. it looks like that? <laughs> looks like a bunch of TVs. Kind of a cringe list. Kind of a cringe list. No Birdo, no Toad, no Olimar. What are you going to recommend to me? For more Top 10 weirdest unlockable. Top 10 video. Oh, what? Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what? Got unbit. What game is that? Is that Wolfenstein? That has to be Wolfenstein. Oh, okay. Oh, it's this. I think I've seen this. Yeah, no, we've seen this one. Because it has Carmageddon and, uh, I don't know what that is. Roblox? God of War, because you sleep with two women. Player unknown. Roblox? Oh, have you guys not seen? I, I thought we saw this list. Hold on. Uh, maybe we haven't. As online games become more focused with the free-to-play model, the easier it is for kids to jump into these games regardless of rating. This has led to some governments claiming certain games are corrupting the youth. Uh, that was the case with Roblox and the United Arab Emirates. Okay. The UAE banned the online service in May 2018, possibly under the belief that Roblox is harmful to children. 
Funny I enough, mean, Roblox was not banned for as long as some of the maybe. other games on our list have, and kids in the UAE can play on the website with no problem. Honestly, maybe. If there's nobody overseeing the fucking games and kids can make whatever they want, yeah. Not terribly wrong, right? Okay. Number eight, God of War series. Because you sleep with two women. There's a scene in the game where you sleep with two women and you mash the button to do it. Kratos is in a bit of a I weird think. spot with this. No, Saudi wait, Arabian I think you sleep with three women. It's like a mini game and it's two and then three and then the maybe four. I don't know. In Saudi Arabia, Something like that. Violence, nudity, and the use of the word God in the title. While <laughs> these games are still banned today, there is one game in the franchise. Rename it the Man of War. For sale, the 2018 God of War. Despite the game not featuring any nudity or sexual You sleep with Aphrodite while her two servants watch. Oh, is that what it is? I'm pretty sure there's a threesome. Arabian government's beliefs. Yeah, I'm pretty totally sure the game is a threesome at some point. Okay. Okay. Say what you will about, like, this now and how silly that... This fight was cool as hell. This fight seemed ruled, dude. Number seven. What a cool character. Unknown's battleground. That's a cool character, dude. As we mentioned earlier, many online games get attacked for being a danger to the children. Sure. We can certainly understand yeah. the concern for a game like Roblox, which has players of all ages and backgrounds. The case mm -hmm. with PUBG is more confusing, though. As the UAE did with Roblox, Nepal banned PUBG in 2019. Claiming Shit's the too game addictive. Was addictive to children and teenagers. I got Considering it! The I knew it! Considering the spiral and player base that PUBG was going through at this time, we're honestly surprised Nepal didn't go after Fortnite instead. Nepal okay, unironically, unironically, do you think there will be a point in our lifetimes where we have to ban a game because it becomes too addictive? Like, like, and it won't be, like, laughed at, you know what I mean? I feel like it's going to happen. Games are getting better at it, and eventually we're gonna break through some kind of, like, singularity where we make the most addicting fucking game, and it's heroin, right? WoW came close. I guess the issue is that all games become obsolete over time. So by the time that you come up with regulation or or legislation about it, the game's probably old hat. You know what I mean? Huh. I'm suddenly really interested in this. Because I feel like, you know, this is like LOL government out of touch. But at some point, dude, they're going to trick our brains. Somebody's going to be a fucking zillionaire by by unlocking that part of your brain that wants to see the number go up and doing it in a way that's masterful. You know what I'm saying? Paul's Gamer singularity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having been lifted a few months later. Hmm. Microtransactions might be the closest thing that the closest thing now, but Number I feel like over time it's going to get worse. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. Yeah, this is this is cuz they thought it was a school shooting At thing, the time and it of its wasn't. Launch, Bully proved to be just as controversial yeah, yeah, yeah. as Rockstar's flagship franchise. Several By the way, one of the best the game games Rockstar has ever made. To beat up their fellow students. I I played this game like two years ago, three years world. ago. It was Roughly very two good. Years after release, Brazil would ban the game from sale in the country, citing a study that claimed the game could cause potential harm among teenagers and kids. It wasn't until 2016 when the ban was lifted. Just a couple Not as of good as Earthworm Jim 3D. Really one of the worst games. Have I told you guys my Earthworm Jim 3D story? I feel like I have. Worst game I've ever played. It's on PlayStation 4. Oh and my god. I have a story with that game. Bad language, I haven't heard it. Conduct, I rented that staff. game. So I was a huge Earthworm Jim mark, right? I loved Earthworm Jim. Rented that game from Blockbuster because it was the only place you could get it at the time, I think. Played the first level. The first level is like a, a rodeo thing with Psycho, and you have to pick up 100 orbs before he does. But also, if he runs into you, you drop your orbs, but you could run into him and make him drop his orbs. And I spent two hours on that part, and I cried. I couldn't beat it. So, I, I, this is just how I remember it. I don't know if this is true or this is what's really happened, but I remember hating Earthworm Jim 3D. Or any other nonsense, not at I've been all. streaming it, been stuck on the Elvis level for four hours. Number five, Tom Clancy's I remember Ghost spending Recon a lot of time on Tom that. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory and Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. Oh, they hate Tom Clancy. What's going on with Tom Clancy, bro? 
Yes, we have ourselves a triple whammy of bans as these games were all banned for the same reasons. Each of the game's storylines took place in or touched upon a war between North Tom Korea Clancy and South Tom Clancy is dead? Oh yeah. Two countries that have long lived in tension with each other. That's in what it is. Possible Ghost game. South Korea would ban all three games from sale at the time of their respective launches. However, the bans would only last roughly two years, each one being lifted in 2007. Perhaps this is one of the reasons oh, why yeah, modern yeah. game companies try not to commentate or stray too close to political subject matter. Okay, yeah. We love non-political games here. It's just darkness. Remember, your games like Metal Gear Solid. Number four, Half Life. Half Life was banned. Like Bioshock, yeah. We know I was trying to think of a funnier Anyone example. Bioshock's the funny one, yeah. FPF games to ever exist. Well, the government of Singapore tried to, and is one of the most controversial topics in the country. Singapore? Sometime in 2000, Singapore's government announced they were banning Half-Life for the most heinous crime imaginable, being violent. Retailers were ordered to pull the game from their shelves, while okay. other shops were straight up raided. The outcry became so tumultuous that the government was eventually pressured into lifting the ban a week later. They weren't missing much, bro. I... It's gonna- this is gonna sound like bait. I swear to god it's not. I genuinely, like, I know this is going to be like a clueless, clickbait, coney, you know, contrarian take, whatever. I- uh, I mean this genuinely. Half-Life is the most overrated franchise of all time. And I'm not kidding. It's not... It is. It was good at the time. They're pretty good at the time. They're all tech demos. The story is not that interesting. It's just these games are immensely overrated. I just have to make sure that we all understand that and we're all on the same page. Thank you. Number three, Manhunt 2. This is insane. Oh, yeah, that's because this shit was violent. Ew! Bro, stop! I'm streaming. Killed him. I always wanted to play yes, this game. Yes, <laughs> another Rockstar title that has seen its I played the first one and I liked as it. Unsurprisingly, I sound like a man. fucking psychopath. The Republic of Ireland joined the UK in prohibiting sale of the game due to gross, is he peeing? and gratuitous violence, citing the then realistic kill animations and graphic nature. Of course, Manhunt 2 launched, got some mediocre review scores, and everyone. Manhunt 2 fine. is allowed on Twitch? Wait, Ireland really? I'll never stream it. Game Whoa! Game what the fuck? Which, you know, tells people that this game should only Stop! be played by folks who are age 18 or older. Oh my god! Number two. That, okay, I was gonna skip that. Wolfenstein series. I will saw your head off with this here appliance, you hear me? This shit had to have been banned in Germany. This had to have been a Germany game. It is worth mentioning that Wolfenstein hasn't been completely. Wolfenstein is actually a good series now, the yeah. Franchise was refused a rating and denied it's insane. The, and even the series is crazy now. Order was allowed Between New Order the country, and the other one, whatever the new one was, New Blood or whatever, Old Blood, it was good. Changes. Removing all Nazi imagery. This is because the German government does not view video games as a work of art, only a toy, a means to entertain and nothing <laughs> oh more. Oh my god. Therefore, they don't want toys Blown to the fuck out. like the Nazi flag or Adolf Hitler. Meanwhile, most other countries where the Wolfenstein games are sold have made it clear in their ratings that the games are not suitable for younger audiences. Games are the Nazi Yeah, flag. so this scene... So, in this scene, you act like Hitler has a play, and you act as Hitler in a play, I think. And in this scene, he, like, pees himself and is, like, super old and senile. You act as BJ? Oh, you act as yourself. That's what it is. Yeah. And he's, like, very old and senile and paranoid and, and decrepit and all that shit. It's a really weird scene. It's very bizarre. Means to entertain and not... Meanwhile, games are not suitable for younger audiences. When I played, I was like, huh. He's Before extremely we continue, drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. It's a weird the scene. The, these games have really videos. strange set pieces. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into Beating your a dead Hitler. and switch on <laughs> notifications. He's not here to defend himself. Number one, Grand Theft Auto 3. This game probably sucks today. When looking at banned video games, no country has a list quite as extensive as Australia. Well, maybe some countries. 
The Australian government has long been a minefield for video games, with many games being banned for reasons some would consider a minefield for video games, with many games being banned. What the fuck is this person? That's purple guy. <laughs> I, I thought it was a pimp. Like, there are pimps in these games. But there's not even a hat. <laughs> Lean monster? <laughs> the fuck is this? And there's not even a person here. It's just purple. Okay. Reason some would consider Where is he going? Were unreasonable. Shockingly, one of the few games that have had their bans lifted was Grand Theft Auto 3, which was prohibited from sale due to the possibility of interacting with prostitutes within the game. GTA 3 would see a release in Australia, but it was only after Rockstar removed all possible interactions. It wasn't uh -huh. until 2019 when Aussie players would finally get to experience Rockstar's Does Australia title hate prostitution? In its state. Is Australia like a really Puritan country? It's legal there. Wait, what? <laughs> huh? I wouldn't think it is. That's crazy. Because, it, yeah, it's a prison colony. I don't know. I thought that they were more loose with that shit. That's crazy. It's super conservative there. Really? I didn't think so. I know that they ban a lot of video games, but it's like a media thing, right? America is the same ban sex scenes, but get people's heads blown off. I told you guys that story, right? I'm going to tell YouTube because YouTube hasn't heard this, I don't think. Uh, so when I was on my way to Portugal, I watched The Suicide Squad um, on the plane, the DC movie. And uh, that movie is extremely gory. People are getting shot in the head and there are guts everywhere and brain matter and skull fragments and shit like that. But John Cena didn't say a single curse word. Everybody just saying dang and darn and freak. And uh, there's a scene in that movie, right? This is the second Suicide Squad, the good one, people say. There's a scene in that movie where one of the characters uh, tells the other one to eat a bag of dicks or something. And the other one is like, I'll eat, I'll eat a whole forest of dicks. I'll eat as many dicks as you tell me to if it means I could save this country. I'll eat plenty of dicks, right? And that's the bit. But in the movie that I saw, they didn't say that. They said bricks. So he tells John Cena to eat a bag of bricks. And John Cena talks about eating bricks. And I'm like, this is a really weird scene. Why are they doing that? And then it connected in my head. Oh, this is censored. Still works? Not quite the same. I don't know why they would insist on that so much. It was very strange. I was very confused. So yeah, for some reason, violence is okay. We love violence in America. All right. <laughs> All right, we had two video game lists for you. This one is for me. I have to know this one. These are the top 10 creepiest things that have been found on Google Earth. You have to imagine, Google is watching us at all times from a satellite in the sky. They've seen some wacky shit, and I must know. Please tell me. What has Google Earth found? Come to watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our I can't wait. The top 10 I bet this video boring as hell. Uh, things found on Google Earth. What's going on there? What? Those Google Earth folks, what caught me with my britches down. For this list, we'll be looking at the Jellyfish? most unsettling, questionable, and mysterious things that can be or have been found on Google Earth. Which of these do you find the creepiest? Oh, God! Let us know in the comments below. Dude, if somebody has a monster or something, like, if there is an alien, Google Earth would have found it. Number Absolutely. 10, the Ghost Girl. Oh my the god! of ghosts will probably be debated <laughs> for the rest of human history. Ghosts are real! Ghosts are Holy real! Holy shit! Ghosts that one took me a second. But regardless of one's beliefs, there's no denying that ghostly photos are spooky. A very popular ghost can... Dude, in a cemetery? In Texas's Martha Chapel Cemetery. A street view photo shows what looks like a pale ghost girl peeking out from oh the Oh my tree. god! Skeptics thought it was nothing but a knot in the tree, or even a real girl being playful with the camera. This was seemingly confirmed by YouTuber. Okay, that's John clearly Wells. like a joke, but comments, Jesus Christ, the dude! Detailing the photo, Wells claims that the little girl is his daughter. She was supposedly hiding. Why is she so pale? Shot a panoramic photo for Google. That's disappointing. That's terrifying, dude. Number nine, the North Sentinel Island shipwreck. Oh my God! Located in the Bay of Bengal. Dude, how did people think that a go that was a ghost? I think there's a little bit of like suspension of disbelief, but regardless, if you stumbled upon that on your own. 
Are you telling me you would not shit your pants? Because I would. Bengal, to the southeast of India, I'd is be North scared Central to death. Island. It's primarily known as the home of the Sentinelese, an indigenous group that's completely isolated from the outside world. Trespassers will be shot on sight. They are known for being violent and have even killed cool outsiders clip. who have approached their home. Even after the 2004 tsunami, a member of the tribe was photographed on the beach firing arrows at a helicopter sent to check on their well-being. Found on the northwest shore of the island is an old shipwreck poking out of the water. This is the MV Primrose, a cargo ship that ran aground off the island in August 1981. The crew was stranded oh my God. for several days and even noticed the armed natives making boats on the beach. What is, what is this scene? This is Star Trek. Luckily, they were rescued by a helicopter. Let's have a little, uh, a little native Sentinelese uh, gravitas on this. Those people iron. had to fight for their Number lives. Eight, hell on Earth. Wickles has led us into like a terrifying ghost town. <laughs> ghost town? Yes, a ghost town. Maybe. Dude, imagine you're stranded on a desert island for days and Watch Mojo makes a video on it and and puts on a video of Star Trek and Scooby Doo. <laughs> Silent Hill is a real place. That's your and legacy. That place is New Baltimore, New York. I would be pissed. Well, you'd probably be dead, but a small town of roughly 3,000 about 2 hours north of Manhattan, New Baltimore was once completely ruined on Google Earth. A creepy glitch <laughs> occurred whenever users would enter the town, oh making my God. everything look off-colored and droopy. Great Holy shit, it dude! It like a cross between a nightmare and a bizarre piece of art, and it only happened within the boundaries of New Baltimore. Once the user left the town via the main road, everything would revert back to normal. That's fucking insane. Silent Hill, it was nothing but an unfortunate technical glitch. Yeah, right. I would move. I would move immediately. That town is about to sink into the fucking earth. It's also long been fixed. As Google it's the work of the devil. The in 2015. No Number way. Seven, Detroit Shotgun. In September of 2009, oh the Google car was driving in Detroit when it crossed a house with a green porch. Standing on the porch were five men, one of whom was holding a shotgun. Don't look back. Just keep uh... driving. In one image, the man is holding the shotgun across his torso. And in the next, he's clearly aiming oh, at fuck! the Google car. It's likely he was just trying to showboat as no shots were actually fired. <laughs> oh god, look out Google. House became known to the police unfortunately as a young child was found deceased in one of its closets a few years after the picture was captured. Oh my god, you're killing the fucking mood. Those oh, hoping to man. look at the photo on Google now are out of luck as the that's, house has Oh, been that's alerted. fucked up, man. Number Come on. Dude, the fact that Watch Mojo just just reports on this shit just like he's the, uh, six pigeon people japan what is what is what how are you going straight from that to a fucking ben stiller clip it's happening in japan what, what, what why is she going to japan one of the most by the way a child died yeah i i fucking hate youtube Famous you could have just not told me yeah eight people in western tokyo wearing pigeon masks and staring at the camera when the user goes down the pathway and looks back the pigeon mask wearers are again facing the camera with a few leaning into the path to be seen. Okay, this isn't creepy at all. This is just a, is like a Reddit meetup. Not about up. the pigeon people, but it's assumed that they're a group of students from the nearby Mushishino We're gonna Art epically University. troll Google Earth. It's a Earth. harmless prank, and they're not doing anything that Omega would get them blurred out. They knew exactly what they were doing, and it worked perfectly. Hey, hey, I got a few. How long would this video be without these clips, bro? It's already nine and a half minutes. The birds. So. You got any of those uh, mini ritzes? They were later no, all five. found dead. Desert glyphs. Data, what the hell is it? Don't tell me that! Scientists working with the Aerial Photographic Archive for Archaeology in the Middle East have been studying a truly bizarre site. Found in the Azraq Oasis of Jordan are various geometric shapes without any specific This shit pattern. looked like a brain. It's some form of elvish. I can't read it. There are a few who can. Some are circles with spokes radiating out from the center, while others are more triangular or rectangular in shape. The exact purpose of these shapes are unknown. Uh. Stargate. What we do know is that they are over 8,000 years old and that they align oh my God. with the sunrise on the winter solstice. It's amazing to think that our distant ancestors made these glyphs, let alone that they would be seen from a fancy camera in space near... Bro... What if the Earth cracked open tomorrow, and it turns out Earth has been pregnant with an alien baby for thousands of years? 
Earth is an egg. Earth is an egg with an alien baby inside of it. And all of these markings are just are part of the birthing process. Like the like the, the, the getting in. You know what I'm saying? Chrono Trigger? Oh, is that Chrono Trigger? <laughs> is that actually Chrono Trigger? <laughs> I played that game. I don't remember it. I came up with it, actually. I did that. That's a cool idea. Literally the plot of World of Warcraft. Well, what the fuck? If it's five different games, then it's original. I came up with it, too. This is the plot of Eternals from Marvel. <laughs> okay, but mine's ah, different. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is literally the plot to the Eternals. What the fuck ever? What if that happened? Wouldn't that be cool? Not for not for us, because we'd be dead. But like for other planets that heard about it, they'd be like, yo, man, you hear what happened to Earth? That's crazy. That would be so cool. And then watch Mojo can make a list at it. Ancestors made these glyphs. Top five alone, catastrophes that happened to Earth. Camera in space Number one, 10, the birth. Years later. It really puts human history into perspective. Number four, the Nancy figure. One oh of my the most God. famous images on the Google fuck is Earth that? can be found in the French city of Nancy. Nestled oh, that's just a French guy. The complex is what can only be described as the creepiest statue <laughs> in the world. The statue is dark. It's just a French guy. Come on. Has long stringy hair and piercing white eyes. Don't look at her eyes. <laughs> this French fellow had too much wine. <laughs> he just woke up from his wine nap. <laughs> Black in color and has long stringy hair and piercing white eyes. Don't look at her eyes. Don't look at her. Many people think it looks like some bizarre. Me when I eat too much baguette. Think it's a particularly disturbing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I am less sleepy. Yeah. The statue quickly I've had viral, too much cheese. But it all proved a little too much for Google. For reasons unknown, the general area of the apartment complex is now completely blurred out. What? Huh? Why? Maybe we all saw something we weren't supposed to. I've seen enough. Uh. Shut it down. This is Pineapple Express? The fuck? Check on Google Maps? Where would I even look? <laughs> I got it. You, you want me to look through all of France to find that person? No. Absolutely not. Maybe we all saw something we weren't supposed to. I'm not I'll looking through all of Nancy. Shut it down. Number three, Sidewalk Baby. <laughs> this entry is a rather concerning... Bro, at Gucci? This baby fancy as hell. This ba baby is loaded, dude. That looks like a new fit, too. This is going to be a really sad story, and I'm going to be really upset after this. The baby crawled out of a Gucci store and into the road. It did not survive. Insert a clip of, like, I don't know, Caillou being taught to hold hands with his dad to cross the road. <laughs> the, the fucking watch Mojo. I, I don't know what to expect. In combination of sand Brian getting hit by the crowd. Brian Griffin. And creepy. Dude, this movie's crazy. You guys see this movie? I saw this on a plane. Crazy movie, dude. Good movie. I, it felt a little masturbatory. It felt a little like, ask me what it means. Ask me, but, you know, it's fine that movies are a little more like allegories than... But it was a little... It's, it's, a, it's crazy. You see everything on a plane? I travel a lot. Where is he? The image it's obvious. Yeah, it's not like super ambiguous or anything. Fours. You're right. No one is around, and the baby is situated right next to a darkened Gucci store. <laughs> the fact that the store is dark and that there's no one else on the sidewalk seems to suggest that the photo was taken in the early hours of the morning. So why is this poor baby alone? Are its parents hiding just out of sight? <laughs> Did they leave it outside while they hiding? ran into the store like a dog? Worst of all, did the baby somehow escape from its home? I'm taking a stroll. He's taking a stroll. I'm taking a stroll. Who said that Brian Griffin clip? You were close. We don't know the answer. Pretty good, actually. Close enough. Yeah, not bad. Isn't that Joe over there? Wait, we never got an answer to the baby clip? I guess I guess you would never, but why is there why is there a baby here? <laughs> <laughs> I, the parents back here, I guess? I don't know. I'm actually really curious now. Nancy got even worse. Hold, uh, Will, what is this link? 
Look at this curse link that Will just put into my chat. All right, let's take a look. I should probably go into incognito mode. What? What? What is this? Oh, you can't see the whole... You can't see the whole house? Is this the house where he was? What the fuck? The whole house is blurred. Let me in! How do I unlock this? Can I go behind it? <laughs> there has to be a way to unlock this house. I'm gonna go through the back. Hold on. <laughs> let me in. No, no, no. Let me in there. <laughs> let me through here. Can I go in there? Okay. Paid DLC? Yeah, I guess they're like... That's an area I'll be able to access later. That's what it is. Dude, this is insane. It's actually fully blurred on all sides. That's insane. <laughs> what is happening here? Found out of bounds. Yeah, I, I'm not supposed to be there yet. Oh, what? All the more disturbing. Isn't that Joe over there? Dude, yeah, what if that's how the house just looks now? Like in real life, what would you do if you were if you saw that house, right? If you're walking down the road and there's just a blurry area. God. You know, that's some weird baby. Traverse the fog wall. Oh, perfect, like my little jaw. Number two, Kazakhstan pentagram. And because we rejected God, tacitly what? accepting Satan, we must suffer through the apocalypse. Anytime a pentagram can be seen from space, you know it's going to garner attention. What the fuck? That's real? Satan! Satan is coming here! The ground at Kazakhstan's Upper Tabul Reservoir. Oh my god. The reservoir god. is in the middle of nowhere, and it looks like some serious effort went into carving the symbol. That would take a long ass time. Look at how big that tree is, dude. This is like half a mile. 1,000 feet in diameter. 1,000 feet. Okay, well, that doesn't seem that big, I guess. Satan. Creepy though as it is, the pentagram may not have an unsettling origin. An archaeologist named Emma well, Usmanova believes that it's nothing but a park or a campground that was made in the shape of a star. Right. That's because Kazakhstan once belonged to the Soviet Union, and the USSR was quite fond of using stars in its design. That's a different... that's not the same star. <laughs> that's not the same star at all. This is copium. We continue. Although, I will point out, the only reason this is a pentagram is because Google looked at it upside down, right? Like, if Google's satellite just looked at it the other way, it would have been a nice star. Or even, like, tilted a little bit 45 degrees. Right? This is a Google issue. Into carving the symbol, this is Google's fault, over bro. 1, feet in I like stars, too. I think it's pretty. And ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. I would never. One of the greatest curses you could have is to watch every Watch Mojo video as it comes out. Sounds like a nightmare. You have the auto into your settings and switch on notifications. What a fucking disaster. Number one, Australian Triangle. Back in 2007, Google users came across a rather unnerving sight what? when exploring the Australian wilderness. Mr. Prime Minister! Andy! Andy! Hi, <laughs> mate. What's the good word? Excellent episode, by the way. This episode rules. Found basically in the middle of nowhere was an eerie triangle. <laughs> Nine hundred dollar he does. Popular images of UFOs immediately spring to mind, and of course, this became a leading theory. Excellent episode. Some what movie is that? Close Encounters of the Third Kind? Is this like a meme movie? Is this like Airplane? I thought this was a serious movie. Some conspiracy theorists claimed that the triangle was an active UFO that had been captured by a satellite. It's More an old classic? I thought it was a real movie. Given, like the triangle being a remote antenna for a nearby wind farm. Okay. Unfortunately, this indeed seems... You can just ask Google to blur your house, which some people do, but once you do, you cannot have it unblurred. Really? Interesting. That's cool. How do you even talk to Google? Okay. How do you even do that? The creepy light triangle is now gone, and it's been replaced by a very obvious wind farm. It's aliens, it has to be. Do you How do you even talk to Google that way? You know what I mean? 
Top 10 broken anime abilities with insane power. Why did you feed this to me? What made you think? Don't pog for that. Pog okay, chat is actually ooing at the broken anime abilities with insane power. We're not going to watch that. Absolutely not. Now, I said this one was for me, and it was. But since I'm the streamer, I get two. <laughs> and I get one more. Fellas, these are the top ten haunted amusement parks. <laughs> I had to know. Dude, the thumbnail. The thumbnail is what got me. Look at this fucking thumbnail. What was the reason? I had to Hold on. Hold on. It was a little bit lower. Look, look at that. Look at that fucking thumbnail. How am I not going to click on that? Terrifying. Haunting. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't... I haven't updated this. Biggest fails on who wants to be a... Oh, I'll save that one. Top 10 greatest golf shots. Top 10 rarest Funko Pops! Top 10 scariest mythical creatures... We love Funko Pops. Oh, I did check out this one because I wanted to see how much of it was just the old ones and, and it's 100% the same. Top 20 guilty pleasure songs. Number one is... Is it just Barbie Girl? Tub Thumping? The latest videos. Tub Thumping. Switch on notes or all of them. It's Number one, what is love? Eh... Uh. No. All-Star. Quit playing games with my heart. Funky Town? Is Funky Town a guilty pleasure? What? Take on me. Not really a guilty pleasure. Want to be fine. Barbie Girl, okay. Mickey, that's old. I'm Too Sexy is very old. Uh, Thousand Miles is a good song. It's not a guilty pleasure. Blue is a meme, sure. Uh, Too many lists, particularly worst of lists. I don't know what this is. Starship. Oh, shit! <laughs> I've never seen the video. <laughs> I'm a fake fan. Oh, no, I'm a fake fan. Oh, no, I, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. What about this? Dude, this song goes crazy. We love this song here. Girlfriend, this song sucks, but it was in a burnout game. And I remember turning it on. I turned on the burnout game and Girlfriend came on. I was like, why is this in the game? Sexy and I Know It, not a good song. Uh, Nookie, not a good song. Oh, this is Roland. Still not a good song. Uh, What's this? But nothing has quite hit the earworm what status. Is, is this Call Me Maybe? It's what like is this? I really like, but nothing has. It's like I really like you to run away with me. Is this Call but Me nothing Maybe? Nothing has quite hit the earworm status of her very first hit, Call Me Maybe. Okay, yeah, that song sucks. The combination of the most successful dance. Not a good song. Honest. We're tired of pretending <laughs> not to like it for Okay, and Nickelback, yeah, not good. Number 19. But that's How fine. It revolves Nickelback. around the Weather Girls excitement. And it's Raining Men. Not again, not a good song. Fine. Okay. All right, I didn't want to watch the whole list cuz that would take way too long, but Girlfriend and Call Me Maybe Rule. Okay, so you were just at that age. You you were smack dab at that age when those songs hit. I I don't know what to tell you. It's not good. But that one song, was that Carly Rae Jepsen, the song with the saxophone? That song goes crazy. Hold on. Uh, Carly Rae Jepsen sa saxophone song. Yeah, dude. That, so that saxophone goes nuts. This song bangs. Call Me Maybe is cringe. Is that Tim Allen? Didn't Marky Mark kill a guy? No, that was someone else. That was Matthew Broderick. Matthew Broderick killed a guy. Or a woman. I don't remember. Top 10 ki moments in kids anime that were so wrong. I'm not going to be watching that. <laughs> Top 20 video games where you die at the end? That's so spoilers, dude. All right. never. Anyway, I, we're watching Haunted Amusement Parks. 
is a female apparition that's seen looking out these top windows in photos. Well, Matthew Broderick killed a dude? Yeah, with, like with a car, I think. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Right? And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 haunted amusement parks. Years of not giving the attraction much thought would come back to haunt Great Adventure, however. For this list, we'll he be killed ranking two people? the amusement oh, God. parks located okay. within the United States that have reportedly experienced paranormal activity. Most have people have cars that doesn't narrow it down. I don't know what happened. Strange? You look it up. Let us know in the comments. It's not my job. Number 10, Universal Studios Hollywood. Haunted? Universal City, California. If you've ever visited Universal Studios Hollywood, the odds are probably pretty good that you had a great time without thinking too much about the laughing spirits of ghostly pilots. <laughs> if you're what? into paranormal, however, then maybe you're familiar with the story of Frank Stites, who reportedly haunted the back lot long after his death. What? He said that Stites' ghost could be seen wearing vintage aviation gear due to the fact that the real-life stunt pilot tragically passed away while performing at the opening of the then-titled Universal City back on March 17th, 1915. Bro, this is just somebody walking around in a pilot outfit. <laughs> this is a motherfucker in a costume. Is that a ghost, Pog? Just soy jacking at a fucking costume man? On a studio back lot. Yeah, it's not even like this is like... Out, out at, like, a park or something. This is a fucking studio back... Ugh. Today, an effigy mannequin silly. dressed in tribute to Stites can be found on the back lot, standing as Where? tribute to the fallen pilot and his ghostly remains. Where? Number nine, Six Flags Over they would Texas, show me. Arlington, Texas. Bro, have I told you guys about Six Flags? Oh my god, I hate Six Flags. Six Flags has to be the home of the worst parks in the country. Six Flags America, which is the park near me, ungodly is just so poorly kept so god awful and they expect 50 bucks for a day pass parking is 30 dollars to park your car absurd it said that the ghost of a little girl Fuck six haunts flags, the dude. yellow house located near the entrance however did you know that six flags great adventure that's the jersey one is the second biggest theme park in the world did you fucking know that i learned that the other day i don't know if that's still true but i i i apparently it is Animal Kingdom is number one because it's like a big zoo thing. But apparently that's number two, like above Magic Kingdom, which is insane. But I think it's because of the safari, yeah. To the Six Flags roller coaster, the Texas Giant. Her name is Annie. And if you're an Arlington local or a paranormal enthusiast, then you're probably aware of her legend. I'm Customers not. Customers and employees have reported sightings of Annie in and around the area, roaming about Six Flags over Texas. Seriously, there's ghosts in here? <laughs> Imagine being a ghost and you have to haunt the Six Flags. That fucking sucks. Oh my god. That's the biggest L. You could pot you are doomed to walk the earth in limbo at a fucking Six Flags. You can't even get to like a Cedar Fair Park or something. That's insane. Shitty genie deal. <laughs> you get to be a ghost in an amusement park, but it has to be a Six Flags. Oh yeah, there's something. Here, at least right. it's Texas. Her body and was not originally RC found flags. in a creek bed back in 1920, a creek that was located on the ground that now holds the park. A local paranormal group even conducted an investigation that turned up a recording that supposedly Bro. said paranormal group. Impractical jokers. There's a practical jokers ride at Six Flags. <laughs> cool. Even conducted an investigation that turned Sounds up a recording fun. that supposedly said, "Let me play with your hair." So is the house here oh. at the park haunted? We may never know. Number eight, Kings Island Amusement Park, Mason, Ohio. Oh, is that like Kings there Dominion? There are a number of ghosts that are said to haunt the premises of this amusement park that's located in Mason, Ohio. The most famous of these Kings Island ghosts is, is Kings like Tower a Johnny, franchise who's said to have haunted the Eiffel Tower replica after falling from an elevator shaft during a grad night party. Oh, I dude, uh, they have this at Kings Dominion in Virginia. They have the exact same structure. And when you're up there, you feel like it's going to tip over. In 1983, it, I think it feels Tower like Johnny it waits. One of the it's, most it's pretty popular scary. Ghosts at Kings Island. Electrical issues. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be a ghost in Ohio, though. <laughs> to his mischief, which ties into one of the real-life tragedies of Kings Island, known locally as Black Sunday. Howard Johnny is often blamed for the 
electrical malfunctions of the park. Here, three people were accidentally electrocuted in a fountain, while a fourth fell to her death while attempting to view the accident while on an aerial ride. Oh my god! Number seven, Cedar Point. Jesus Christ, Ohio, Cedar Point is haunted? Staying in Ohio for the moment and narrowing What's going on in Ohio? upon one specific ride over at Cedar Point Amusement Park. Don't scare me with a carousel. <laughs> An empty carousel the shot. The famous carousel. Tales have been told for years about a ghostly woman that could reportedly be seen riding one specific horse at night. It was even Which horse? that the ride would operate on its own at night during one of her hauntings. Which horse? The woman in question was actually described as being the ghost of Mrs. Mueller, the wife of the man who carved the horse for the carousel. Dude, my, my daughter loves carousels, and we might go to this park at some point. I need to know which horse not to ride. My daughter's two and a half. Today, Save her. The original horse is no longer on the carousel, but is on display oh, in a God. museum in the park. They moved the horse. Number six, Disneyland. Pirate's Lair on Tom Sawyer Island. Oh, I've heard this one, California. but I thought it was the one no in Disney one World. Ever lose their lives at the happiest place on Earth. Yeah. The DeLauret brothers admittedly broke the rules when they were able to stow away on Tom Sawyer Island by avoiding Disneyland employees. When they decided to leave the island, however, they decided to swim across the rivers of America. The older brother, Bogdan, tried to swim with his younger sibling on his back, as Bogdan's brother didn't know how to swim. Oh, we're gonna go God. to the Pirate's Lair. I am so excited. I don't know if things I never I didn't know that. Has gone. Wait, you couldn't make it? It's like right there. It's not that far. We're gonna Jesus. find out. We're gonna find out. Tragically, the elder sibling ended up drowning, while the younger Delaurit managed to signal for help while dog paddling. It's said that Jesus, ghost dude. still haunts the island to this day. Okay, so I heard about Disney World in Disney World, apparently people just got on this island and stayed there. They they just avoided people and they lived on this island for like a month, <laughs> which like you know not a bad deal, right? I feel like they probably have a billion cameras now, but you just live at Disneyland or Disney World, it's not too bad, you know. Just squat on Tom Sawyer's island. Dead man's grotto says beware. Number five, Bush Gardens. Tampa Bay, Florida. What happened An amusement here? park restaurant might not be the first place one might think to look for a ghostly apparition, but employees at a Tampa Bay Bush Gardens eatery swear that there's something strange in their neighborhood. The sightings take place specifically at the Serengeti Overlook Pub, formerly known okay. as the Crown Colony House, and workers there have described cold spots, children's laughter, and mechanical malfunctions after hours. Some have Whatever. named the ghost Wendy, while a mysterious woman in white has also reportedly been seen. If it's just one ghost, I don't care. That's not haunted. That's just the day. people four, telling stories. Sylvan Beach Amusement Park. Sylvan Beach, New York. What is the this? The next amusement park on our list has actually That's a garage. their spooky reputation for the paranormal, even offering after-hours ghost tours for the skeptical, optimistic, oh, or That's not a park. Curious. But they say this place is haunted. Sylvan Beach Amusement Park is allegedly the home of several benevolent ghosts of individuals that are said to have loved the park during life. Benevolent so ghosts? They continue to show up to members of the staff after their deaths. Oh All right, it's me, it's James. As you can see, I got a bunch of people here. This is just some guy in the back flipping switches. And I miss you. Where have you been? There's some quarters for you. The hit television show Ghost Hunters <laughs> oh has God. even visited Sylvan Beach during one of their episodes, lending further credence to the legends that still swirl around the park. No, it day. doesn't. That makes it less likely. Dude, it blows my mind that ghost hunting used to be, like, a genre of TV, right? You used to be able to be a fucking millionaire with a TV deal just pretending to scream in the dark. That is truly amazing. That's the American dream. New England is full of hauntings. <laughs> I think New England is, like, you probably could get away with that shit, right? Because it's, like, colonial America... It, it, it's Salem witch trial shit. Like, New England is perfect for that kind of shit. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. I just heard something down there as well. I should have been a ghost. Number hunter, three, bro. Enchanted Forest, 
Turner, Oregon. Oh, God! Of ghost hunting programs, Ghost Adventures, was another show where the cast decided to see for themselves Wait. the veracity of claims concerning a haunted park. That shit looked like Dutch Wonderland in Pennsylvania. In this case, it was the iconic is this just abandoned? park, Enchanted Forest. This place is an amazing DIY, handmade, family-owned theme park that has been around now for just shy of 50 years. The park is absolutely charming, with tons of heart, soul, and character. But it's also reportedly a home to ghosts that roam the rides and attractions. Oh late my at night. god, dude, there's no other people here. By the way, apparently, I, I forget, I think it was on the stream, I've looked these up. These are actually very cheap. I could buy one of these. They're only like $4,000. And I've literally considered this. I, I, I've, I've actually considered this. Buying one and putting it at the back of the room <laughs> and just finding a way to set him off randomly. And he's like, ready, draw. And I have to like, go shoot him. Only rich person moment. $4,000 isn't much for a guy to sit in the back of the room for this kind of thing. I think it'd be fun. For this kind of deal, that's not that bad. Yes, it is. You don't understand the power of crowdfunding. I could put up a donation goal for this motherfucker, and we would have it in a week. We could do it. You are twisted. <laughs> it could work. It could work. It pays for itself. Exactly. See? Five dollar donation equals eight hundred trickers pays it off. This is an excellent idea. I'm telling you. This is allegedly due to the land upon which in Use the raid money? I'm uh, bro, I'm saying four thousand dollars for this, not bad. Forest stand. I, I wish I knew what it was called. I gotta look that up. Land that is said to have been a bloody battleground. You have him read out donations? Slain soldiers. Is it true? Stay the night and find out. You can't Number stay two, there. Lake Shawnee Amusement Park, Princeton, West Virginia. Although Lake Shawnee Amusement Park has been out of uh, operation for decades, there are a number of reasons uh, the area is said to have been haunted long before it was forced to shutter its doors. One of them is allegedly due to the fact that the land that oh houses my the God. park is an ancient Native American burial ground. If that sounds like a cliche plot of a horror, that's because it is. But Lake Shawnee was also <laughs> okay. the site of a couple of tragic deaths on park grounds. But there were apparently no less. So, dude, this is terrifying. The fact that like trees will climb up the Ferris wheel. Oh the my God! A couple of the vines deaths on park grounds. But there were apparently no less. Oh six Jesus! Deaths associated with this. I had a friend who worked at Cedar Point for the summer. Mm -hmm. He worked the carousel for the day, and at the end of his shift where everyone was leaving the park, he claimed one of the horses moved up and down by itself. It only moves unless the ride moves. Are you serious? Holy shit. Isn't the horse attached to... I'm pretty sure the horse is, like, on a carousel. They're all attached to the top part, right? Because it goes up like that. That horse was just like WD forty up. That's all. It was just oil, bro. This time, as a wow, it must be true then. Hey, it it must be true. Somebody gave me five dollars to say that on stream. Thank you, Xenon. Attempts to reopen. You would the park never give five dollars to me on stream to when lie. Excavation uncovered skeletal remains of those aforementioned Native Americans. Oh pushing God. Lake Shawnee officially into the holy crap, this place is haunted category. This was a stone that they found in that excavation. And now they used it as a tribute to all of those that oh, Jesus. remain here on the grounds. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our number one is Disney World. It's George channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest. Lock videos. it in, bro. You have the option Pirates to be ghost. notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make Pirates sure you ghost. go into your Watch settings this. and switch on notifications. Number one, Six Flags Great Adventure. What? <laughs> what do you mean? This is the one that we said was the good one. Six Flags wins again. <laughs> Great adventure to hell. <laughs> Great adventure to the afterlife. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is the good one. 
This is the best Six Flags in the country. What happened? Jackson Township, New Jersey. We wish we could end this list on a lighter note, but sometimes reports of paranormal activity possess roots based in some real life tragedy. A fire raged through the popular haunted castle attraction featured within Six Flags Great Adventure. Oh God! Jackson Township, New Jersey. Part guests gathered around the scene, but were asked to leave as the disaster became more intense. The incident took place on May 11th, 1984, spreading quickly due Dude, to the highly combustible up. materials that made up the castle's construction. My Fire aunt worked at Great Adventure when this happened. Oh my God, dude! From 11 surrounding communities responded but were unable to advance into the structure due to heavy smoke. Within 20 minutes, the building looked burned down. Dude, that's One awful! Visitor told reporters. Eight victims died after being trapped within the ride, and spirits of young people wearing clothes indicative of that era are said to have been seen by both guests and park employees alike. There oh, were around dude. 30 guests inside the attraction when the flames took hold. We that's hope that fucked spirits, up! If indeed present at Six Flags, somehow find rest. Do you agree with our picks? I I hate the Watch Mojo narrator for saying it like that. I cannot believe he I why did he say it with that much gravity? Been seen by both guests and park employees alike. There Dude. were around 30 guests inside the attraction when the flames took hold. We hope that their spirits, if indeed present at Six Flags, Somehow find rest. <laughs> Imagine you get paid forty dollars to read a Watch Mojo video, and you have to say that at the end of one of them about eight people dying in a park. <laughs> oh my god! All right, well, here this is as a treat because uh, you guys have been sitting through the Watch Mojo so nicely. You guys have been so patient. I'm not watching it. I'm just gonna cut through it. I'm not watching the whole thing. Carnation. It's never a bad demon eye of foresight. All right, she predicts things that happen. Wish granting. Okay. I'm sure you guys all know these animes. Pinpoint accuracy. This form of swordsmanship doesn't look all that impressive, but it's astonishingly effective. It may seem counterintuitive. Okay, cool. Uh, Sonic Minimum. Oh, I, I thought that said Hamtaro. I thought that said Hamtaro, the animation. I was like, oh, cool, man. It just, like, screech really loud. You would genuinely enjoy Ranking of Kings. Nice try. I'm not falling for that. People keep trying to get me on that shit, bro. You should just try Cowboy Bebop, man. Cowboy Bebop. You watch Akira, man. One Piece. I'm not falling for it. For those in need of gathering... Wait, what is that? That time I got reincarnated as a slime? ...deserved payback. Let's spell. But it's a mere moment. As O'Brien in both time... All right. ...for five stuff, but he isn't... Looting? Yahoo! I could do that. Mert Mojo pulls out the Alija board and goes, What do you think about our list of spirit spirit? If you see K-Y-V-A-L-S-O-H-I-T-T-H-E-B-E-L... <laughs> Good on her for spelling the whole thing. The one technically doing the fighting. You'd like Sludge Pudge Goes to the States. I'm banning you if that's not a real anime. <laughs> Alaska? Why Alaska? What is, why is Alaska come up for Sludge Pudge? Sludge Pudge goes to the states. He can take over a person's mind. All right, looting is mind control. Got you. Cool. All right. Time is the enemy. No. What the fuck is this? <sighs> it's a clock. Thanks. Yeah, I know. What's happening here? Why is she in? Oh my god, it's her ass crack. I uh, skip. Okay, this is stupid. Controlling titans. And those deformed monsters is a whole army of them. Until recently, humanity's saving grace has been. Is he naked? Are titans naked? 
in their ability to develop a unified strategy oh, against God. the isolated behemoth selves. Okay. In onslaught. Talk about going above and beyond normal student council duties. The end. This feisty class president doesn't just What the fuck is this? The opponent she faces, but she does it with their own techniques. I hate this fucking medium, dude. <laughs> Medica's abnormality allows what am I looking at any power she sees but befitting of a student representative she isn't content with a perfect score instead of merely reflecting the ability she fully masters it even going so far as to push it to hundred and twenty percent capability so it's taskmaster got it got it got it yeah Marvel did that first to zero Jojo's bizarre adventure golden wind all right so this is the most broken anime ability with insane power not even death can save anyone unlucky enough to face gold experience requiem's ultimate move as its name implies this insta win attack is the absolute control Z It sets every value back to its initial state, completely nullifying any attack while healing any and all damage to the user. What? Isn't that just time manipulation? That's just going back in time? What does that mean? Numbers. Enemies who succumb to this ability, which is everyone who encounters it, are then stuck in an endless loop of dying and resetting until the end of time. Alongside negating every enemy counterattack possible, it also has a side effect <laughs> of resetting any hope they had at winning the fight. So what the fuck? Do you agree with our picks? I guess. I don't know. I don't know what that means. It nullifies causes and effects. It's NSO rewind? Well, then how do you beat that? That's kind of stupid. Uh, whatever. Finally, a good anime. On the I want to see this one. This one's going to be mad spoilery. Number one's Red Dead. Watch. Call it. Uh, it's fucking... Gun's death in the pre... Clearly. Clearly. Spoilers, I guess. I mean, if you're going to play Red Dead, then there you go. I thought it would be Red Dead 1. Not Red Dead 2. I thought it'd be the first one where you get shot up, but... Alright, I'm gonna keep going until I can't guess anymore. Number two is... I assume that they don't do both Red Deads. Oh, a game where you have to die at the end? Bioshock? Maybe? Oh, yeah. Fallout. <laughs> I forgot about Fallout 3. Dude, this is so funny. Fallout 3's ending is so fucking funny. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is, a, this is a treat. I love telling this story for anybody that doesn't know. So Fallout 3's ending, okay, is you have to turn on the water supply or some shit. But to do it, you have to go into an extra radiated thing and hit a button, okay? You have to go into this, this chamber that is insanely radiated and hit this button. The problem is, at some point in your journey, you meet a super mutant who is incredibly intelligent that can talk to you. The super mutant is literally healed by radiation. He, he cannot die to radiation. It literally, if you put him into radiation, he heals off it. He will not hit the button for you. If you ask him to hit the button, he says, no, this is your destiny, not mine. Unbelievable. <laughs> I can't... I still can't believe they wrote that ending. I can't believe it. What an asshole. Yeah. It's not even... They, they could have come up with some, like, contrivance, right? That he can't do it. But no, he literally says no. He wants you to die. It's fucking insane. Pretty sure I've gotten him to hit the button before. No, yeah, so they added it later. Uh, they added it because a lot of people were upset that, like, at the end of Fallout 3, you couldn't keep going. So they added in a put in a patch later that you can have him do it and then keep playing. But that was post-game. 
Yeah, they patched it. It was insane. Because I played the game, and I was angry as hell. Because also, the final boss is a guy named, like, Colonel Autumn, right? And he's just a guy in the room. He's not even wearing armor. <laughs> or so Is Colonel Autumn or something? You just shoot him in the head, and he dies? God. Wait. Oh, Fallout 3 was number one? Oh, I see. It's a meme. I see. So it was a funny one. Oh, I forgot about Walking Dead. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, Bioshock. It's still Bioshock. Next one's Bioshock. But you don't really die at the end of Bioshock, right? It's like you, you, you die of old age, but... Ah, Halo. Okay. Somebody in chat said Halo Reach. Is that what this is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good call, good call. Uh, what's the net? Is it Bioshock, right? Is but Is this Shadow of the Colossus? Yeah. You don't die at the end of Shadow of the Colossus. You become a, a, a demon baby. Yeah, you don't die. That's stupid. Aha! <laughs> this fucking game. God, what a sh... Ah, I'll never... I will never get over this. My least favorite game of all time. Genuinely. Fuck. What? Is this Mass Effect? You die at the end of Mass Effect? Unless you happen to choose the destructive ending... After okay, so you don't actually die. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, Zach dies here, I guess, right? That's kind of important. I didn't know you died at the end of Mass Effect. I thought you had a choice. It's Persona? Your side. ...arrives to kill everyone, or you can choose to fight Nyx, sealing the being away. Even in Vic... Okay. Here, here. A war hero... Oh, I forgot about L.A. Noir. That's a pretty good one. Who led his men with true valor. Number I wonder if that game aged well. L.A. Noir. You know what I mean? I feel like it probably did. Is this slender? <laughs> Fairly simple. That doesn't fucking count. Quickly come to regret their decision. Oh, Toast patient to the wall rider they oh this is outlast yeah, yeah outlast okay yeah yeah yeah. 11 outlast yeah you do die at the end him sacrificing himself to save his friend coda yeah, While star wars i'm not watching that our war sure the plague cole makes the tough i don't care about him regards <laughs> number 13 what fucking game is that what is this against Salieri for a reduced is this mafia I've never years. I've never heard of like I've never actually played it like protection can't keep him safe and Tommy ends up being shot by two hitmen on Salieri's behalf uh, yes mr. Salieri sends his regards why would you say that before killing someone OG mafia they did a mass remaster of it what is the mafia series it seems like a shitty GTA, but I don't, maybe it was around first. I don't fucking know. Whatever. What is this? I don't know what game this is. Uh, What the fuck game is this? Heavenly Sword. Never heard of it. Uh, <laughs> What the fuck is this? Huh? What game is this? Your Chimera is con- Unfortunate game Chimera 2 Resistance 2? Wait, so Number these 15. are two different games Okay, Heaven never mind, never mind, okay Resistance. Got it We got you Jumping up, nothing more powerful uh, This You didn't see that Jinnah Medal of Honor, okay It's time for us no. Assassin's Creed One of the reasons the game is so beloved I will be laughing at every second of Portal? your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the Oh, this is Stanley Parable. You don't... Do you die at the end of Stanley Parable? Number nine. Yeah, you don't actually die at the end of... You can. Okay. I never played Stanley Parable. I thought it was Portal because I saw the big thing and the music and the... 
British guy. It's, it's basically Portal. It's the same thing. I forgot to do an outro. Hey, thanks for watching. Yeah! I hope you guys learned a lot about um, Nintendo and theme parks. And, dude, we've been watching Watch Mojo all night. I didn't realize how late it went. Hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, then you make a better one. I don't care. Subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye, YouTube. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. We're done with Watch Mojo, but I got a, I got a bunch of other videos. Hold on. Tonight's YouTube night. YouTube. You skipped 16? Oh, did I? Hold on. Rollerball now? No, it's not Roller Champions time. Come on. 17 is resistance. Is this not resistance? Oh, kill zone. Shadow Fall. I thought those were the same game. Spycraft is filled with just as many this mid Oh shit. Number 15. <laughs> Heavenly Soar. Okay, there you go. Who cares about Killzone? Was it Killzone? Like that was like the PS3 game, right? That franchise or whatever. Yeah. Three PS3 games in a row. Yeah, otherwise they would forget about them. All right. Somebody linked this in the Discord, and I really want to watch it. Uh, a while ago, we watched a bunch of uh, a bunch of Smash videos on how a lot of the Smash games are broken. Brawl, Smash 4, Ultimate, whatever. Uh, but I don't know much about other fighting games, and somebody linked this one about... Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. <laughs> and I I don't know anything about this game, so I'm actually very curious. I want to know what's about this game. This sounds very fun. I've only watched this game, like, for the colors, you know? There's so many colors and, and, and particle effects, and it's just... So pretty. Plink dashing? <laughs> what the hell is that? How are they so fast? No way he has a move called Swiss Cheese. Added in UMVC3 to nerf Wolverine's plink dashing. Swiss cheese? 40 frames of invincibility? Break all clo close quarters pressure. Switching from defense to offense. Okay. Wait. I'm confused. So no matter how scaled the combo gets, it always does 80 damage. So, like, the more hits you get, the less damage individual moves do, right? That's how it works. Does that... Is that a big deal? Okay. <laughs> Very? Okay. I, I wouldn't think so. Is 80 damage a lot? Huh. Huh. His damage is very high with this. I guess I don't know what, like, is damage like a thousand total? Like, what's the, you know? Unscaled damage is a big deal. Okay. Okay, 80,000. Wait a minute. <laughs> like, I'm looking at the other hits, and the other hits are doing way less. <laughs> I, I kind of see it now, yeah. Like, 80,000 is doing as much as all the other damage. <laughs> All right, never mind. That's a lot. Okay, never mind. We love foot dives. The most annoying thing to me in Marvel is that, like, somebody just jumps in the air. I can't see myself anymore. Where am I? I hate that shit, bro. Where'd I go? That's bullshit, man. Where am I? There's an arrow? That t yeah, but I can't. It doesn't say down. It says I'm servebot. It says I'm right here. That's not me. I don't like that, bro. Oh, wow. 
Okay. Dude, that's huge. Just a big vertical line. Wait, what's a... If you hold the H button, it becomes unblockable. Oh. <laughs> that's probably easy to get out of the way of, though, right? Okay, never mind. Hit stun deterioration is set to zero until you stop. You can juggle your opponent infinitely, unless you drop. It. Every character in the game has at least one tech infinite. Those look so cool. I like those. Command grab hyper combos have one property in common. Start of animation is invisible from frame one. D Wait, what the fuck? What is this animation? What? A car comes by and then she stops a car from hitting her? Is the car going to hit you or them? What? Zero invincible frames. <laughs> I thought that character was good. I thought Nemesis was kind of good. Is he is he not? What? Like, early on, right? Or something. Literally never. I remember... I, I thought he was okay. Never mind. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I heard about X-Factor Phoenix, right? X-Factor Phoenix goes crazy, right? What the fuck is that move? What? I thought this character was trash. What is this? Full screen literal poke? An actual poke, like with a finger? <laughs> Just poking the shit out of you over and over? His ass is objecting. I have never seen an objection this large. <laughs> Safely escape from a raw hyper combo. What? Where'd she go? What? Wait, what? Wh Where did Felicia go? Who's that girl? Oh, she's like an OC. They put somebody's weird furry OC in Marvel. She's not from any video game. It's so stupid. I think somebody donated to the Kickstarter. Wait, what? A glitch that occurs when Nova's DHC is on its final frames while being closer to the ground. They vanish from the stage. <laughs> this can't be legal. That's illegal. Yeah, okay. Just leave the fight. What? Wait, you bring both opponents in at the same time. If they stop moving, the game only recognizes one character and they lose regardless. What? That's so weird. Invisible from frames 1 to 11 includes the frames after. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Wait, so Spencer's good. Oh yeah, I've seen I've seen enough Jay Wong matches, right? Jay Wong did this, right? Or was it Chris G? I think it was Chris G that was the Morgan guy. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah Chris G, yeah. Both, okay. Yeah. I do remember this.
clone mimics every move you do with a delay of 16 frames. Oh my god! What the fuck? Yeah, you can do a high and low at the same time? Oh my god. Dude, Marvel rules. I, God, I wish this was still around. I didn't know any of this. I never watched Marvel. I watched a little bit, and I only watched finals. Knowing this makes it more intro. Oh, God, I heard about this. If Phoenix dies while having all five bars. Th this shit was fucking insane. I do remember this. <laughs> I remember watching tournaments, and I could not believe this was allowed in a video game. This was fucked up. She kills people in like four hits. Unbelievable. What is this? And I don't know why this character is good. I just know he's good. <laughs> Oh, so he's just anti-zoner. Oh my god. Dude, he turns off everything. <laughs> okay. What? Bro, they did. They're. Capcom doesn't give a shit about the casual player. That's insane. Whenever I see shit like this, I feel so bad for anybody just trying to, like, play with Iron Man or Captain America, right? Like, you can release this now. Not with Marvel being as big as it is. This is crazy. You can only do it four times and they drop. Oh, you got push block? Okay. Well, maybe. Okay. That's a little better, I guess. I just. Jesus Christ. These poor casuals, dude. Oh, my God. Even if you tech out. Yeah, if you tech roll out. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, I, I've never understood how moves like these aren't broken. And, and I've, I, I don't talk about it much because I feel like it's very easy to, to point at me and laugh. You know, because I'm, I'm trash, whatever. But like, in Mortal Kombat, Scorpion could just appear behind you. And like, it's not that crazy because you know he can do that, right? He can just teleport behind you. But if somebody could teleport behind you and on top of you, like... How do you get away from that? Mortal Kombat is a block button. Oh, true. No, you're right. Yeah, that is the difference, isn't it? There was some game... Maybe it was a crossover game. Maybe I'm making it up. I thought I remembered somebody having a move where they teleport behind you, and you have to, like, be ready for it. Maybe I'm making... MKDC? I don't think that's it. DBFZ? No, I never played DBFZ. Injustice? Maybe. Maybe I'm thinking of Injustice. Do you hold back in Injustice? A lot of games have that. Yeah, I, I'm i thinking of some game where somebody teleports behind you and you gotta hold back. That shit's obnoxious. I hate that, man. This looks very versatile. Feels like he has everything. Oh, so it's like fuzzy. Like you go here and you don't know which way you have to block and you only have a second to react. Okay. 
Sure, sure, sure. I want to watch Marvel now. This game is just crack. What? What? I thought it was just like... You have to hit, like, the swords themselves. Like, it only blocks if it hits the sword. But no, even if it... if it, Like, this is going through all the swords. What? <laughs> oh my god, what? That's insane. Okay, but, 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 okay, so Marvel, not all characters are like this, I guess, right? This is like, because, like, when I watch Marvel, all characters look like this to me, as somebody who doesn't know. They all look this fast and this crazy. But this does look a little extreme. That shit do, do look like Elden Ring. That's a good point. I was thinking that, but I didn't think of the game. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I've seen that before, but... Dude, balance in these games is always so interesting to me. Because, like, you want them to feel... Do you really care about balance in Marvel games? Right? Because the game is, like, over-the-top crazy. And all the characters are supposed to feel, like, insane. Right? I don't think you give a shit that much. I think Marvel is where you let it all hang out. None of them have been balanced. I kind of like the idea that Capcom and Marvel is just like, fuck it. Let's just make really cool characters and let the cards fall where they may. I don't know how Infinite was balanced, though. Although I did, you know, nobody plays that shit, apparently. I don't... I know that 2 was, like, obviously just very uh, famously imbalanced, but I don't even know if they care about it. When everyone is broken, no one is? That's not true. <laughs> I think a lot of people say that. They're like, if everybody's broken in a game, it means that, you know, nobody will be broken. That's not how it works. Because what happens is some characters are way more broken than others. Like, some, some, like obviously, if you make every character broken, then, you know, all of them have stuff. But the good characters have stuff that is not the same game. Like, the some characters will transcend the game that everybody else plays. You know what I'm saying? That's different. Perfect. Flames of revenge. Couldn't even melt a marshmallow. You got a nerdy voice. What a geek. I would not play that either. There's that OC again. So weird. Dude, what a... I, I love Marvel because of the... The creativity and the character design is really cool, man. I feel like this wasn't in Infinite. Am I making that up? Like, maybe, because I don't know Infinite that well. I don't want to be talking out of my ass. But I feel like just this level of character design is so cool. I'm trying to be fair. You know what I mean? Like, the fact that you put Frank in here and he's just fighting with whatever he can find. Phoenix Wright is a cool addition. Beautiful Joe. Like, that's cool, you know? I love that. It was never intended to be fair. Good. I would love more of these videos, dude. I looked for more. And, and unfortunately, I'm going to pop a subscribe. I don't think I'll ever watch another video from this guy, but I'm glad he's almost at a million. Bruno Zone on, on YouTube. Check it out. Here, please. Check this guy out. I would love more videos like this. So bad. I want all of these, man. I love this shit. 
almost at a million, and I just stole 1,700 views from him. <laughs> Take that. It'll get there, though. I just wish that... I, I want a lot more like this. Of just, like, every fighting game that I didn't have the chance to play, you know? Moldy Bagel? Don't know who that is. Do they do, like, DBFZ stuff like this? Never heard of this guy. Popular uploads. Videl's Dodge is whack. Fighters Z on the worst graphics. That doesn't look too bad. Amazing videos. Watch the Brawly one. Well, I don't want to watch, like... I, I, I See, I don't want to do this because these are all, like, character-specific. I want, like, a wrap-up video. You know what I'm saying? I need, like, an overall thing, you know? Just click it, please. <laughs> all right, the Brawly one? Brawly? Is it Broly? Is it Broly or Broly? All right, fine. We'll do one video. We'll do one video after I go to the bathroom. And I haven't said this all night. Guys, prime check, huh? Below the stream. Just look. You might have a prime. Go below the stream. Hit continue sub or sub for the first time. You might have a free subscription with Twitch Prime. Go ahead and take a look. And if you don't, it's okay. It's only $4.99 a month, which is nothing. You're not poor, right? Don't be poor. Check it out. All right, I'll be right back. One second. Jesus. I got stuck on the wheel. I have the wheel down here and it almost knocked me over. <laughs> Ooh, I was I was close. Thank you, Boba. Bobab. Never mind. Thank you. Also, thank you for the gift. Thank you, Ryan H. Thank you, Batracuda. Thank you, Aloha Clark. Thank you guys for the subs. Thank you, E Compton. Don't die. I, I'm I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry. King Angelo, thank you. Thank you guys for the subs. Hope you had a good poop. That was literally, that would have been the fast. It would have shot out of me like a log flume if I pooped. That would have been so fast. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks, Team Carbon. All right, all right. We'll watch one video. Thank you, Killian, for the prime. Thank you. <laughs> Crony, how much floor can you see in your stream room? It's not that messy. It's really not. It's not that messy. I have so many gimmicks in this fucking room. From just like, here's, here's E. Compton, here's E. Compton, uh, here's the wheel, um, here is the weight from Strikers, uh, here is, uh, here's Web Surf, and these are, uh, you might see these tomorrow if you guys are good and submit some stuff, um, I got, I got a five, it's a five from me, uh, I got... Bumbass? Bumbass is here. Still needs batteries. Um, I got, uh, I got, I got, uh, and I got a monkey. I got the monkey lamp. And I got a hand. And I got, <laughs> and I think that's it. I think that's all my gimmicks. I'm, I'm fucking, I, and I, I have my, I have my passport here. I have my passport. Please don't take that info. That's your info. Oh. And crocodile dentist. I'm so I'm a fucking e carny. This is so stupid. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just a carrot top streamer. Oh god, yeah. Oh slide whistle. Uh, is I always lose it. Slide whistle. Fuck. 
I don't know. I always lose it because it's just like it's 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 just it it. I I'm yeah! looking right at it, but I can't tell. I'd recommend Yamcha and Power Creep if you want a good overview video. Oh, uh, maybe. How about at 2400? We'll watch two. How about that? Yeah, I don't know where the slide whistle is. I'm not going to play it this late. Sorry. Okay, let's go. 2400. I'll watch the Yamcha. Oh, yeah. I am called Whis. Little worm. <laughs> so you're more than a worm ass. What the fuck is this neck? Can your neck be bigger than your head? Yes? I'm serious. I'm I'm being genuine. Can your neck be bigger than your head? Uh All right, I guess so. Huh. I I would I'm genuinely curious. Look up Formula 1 drivers next. What are you talking about? Formula 1 driver next. What? Why am I looking this up? Why are their necks so big? Do you have to work out your neck? Should I be doing that? There's no chin. This dude looks like Earthworm Jim. What the fuck? How do you work out your neck? He looked like an index toe. Damn, dude, you weren't kidding. Okay, I didn't know that could exist. Okay, but not like this. After all, that's crazy. That form, it's wonderful. Would you like to be the next god? G forces, of yeah, like the guinea pig movie. Yeah, <laughs> that's I've what I was thinking. To let you live. What a drag! This is a nuisance. What is that guy? You. Impossible! I didn't think mimicry could go that far. It's nothing to get your ears in a knot. Is this in the game or is I'll this like machinima? What? Oh, it's a skit. Okay, that's fine. I don't know Dragon Ball, so I didn't know what it was. That's fine. That's fine. Copy me, will ya? <laughs> this is a Guilty Gear song. I'll I do know that. <laughs> you commentated the game before? This game? Never. No. God, no. I would never commentate this game. Ever. Dude, I don't know Dragon Ball or fighting games. That's pretty funny. That's pretty good. No. You done yet? You done yet? Okay. Oh, an armor character that's actually good? Dude, I have such smash brain. Is this good in other games? Because in Smash, this is like a gimmick and it's shitty. This is good in other games. Okay. You know what's crazy? There's another fighting game that I do know where this is good. And it's ARMS. <laughs> in ARMS, this is actually a good thing to have. There's a character named Max Brass who has this. Yeah. Uh, but I, I didn't know if it was actually good in fighting games. But I guess if everybody has to be close. <laughs> Oh, jump attacks have armor? Oh, what the fuck? You just beat DPs? That's actually crazy. What the fuck? Doesn't get it during block strings. Okay. 
Actually, 17 frames is equivalent to 283.39 milliseconds, and the average human reaction time is 250, so the grab is reactable if you do the math. Yeah, this is explaining, yeah. I'm gonna die. Dude, offline... Oh, four frames. Okay. Wait, really? That's weird. There's input lag built into the fighting game? That's weird. I've never heard of a game having that. Bandai Namco posting. Oh my god, it has armor. <laughs> Holy shit, this guy rules! Oh my god! Isn't this guy supposed to be god and he's terrible? Isn't that what he- yeah, okay. <laughs> He's supposed to be, like, the god of death or something? Oh, he's kind of good now? Okay. Gotcha. Again, I don't know how you balance Dragon Ball games. I was wondering that before the game came out, because, like, Krillin is just, like, a guy, right? He's just, like, a mortal. Like, how do you balance him against the uh, fucking demons of death or whatever? Do they care about that? Like, it's not balanced that way? Okay. I don't know if they care. Like, it's, yeah. yeah, Yamcha was like a meme in the cartoon, right? <laughs> My issue with this game is people are too fucking healthy. Like... Either moves don't do enough, or health bars are too big. And I know that it's supposed to, like, simulate an actual Dragon Ball fight where it takes forever. But god damn, man, it's long. It's insane. Games last way too long, yeah. Eraser blow? Oh, wow. Is that bad because he uh, moves forward? Oh, wow. I thought it'd be bad because he has to move forward so you can jump it, but no. Okay. All right. Never mind. That's crazy. That's nonsense. Oh, he puts you in the corner. <laughs> what the fuck? Ten hits? How many moves have ten hits? Is that common? How many moves have ten hits in the game? I feel like you could just spam that. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. Uh, so he gets hit a lot? Oh my god, he's eight foot two? Jesus Christ. Ah, got you. Okay.
So is Vanish like a universal mechanic? Like you pop Vanish after a move and then you go to the other side? Okay. Interesting. It costs meter? Okay. When I watch DBFZ, I have no idea what the fuck's going on. They're just teleporting and shit. I don't know anything about the gameplay. You couldn't do this with Smash characters, right? Like these type of videos. I feel like you can't do it because it doesn't it doesn't translate. How would you even do it? You could only do it with like certain characters like Bayonetta or Steve or Kazuya. Right? Luigi, yeah. You can't really do it with in, in the game. I guess Game & Watch, maybe? But it doesn't, like... It's not cool to be like, here's Game & Watch down throw to neutral air. This does 60% on everyone. It's not... You know? You could definitely do Melee, yeah. You videos kind of did that? No, no, no. I don't mean about the game in general. I mean about one character. You can't do one character thing. You know what I mean? What? Can he move? Surely he's not active, right? He can, okay. <laughs> this video was made possible with the help of Raycon. Pretty fun video. Oh, does he do a whole... Oh, he does a whole skit for it. Good for him. I don't do that shit. <laughs> Pay me. I'll just say the name. Raycon suck. That's what people have told me. I've heard they're not great. Damn, dude. This guy gets views. Good for him. Holy shit. Wait, is this sorted by new? Oh, he doesn't make videos that much. I guess they take a lot of work. Season one is literally broken. I'm actually curious. I... Again, I don't know anything about this game. So the Zero Mobile today. Watch the video about the guy who made it super far as CEO in Street Fighter V with the literal bottom tier. Is that this guy? I would like to watch some Street Fighter V videos. I'd be down. I'm curious. Oh, is it Fang? That's the poison dude, right? Yeah, I would like to see that. Hold on. I'm curious. Hold on. Is it on his channel? I'm looking for Fang posting. I'm not seeing it. Different channel. Okay. Oh, what? it's the score esports. Let's go. How a low tier hero did the <laughs> fucking H box here. Someone pick a low tier. Fang is a gimmick what let's go pink struggle against every conceivable odd to win with a character who just isn't that good just what were they thinking with this guy there's a thing seemed to me and i don't know street fighter really at all Fang seemed to me like a character built for timeout am i wrong like he's poison built to run away Slowly needle away at you. Is that true? Kind of, kind of wrong, kind of not really. If not, it's a, you could tell me if I'm wrong. Like, I'm not, my feelings aren't going to be hurt. I just, I just mean, like, when I looked at him when the game first came out, it, it he looked like a big poison runaway, keep away, like trap character, and you, you don't care if it goes to time because you're going to win over that, you know? Simple answer. It's because when everyone says your character sucks, when everyone says you shouldn't win, when almost no one believes in you, that's what... Oh, by the way, CEO's next week. <laughs> oh, I... 
Am I allowed to tell you guys this? Uh, I am. Oh God, can I talk about this? I will be there commentating. Uh, fuck it, I'm gonna say it. I am doing the announcements. Like this, I'm doing the in-ring stuff for uh for Ultimate, and I think also Melee. Uh, I'm wondering if I should get a suit. And Melee, yeah, and Melee. I'm wondering if I should buy a suit. Because <laughs> already the FGC people are going to be like, I, you know, if I, if I just fully play it up, you know, Michael Buffer it, you know. Change out of your soup for melee. <laughs> We're the soup for ultimate. And then for melee, I've got like a tattered barbecue sauce stained tank top. Here's H box. <laughs> I've actually, this isn't a joke, by the way. I'm not kidding. I've thought about this. Do I do the low tier God? For MK Leo, I don't think I can. I don't think I can, because I did Frostbite and when I announced <laughs> MK Leo, I popped the MK Leo. Like I had to do it. But now, this is the first event on a Nintendo circuit. I can't do that. I cannot reference the low tier God pose on an official Nintendo circuit. I mustn't. I can't do that. I'll get in trouble. Just know when you see me do it, I want to. Just know that. In my heart, I'm going, M. K. <laughs> That's my shit, dude. Is Leo going? I don't know. I just wanted to just yell his name. Is MK Leo even there? I have no idea. I just figured he would be in the top eight. A win becomes a true. Victory. If you don't do it, then you serve no purpose. Oh. Throw in the end here. It's gonna be so close. You have to run away. Ah! I told you he's a runaway character. What the fuck? The Who top? said I was wrong? Look at this oh, dude. Back dashing, so running away. Oh no, he beat my guy. What the fuck? Huh? This character is stupid, bro. What the fuck? Oh, he beat Nephew? That's so cringe. So I just away. noticed he beat That's Nephew. Tough. I didn't even look at the player names. Come on, man. Definitely thought that guy's name was Joe Rogan. Maybe that's the bit? Joe Ume Rogan? Is that the is there like a joke there with It's okay, Street Fighter Five is a Mickey Mouse game. Okay. okay. <laughs> I got. I forgot to drop a lot of that at crap. Not again! Not my guy! No! He's killing all of us! Oh, it's a joke on Daigo Umahara. Oh, that's really funny then. Joe Umero. That's very funny. <laughs> that's a very good joke. Bang is a Mickey Mouse character, bro. Tier lists have existed since basically day one of competitive gaming, which means that for the better part of three decades, people have been warning new players to avoid shitty characters. Just pick a top tier. <laughs> you want to win, yo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top tier. I don't even like Barog like that no more, man. Just pick him, yo. Isn't it insane that this still is applicable? Like, this video is timeless. Isn't that crazy? There will be people bitching about top tiers and game balance until the day video games are dead and gone. And the answer is always just pick a better character. Or or stop crying. That's insane to me. That this will never be solved. You know what I mean? People are always going to pick like mid-tiers and lose and bitch about it. You know what I'm saying? Like humans will never get to the level of awareness to be like, Oh yeah, that guy keeps beating me with that. If I care about winning that much, I should also play it. You either cope or you don't. <laughs> this is like Newton discovering gravity for the FGC. It's so simple, but it's like, it is truly timeless. It really is. Alt is a baby game where people want to have an excuse for losing. 
I feel like for Smash specifically, there's a lot of character loyalty that comes into characters too, right? Like, in Street Fighter, you play the Street Fighter character that is in the fighting game. In Smash, if you are a Samus player, maybe you just like Metroid and you love the character, and then if they end up being dog shit in the game, you really want to make them work. It's different. Character loyalty is different in Smash. And also the player base is just younger, so they're more likely to like... Even really good players are just whiny, you know? It's the same in FGC? It's not, though. I mean, like, I, I feel like there are people who are going to be like legacy you know, Chun-Li players or something, like Daigo, you know, playing Ryu, and, and he's played Guile too, but like, I feel like it's not the same. No matter what game you play, you're guaranteed to eventually run into someone trying and probably Tokido got a lot of shit for switching characters. Work. See, there's a certain honor to picking mm, low tiers. I guess Think so. about it. Winning with a character who just shouldn't win. Daigo basically just plays Guile now. Yeah, I, I should have said that like, he used to be the Ryu guy, you know, and now he's just the Guile guy. It can be proof that you're a more skilled player than your opponent. But low tier victories don't happen very often. Mortal coming in, smelling some blood. Anti -air Dude, is good. Street Fighter Five costumes are so weird. Right <laughs> oh, he is it's like a million of them. Purple. Oh, the exchanges. Oh, oh, they're what? Oh my and God! Men R D. Men R D wins. Wait, melee is pretty good about not bitching about top tiers unless your character is top tier. No, that's because there's the Church of Fox. If you're still bitching about low tiers and or, or high tiers in melee. Unless they're Marth, or 2018 Jigglypuff, I guess. You you can't, like, what the fuck are you doing? Why would you ever complain about Fox in a in a, in a 24-year-old game? <laughs> That's insane. Just play something else. I have Pixel! That extra health coming in handy! The low tier main in People still complain in Melee? Yeah, but it's the top tier players complaining in Melee. Fox is Fung. bitching about Marth. Fung has been one of Street Fighter 5's <laughs> That's worst different. characters since day one. Depending on who you ask, he's still the worst. And I, I don't know if anyone is going to disagree with me here. Just what were they thinking with this guy? Just what? <laughs> with I, this I, guy? I frequently forget this character is This endless. just fucking weirdo? <laughs> now, let's be real here. In most people's eyes, Bung is absolute trash. He's slow, his damage is Look low, at him his move. frame data is garbage, he basically has no defensive abilities, his combos are overly complicated for basically no reward, both his V-skills are Is he are supposed to be like a goofy ass, like a, like a Faust kind of silly guy? Over time with poison can't actually kill anyone. On top of all of that, he looks ridiculous. He's a seven foot tall oh, stick man who flaps yeah. his arms around <laughs> like a bird, makes little poison clouds that do almost nothing, and then does a little shimmy if he somehow manages to win. So it I remember he has the two minutes thing. Is or three minutes? The least Some minute thing. In the game. Two yet, minutes! <laughs> Mono has dedicated the last few years of is his life. Is that it? Life yeah, two minutes. Bomb. Okay. Out of all the characters, I was just checking who has consistent anti air normals and good mobility, and to me it was Fong. Even though he has uh, little damage. Mono isn't some new up and coming. He has a good player. theme though, yeah. He's that's been true. a pillar of the Puerto Rican FGC for years, and he actually runs the scene's biggest tournament. So I run first attack in Puerto Rico. Wait, E King? Years, and he Isn't E King a Smash guy? Oh my god, I didn't know he is he, is this also Yeah, E King plays Pikachu, right? Am I making that up? Actually runs the scene. Pac-Man. No, it's Pac-Man. That's what it is. Yeah. Biggest tournament. So I gotcha. run first attack in Puerto Rico, which is like the big, uh, the biggest event here in the. What Caribbean. Pikachu was I thinking? First of. attack used to be. There's some Pikachu. Game, but maybe I was thinking of a been, DM. I ever know. since it started growing, a lot of people in Puerto Rico see it as the esports event. Esam, no. <laughs> no longer like the fighting game event. But Puerto Rico isn't exactly known for their fighting game prowess. Their top players don't get to travel as often as players from Japan and North America, so many wouldn't consider it a top tier. Punk region. is all over this video. And Mono isn't some Good chronic brand. tier main. He actually started off Street Fighter V with a much higher tier pick. Shiny Mark and from Guatemala. That might be one thing of, He yeah. actually played Dictator and then dropped him when Dictator got buffed. What are you doing? <laughs> but once Mono made the switch to Fung, he had his work cut out for him. Remember, no one plays Fung. I There's love not Vega, a lot bro. of tech out there to study. And in fact, so most cool. of the top players who used to play Fung switched off the character a long time ago. So Mono was one of the what few a cool players character. creating all of the Fung tech. And he had to get a little creative to optimize the character. 
see like a, a super huge punish with Akira on Rose, and then I'm like, hey, I wonder, I think, I think Fong can actually recreate something like that, or that situation. I think Fong could do something that, and I just theorize it. I just test. What about it out, Dudley? Dudley's cool, I guess. Stuff like that because he's not in five. Because I told people that play Fong. I'm like, is it's he? really no. hard to just find all right. the matchups with Fong. <laughs> I don't think he in is. YouTube. Like it's, it's because he's an uncommon. Okay, guy. he's not good. Okay, but Mono. Yeah, there's Balrog, but that's time it. Time to mastering a weak character. I don't have the same time available as many of the professional players to just dedicate only to playing. Like, I play, but I also produce. Mono did his best to go to as many tournaments as possible and became the face of Fong mains everywhere. But he quickly became known as one of the best Fong mains in the world. Oh god, I would and hate then that. the pandemic hit. I would hate fighting a low tier, FGC like, main chaos. in these games. Tournaments went on a line, introducing lag to matches, which made tricky characters like Fong even more difficult to play. And yet, Mono started popping off. Poison could be ironed up as well. Yeah, just stayed counter crouching and then dodges it in the sky. Dude, I can't well. wait for the story about A Cola, 15 year old Steve player that just became top one in the world. Okay, it could have been even worse. That's crazy. DX still gets hit and Mono brings it all the way back to take a 2 0 victory over DRA. It puts himself in top eight winner's bracket, continuing that momentum indeed. Unfortunately, those incredible wins were quickly followed by close, crushing losses. Okay, it's still a bit Dude, of a I can't believe Birdie's good. Or oh, used to be good, didn't he get nerfed or something? Oh, now. I love it it's when ugly, dumb characters are actually good. That rules. But no charge. My goodness, it's so unfortunate you didn't have the charge rate because the cross up blows that up. Birdie is kind of doo doo now, yeah. I feel it. like you can't make that character good unless you want him to be good. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, a character like that is built around a few tools, and if those tools, like, you either turn them on or off, you know? So you have to either, like, it's the same in League with League Balance. It's like, okay, do you want Akali to be invisible under towers? Because if so, she's going to be stupid. And there's some characters that they really want to be good, you know? He's going in. Oh, Thrown out of the roundhouse. I can't believe it. He's in big trouble. Oh. There's Mena sealing the deal. Three games to one. Mono's solid online placements earned him a spot at Red Bull Kumite Las Vegas, one of the first major offline tournaments after years of online <laughs> What play. the fuck? Look at Even the box. Why are, they Why are three people casting in the octagon? What the fuck is this? What what are we doing here? What can we get a desk? Why are they in their faces? Yeah. <laughs> I would hate having this job, dude. It looks very funny. Just yelling about the, these people's play right in front of them. Coney, that's you this weekend. Oh, I hope I listen. I'm not going to enjoy it, but it would be an experience for sure. I guess I will be doing this in the ring. Yeah, that's true. Though, Mono just... You'd be laughing your ass off. Well, so, whenever I laugh at somebody for doing some dumb shit in a game, there's always this detachment, right? Because they're, like, far away from me. So, uh, they only hear me laughing at them for being stupid after the fact. Like, when they're watching it sad in their hotel room. Uh, if I'm doing it right in front of them, then we have an issue. I might get in a fight. But, hey, I'm in the ring. So we can make it look like a like a like a work, you know. <laughs> I'll give him a stunner or something, and then pop the crowd. It'll be fun. Couldn't crack the top players. No neutral November. I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna start celebrating now. Ah, he tried to shimmy uh. him. Capcom, please. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh jeez. Oh man. Oh jeez. What is this? What's gonna happen? Oh my god. Oh, what is he god. doing? Oh my god. Oh. What is that character doing, bro? Brian L. Right now, did you just do that? You are a bad man. Despite Mono's <laughs> incredible skill, it seemed like Fong couldn't take him to the top. They're just walking around then, the ring. Something crazy happened. Could not do that in Smash. Literal tears. Red Bull Kumite was a big literal game. fucking tears. If you did that in Smash, that many in the FGC might not consider a real tournament.
No. To them, a real tournament is a grueling double elimination bracket where hundreds of players. Ah, uh, it's not a real. Dogs. That's a Mickey Mouse tournament. And CEO 2021. Let's go, dude! What a timely video. That's crazy. This is on this weekend, by the way. Those big offline brackets in years. I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm not excited for Daytona though. What a fucking shithole. Three players in attendance. Mono showed up, ready to play, alongside dozens of his countrymen. But that meant the pressure was on. Honestly, I wanted to do good because of the fact that, I mean, I'm with the team. I don't want to be good like, song, though, with the true, team yeah. and I'm their number one Street Fighter representative. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't know if this is going to be the case. Uh, and, and I don't want to, like, oversell this. Um, I might be streaming Sunday on my channel. Um, despite being at CO and announcing. We'll see. I think I told you guys this. But yeah, so it, we might have a fun little side stream going on. This should be a good time, I think. Like at the venue, yeah. I don't know if this is true. I don't want to overpromise. What I'm hoping is that I'll be able to do that. So it'll be a good time. Like the EE post tourney streams, yeah. But like during the stream, like I'll be able to pull people in during while matches are happening. So. I don't know if it'll happen, but we'll see. I hope so. I'm excited. I don't make it out of pools. We'll so see if like we can get the setup. Worried. That's what I'm working like, really towards. So. Mono didn't have too much to worry about. He Will you even know how to commentate for melee? No, no, no. I'm not commentating melee. I'm just announcing it. Clean run through pools, two owing every opponent he faced to make it to top 24 on day two of the tournament. But now he had to start facing down some serious competition from top players playing top characters. But Mono didn't care. Bro, that dude is gaming back here. I've never seen this stage. That kid is gaming. Backdashing a fierce. He has to get another activation here. There it is. Be shifting out. Nephew now completely resourceless. He can't grab the crutch either. Still no meter. The jump the throw with the anti air. It's going to be so close. You have to run for life. With the poison. Plus the gray out to the bomb up. Mono is going to top eight. Oh, I've been here. Been able to, to I was at this event. What the fuck? To that CEO entrance. I've always loved the concept. I've never been able to get it. And I forgot I, I was there. Like a top 16, almost close to top 16. Yeah, this is CEO 2021. Why didn't I put to that together? But never top eight. Making top eight was beyond anything anyone could have predicted for Mono. And he made his entrance in the style. Repping his Has anyone ever spiked the box? Style. That's a really good question. Any uh, FGC lore masters? Hey, Perlimps. Yes, Daytona is a shithole. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not looking forward to that. I'm scared. Sanford did? Oh, wait. No, I've seen that clip. I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you spike a stick? How do you, like... I feel like you can't... It, it, it doesn't... You don't do the one hand. It takes more commitment, you know? I host most of the tournaments in Puerto Rico, but... Like, you know, using venues and stuff. So I would, at uh, weeklies, I would do Mentos, my apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, well, I can fit up to maybe 12. Sticks are expensive? Ah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, like sure, sure. 16 man brackets. That makes sense. On the weekdays. I did the first one. And it was, it, uh, more than 16 people came because others just wanted to see it. And I had water. People would be like, oh, can I get a water? Yeah, sure. No matter. And they would go to the fridge and get a, get a bottle of water because I buy cases, right? But I lived with roommates. So the next day when I wake up, the roommates are like, yo, <laughs> what is this where are all the water bottles that we bought? And I'm like, you're kidding me. Because some people actually went to the fridge and they didn't let me know that they were going to get a water. So the next event, I'm like, okay, so what does this I'm just going to charge at least $1 for the bottle of water so I can replenish and buy cases obviously because they're consuming and they're not bringing their own water so but then it just became a joke because people are like ah oh, you go to mono's house and he charges you the water in the summer i was doing puerto rico's first like esports league with street fighter and the last day we actually had a bottle of waters and they had like my face in it then one of the puerto ricans that was with me that knows about the story is like we should do this too because oh. they're all gonna know why we did it but Mono had some I didn't tough matches. I know why they did that. First came Joe Umaroga. I didn't know why they did that. Up and coming Akuma mate. It's like Mono has it shown him time and time again. You can't do that. Ooh, Sweep up the feet. The you can't station. walk back. Almost done. One more touch. He's trying to open up and get it done. The Universal had to come through and stay off the stun. But look, look, at, look how at the, the poison ticket. Look at Mono. Is he going to finish the job? Mono. Yes, he is. It, Mono, moving on. I love the ring setup, bro. That ring setup is so cool. 
Jabali is a visionary. After barely making it into winner's finals, Mono had to face off against his biggest challenge yet. Punk. Oh no. Punk is yes, By the way, we had to get this fucking jersey specifically made for him with the C on it. You know how much this cost, bro? Can't just get a normal jersey. Had to get the C for the team captain. Yet. It was for the team captain for the CPT thing. Punk. I was in the merch call. We were like, yeah, Punk we got to make that. Without a doubt, <laughs> one of the best Street Fighter V players in the world. So there's no yeah. denying that Punk is like, of all time Street Fighter V, the greatest in my opinion, rivaled by Tokido as Me That's too. the one Me guy. Too. The stats peg him as the third best Street Fighter V they player what? of all time. He's got countless tournament wins and grand finals appearances in both Capcom Cup and EVO. He's an absolute monster that no one wants to face in bracket. The stats. In fact, he's what? So good that up until winner's finals, Punk was casually dumpstering his opponents, no names and top players, by beating them with Vega, another low tier pick. Hold on now. Here's the activation. That's what Punk has been suffering. Is it gets the feature attack? He's out of there to jump. Oh, Missing no. the XDT. The chase down. That's, that's it. Break. He cannot it's deal over. enough damage it's anymore. It's definitely over. Punk gonna take this with a time up for the first game. These chips in play, and you gotta hold this. Punk takes it. Bro. Over what is going on with Vega's hair? Look at his hair here. That joint is swinging. Going into that winner's finals match with Mono on one side and Punk on the other. SF5 is jank graphically. It looks good to me. I like the game. Mono was using one of the worst I've always wanted to play a Street Fighter for realsies, but I just don't have the patience. Players in the world. But there's a reason low tier mains stick to their guns. There's a reason we keep playing our bad characters, even though everyone tells us not to. Because we believe. You like and Ken's Mono face? Oh, I forgot about that. that. <laughs> I forgot about Ken's stuff. Through at him. He has a really good Vega. He has a really strong Vega. But how much does he know Vega Fong is a very is a very big thing if he knows the intricacies of what he can punish, what I can punish, that he hasn't seen. Because maybe he's played with other Fongs, but not maybe to the level that I play it. Is the SF scene big? Does it pay out well? Uh, the scene itself is, I think, smaller than Smash. I, I don't want to misspeak. But they have a lot of, uh, their publisher pays for, like, Capcom does it. Capcom supports it, yeah. Capcom has, like, a huge amount of support. Uh, so they give them a lot of money. Um, Smash has a huge... I The reason that I said I thought Street Fighter might be smaller is because Smash has an insane local presence and a social presence like smash's social presence is way bigger than pretty much any other fighting game like a twitter and you know just sort of in general um but capcom gives a lot of money out yeah street fighter is at peaks and valleys while smash is only exploded in growth well smash has like well yeah i guess so i don't know Smash, Smash blows up, and then it, it dies down, you know? And then it it's a slow, gradual decline. People don't get into Smash now. I don't know how many people get in because of new characters. I feel like the answer is very little. But then again, like, there are some character players that come out of nowhere with new characters coming out, like, you know, Steve. But I don't know if those are new players or if it's just, you know, um, people who did play who now are doing well with Steve, you know? You cannot activate here if you're my own. Just away from the EX, Mono needs this! The oh! jump in from Mono! As he takes it over Punk and solidifies his spot! The oh! jump in from So I was standing over here at some point. I think I got over here at Guilty Gear, so I just wanted to see if I was over there. <laughs> I was curious. I was watching on the side for a little bit. Mono sending Nephew to losers in top 16. He's not done with Panda. He's not done. Not done with He's Panda. Not done. Grand Stop it. Final. Leave Panda alone. Mono did it. He was locked into Grand oh, Final. Oh, low tier he ass. He at least a second place finish. But second place was a place Mono knew all too well. <laughs> Panda might sucks, Omega two, L. But a true competitor wants more. Mono wanted to win it all. And he'd have to face his demons again to pull it off. After his upset loss to Mono, Punk switched off what the character Vega is he was that? Using a witch? Tournament 
and went the back fuck? to the top tier character that made him famous. Who put a witch in the game? Right. Darkstalker's yeah, ass? What? Oh shit, Ice Witch. Right, and this could we see the patented? Oh man. And I better hear y'all say it. Uh... And I better hear y'all say it. Because that's going to be a super situation. Puck with the victory over Nephew. 3 1 to get it. I have a new pet peeve with casters. Uh, it, it has formed over the past few months, past few events. Uh, when a caster says situation, I it, it, it ticks something in my brain. Just listen for the word situation, and it will ruin your video game spectating experience. It, it, it's, it's very bad. Very bad. Watch. I, I fucked up your your whole your whole weekend. You're gonna watch CEO, and you're gonna slam your headset. I'm telling you. It's bad. And that's not to say I'm not gonna say it sometimes. I know I'll drop it, but I try very hard not to. And she fits Punk's playstyle perfectly. It's just Punk on Karen, man. That punk, that's that's built different. That is the loadout of player and character that fundamentally changed the way this game is played. Bro, Panda's everywhere. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy's on Panda too. Say what the fuck? You have fucking Monopoly. She's fast. This is crazy. Buttons that help her whiff punish things like Fong's long, slow limbs. Her damage is extremely high, helping her kill off of errant hits. And even when a character like Fong corners her, she has spectacular defensive tools. Wait, Fong in the lore is one of these guys? I thought it was Vega Balrog Sagat. What's going on here? Okay. Basically, Karin is one of Fung's worst matchups. He replaced and Sagat. Punk is oh, easily okay. the best Karin player in the world. On top of that, Sagat Punk became was a good angry. guy. Okay. Since, oh. like any great player, he hates losing. So this wasn't just a rematch. It was personal. The grand finals meant a lot to Mono. This was his chance to break his second place curse. His chance to prove to the world that in the right hands, Fung could do anything. I know I can beat this character. I, I wasn't sure if I could beat Punk, but I know I could beat the character. Didn't know Street Fighter had lore. <laughs> you thought ca characters just dropped into the world? <laughs> no backstory or anything? They just show up? And with all that gray light, we're gonna die for the just the two bars. We don't even need to cash out. With I mean, the yeah, it's a fighting game. Yeah, game. I guess so. On the board for Punk. Building a little bit of extra bar even with that Ooh. knockdown. That should close out this round. I think Don't no the drop. drop. But he finds a fierce anyway to face Punk with the reset. Punk demolished Mono. It wasn't even close. Punk reset the bracket with a vicious 3-0, and everyone thought the tournament was basically over. Sure, Mono had another set to work with, but after a loss that decisive, it didn't seem like there was anything he could do to run it back. And yet, Mono's belief in Fung was infectious. Everyone wanted him to win. Are people booing right now? I legit booing. stopped watching after that 3-0. Yeah, I would have tuned out. I would have clicked off, bro. Story. I would have been done. He's, he's a protagonist, bro. Like, I had the headset on, but I could hear the, the chants with Mono. And it was no longer that small crowd of Puerto Ricans on the side. It was literally a lot of people in the venue. And I was like, this is surreal. What the crowd didn't realize, though, is that interesting. Mono not everyone plays with arcade style controllers. Yeah, I remember being surprised by that when I first like so saw fighting I, game I'm stuff. I'm confident that Fong can beat Karen. I just I, but it's I very common for people to play with like, Pad. You don't have to change. You just have to adjust. Mono didn't switch characters. He didn't make massive changes in his play style. He just went into the second set ready to play. Win or lose, he was fighting for low tier mains everywhere, and he didn't miss. Come off the feet with the sweep. Good line, right? Open him up. That door looking easy to bust open. Oh, the medium to commit just yet. Go to the oh, too far out. That door. Why would Punk to bust open. jump back here? I don't know anything about Street Fighter. Why wouldn't you want to keep him there? Oh, the oh, oh, the he to be able to close it out for the game. Yes, yes he is. A game on the board for Mono. Does he not want to get poked? Baiting a V reverse, maybe? Like, is it like he doesn't want to get poked at by range? Like. Try to be cheeky with an EX move? Okay. I don't know either of their movesets, so I'm just guessing. I just feel like it would be more beneficial to just stay in, but... Uh. 
Catches Command Dash out of the corner. Ah. But close it out for the game. Yes, yes he is. A game on the board for Mono. We're at a point where this is one touch for either player. Get Gets away down. with the EX Dash. And he yeah. will okay. do it for Mono. Back and away. It's the, the same thing. Same it's the same, same thing, thing, thing from the winner's side. Mono the on two thing. games post bracket reset. In part to get this the is why you're perfect to commentate Melee. I mean, I, I can understand Melee from, from a perspective of like Smash, right? You understand Smash archetypes. Like, it, I, I know how characters function just by virtue of, you know, I know shit. You know? I don't know anything about Street Fighter. This is a different world. I don't even know what makes characters good or bad. Damn, he fucked him up. Jeez. Yeah. Damn it, jeez. Oh, Punk gave him a hug. Good sport. Bro, don't rush the ring. It's going to collapse. What are you doing? He helped legitimize the Puerto Rican scene. Proving that it's a region to be feared and respected. Oh, but God. more importantly, he reminded everyone that tier lists are just about which character has the easiest time winning. I feel that in well... <laughs> I think tier lists are uh, very different in in Smash Brothers. And probably in games like Marvel, you know what I mean? Like Especially right now where it is. <laughs> I feel like you can technically play. Wait, is that true? Uh the the idea of tier lists is Yes, it's supposed to be if the players are even, how easy a character's time is of winning. But in actuality, a tournament, a player will never ever win a large tournament with a bad character in a game like Ultimate. You literally can't do it. It's it's not feasible. There's no world where anybody will win a major with Isabel. It can't happen. Like with the way that character exists and functions unless the player you play the, pay the players off yeah i mean like you can do it with mid tiers you can do it with mid tiers absolutely because there's like the mid tiers usually have some shit that other people don't know about and you can lab some shit out but if it's like bottom 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 no you can't there's no way because you're going to run into too many people and one of them is going to exploit you There are only, like, eight bad characters? Maybe. I mean, like, even Base Mage. Base Mage is never going to win a major. Not because he's not good. He's amazing. But, like, his shtick of playing that character and being that good with it, you're going to run into a Sonic. Dude, did you watch Crown? He ran into Ken. He got fucked up. Fucked up. It's not his fault. Sonic Jigglypuff is god awful, but like, you you just you're gonna run into a bad matchup. There are too many characters in the game. You need the luckiest bracket on earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you roll sevens, you have to win the lottery eight times. <laughs> People have won because of bracket luck before. It does exist, but not with low tiers, you know. Any character, it's just the it's creator of Tekken was shocked when Panda won the world championship. Okay, I can't speak for other games. This is why I can't speak for like fighting. I could just only talk about Smash. In Smash, it's not going to happen. Maybe it's because Smash has so many more variables. Like, if you don't want to fight somebody in Smash, you it's a legit strategy to not engage at all. Like literally. Mac should never win a set ever because if you don't want to fight little Mac you don't have to you just run away camp top platform whatever like smash has so much more variability and mobility you know of how but. you approach the matchups because sometimes there are, there are things with players like the, the most important thing Nairo 3 would light with Ganondorf yeah but that was like early in Met ultimate right that was like six months in or a year in maybe I feel like that wasn't that far in but maybe I'm making that up I don't know in every fighting game is not necessarily how you three months in oh yeah well then what the fuck anybody wins three months in <laughs> the game's not solved more especially so fox ganon because fox has to get in and fight Mono's ganon just throws out hitboxes undeniable proof that low tier mains can win that even when everyone tells you your character sucks even when Bro. everyone tells you you made the wrong choice dude i can't wait for the next smash game because i am going to be an asshole I remember when Ultimate came out, and everybody's like, oh my god, K. Rule top tier, inkling best character of the game. I'm like, you motherfuckers have no idea what you're talking about. 
you guys are 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 just making shit up. But I was like, you know what? I'm not a top player. I'm just a caster. I don't think these characters are good. But, you know, it's it's just me, you know, I'm I'm a nobody who cares. Now, I've been proven right on everything except Dr. Mario and Steve. Although I might still be right about Steve. I said Steve is very good until you learn the matchup and I think he can be matchuped, which might still be true, but I don't know, maybe. Uh but when that next Smash game hits, bro, I'm putting out all my opinions. I don't give a shit. Who cares? Also, I said that I didn't think Aegis was very good. <laughs> Whoops on that one. Hard work and true skill can I was, uh, I was foolish. <laughs> like, I was, they said that I was like an You thought Dr. Mario was good? I thought Dr. Mario would be better than Mario. Which may be! But I thought Dr. Mario would be better because I thought kill power was way more important in this game. When the game first came out, I thought kill power was like number one. Because so many characters live forever. But I think it was because I was an Inkling player. So kill power was a big deal to me. Well, the fact that, they, that it can be done. Yeah. That you can Whoopsie have daisy. stuff going on. But you can, if you we didn't know Mario still had combos. Time, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not how, how much Low tiers can win, win Darman. Into the game, then you're able to pull something like this off. And so I think both David and I would like to have a formal apology. I never understood why everybody underrated Mario so much because it's up air, up air forward air. Fong, otherwise That's all it is. People didn't know about tournament. up air, up air forward air. That's all it and, is. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Mono, dude. This music is so funny to me. It is very inspirational, yeah. Good movie. Not bad. All right. Uh, I would love to watch more, but you guys know what time it is. It is. I, I hate to do this. But it is finally time for the final Roller Champions ever. The final stream of Roller Champions. I know. I know. It's so sad. Like, oh, dude, we'll do Lego Brawl tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. Hey, if you guys are leaving, fine, whatever. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I might stream tomorrow or Wednesday, but probably not both. So if you don't see me, I'll, I'll tweet about it. Because I leave for CEO on Thursday. And I would like one night with my family. Because <laughs> I, I didn't see them this weekend on Father's Day. So if it's okay with you guys, I'm probably going to take off one of these nights. So, Alright, time for some Roller Champions. Who loves rolling? I do. Now this is the last Roller Champions stream we're going to have. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. But unfortunately... Oh my god, dude. I have so many tabs open. Unfortunately, the time has come. All good things must come to an end. All right, hold on. I got to make the tweet. I'm the tab champion, yeah. And I'm not going to tell you about the game until I have it set up because I it's part of the advertisement, so. Okay. The final sponsored stream of the month. Thank you, Princess Brian, for the Prime, by the way. I'm sorry I didn't see that. Did I see that? Maybe I already said thanks. Thank you, Hohen360. Big thanks. Okay, uh, let's do it. Hashtag ad. The final Roller Champions stream. Let's <laughs> go for worldwide, even though I'm definitely just going to play quick play, I think. <laughs> I don't think that I'm doing ranked, but we'll say that instead. Okay, play ranked pussy? Absolutely not. Guys, Roller Champions is a hot new game from Ubisoft, and we're going to be playing it for the next two hours. The season, the first season, actually started on May 25th, so we're still into it, but I think that they just announced their newest one uh, just recently, which is like disco-themed, which should be pretty cool. We're going to be playing it for a little bit. It's free to play, and it's 3v3. It's a great game. I've been enjoying it a whole bunch. I've been playing it all month. Unfortunately, tonight is the last night that we will be playing it. So if you guys want to snipe me in quick play, huh? Tonight's the night, huh? Okay, hold on. Let me get this open. Uh, okay. All right, it's loading up. Roller Champions is available on Ubisoft Connect, and it's on everything. PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and it has crossplay, so you can play with anybody that you want, and, and cross-progression, so you can play on multiple systems. It's amazing. It was developed with live player feedback through a couple different phases, so it's been made very balanced, and I can't wait to play it for all of you. Okay. Not Switch, no. Was not on Switch. Probably looks too good for Switch, bro. This game is pretty. All right. I got to make a tweet.
Do I go back to uh to Chaos, the the Splinter Cell soundtrack? <laughs> Any plans on the striker season? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I, I The fact that it waited so long makes me not interested in it. Because I, I feel like the only people that are still in it are going to be, like, super tryhard, and I don't know if I want to do that. Because then I have to play it a lot to, like... I like playing at the beginning because everybody's learning, and obviously I, I would, like, probably be better than a lot of people because I played it a bunch... But, like, playing now would be, I don't know. I don't know how much I want to play that game seriously. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know why they waited 10 days on that. That's insane. It's ridiculous. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. What will it take to get you to play rank? It's literally your last chance to That's try true. it out. I should and do it. You're if right. You get your is kicked, it's a win win because it's funny. No, you're right. I haven't been playing ranked lately because I've been uh, streaming this so late. But you're right. I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. We're feeling fine, and I've gotten pretty good at the game. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think we go ranked and we go for worlds. You're right. What's the final? What's the ranking? Is it like worldwide or like world champs or whatever? Something like that. I have no clue. Yeah, I don't know why I'm asking you guys. Nationals 1? I'm in Nat 3 now. I could get there, bro. Surely. Okay. Champions, according to Google. Oh, that's it? Oh, shit. Is champion what's above national? Wait. World is second. Oh, never mind. So it's national world. Okay. I was going to say, if I could get up there, bro, please. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I got to bring Rayman Origins back, bro. This is my ranked playlist. This is the ranked playlist. The other stuff, you know, that's fine for unranked, but gotta get serious. No more soggy burger. <laughs> Actually, you're right. I might need to change it up for ranked. I forgot to change that. You know what? I want to thank all of you for joining me on this Roller Champions journey. It's been fun to stream the game. Had some pretty good sponsored streams. And you guys are the real ones for sticking around. It's crazy. I feel like I've progressed in the game. I'm pretty good now. But am I good enough to get world champ? I don't know. Okay. Dude, so I got sunburned when I was in Utah. Oh, I forgot I turned this guy back on. Whoops. Uh, I, uh, I went to the pool today after getting sunburned in Utah. And I, why do I start backwards? Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I literally started the game backwards. Oh, I didn't tell you guys about. Here's a fun little story. Oh, never mind. He's just gonna make it. Bring back the boogie shorts for old times. You got it. No, you're right. You're right. I'll do it for you, baby. Just for y'all. Pass it. Pass it. Oh, shit. Let me pass. Let me pass. Or just throw a goal. I don't care. I guess these guys are duo. Uh, okay, I forgot to tell you guys a story, and since you stuck around, I'm going to tell you this. So I parked at BWI to go to Utah, right? And I couldn't find a parking spot anywhere. <laughs> I was looking all over the parking garage, but everything was taken, and my flight was like in an hour, so I had to park very quick. I eventually found one spot. It was like one of those parking garages that tell you there's one spot around this corner. So you have to like go in and then you have to park there. But it doesn't tell you what like the spot looks like or where. So anyway, I, uh, I'm diving. That was bad. Anyway, I'm looking for the spot. I can't find it. And then I realize the thing that I have. Try to catch it backwards. 
in the lane that I'm in, there is one parking spot open. And I don't have time to, like, scout it or look for it or anything. And I'm like, wow, that's weird that this lane only has one parking spot open and not more than that. Why would there only be one? And I go down the lane and I see the spot open and all these other cars are near it. So I'm like, huh, that's weird. Why is there only one spot open? Maybe somebody just left or something or whatever. Why would nobody take this spot? I pull up to the spot and it turns out that spot is totally flooded. Only that car spot, only that one parking spot is totally flooded with water. And I don't know how, because this is on... I, I jumped on that guy while he's laying down. I don't know how that one spot was totally flooded with, like, literally a foot of water. There's just a fucking foot of water in that parking spot. And I don't have time to find another one. So I pull in, thinking that, like, it's not that deep. And I step out, and I look down, and the water is like, this is the, the, the floor, and this is the water. I'm wearing shoes with socks. I don't have time to find another spot. I parked in the water, and I put my foot down, and my entire shoe is submerged. And then I look up. And it said that the water was, like, from a sewer drain? I don't know what the sign said, but it said something about sewer. Now, it did not smell like sewer water. I don't think it was, like, it wasn't poop or anything. But it definitely was not, like, you know, tap water. <laughs> something was up, right? And I, uh, I, I stepped in it. My socks got wet. I switched over to my sandals. And I wore the sandals the entire weekend. Um, but I put the socks and my shoes back in my bag. And now everything smells terrible. Uh, I'm going to have to wash everything in that bag. I would simply have not slept in that water. I, Dude, I was trying to figure out how I could like go around it. But there is no way out. Dude, you might have gangrene. I don't think so. Uh, I'm not feeling any itching. Which seems like... Wait. Perhaps that was strange. Should not, oh my god, they're going for five. I have to stop telling the story. Oh god. No, I didn't mean to die! Let's go! Okay, I did not mean to die, but we made it out. Fuck, tried to pass it. Uh, anyway, I, I, I stepped in the water with my socks, then I switched my sandals, and it was fine, and then I got home, and now my whole bag stinks. So, uh, the real moral of this story... Why are they all waiting for the pass? We're up by four. The moral of this story is leave for the airport, uh, way earlier than you expect to. That's my story. Thank you, Channing. <laughs> Oh, no. Holy shit. Oh, no. Nah, you got it, then. You got it. Oh, you're good, bro. Put that joint in. Good shit. Uh, yeah, so I left. My flight was at 6 a.m.? 6 a.m.? I don't remember. My flight was very early. And I, I left at 4. No, I left it I left at 4.30. My flight was at 7 a.m. That's what it was. I should have... I, 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 I thought I had more time. I did not. So, that's my story. <laughs> this music. Was your car sitting in water that whole weekend? Yes. I came back hoping that it would be drained somehow. And it was not. It was so bad. It was just sitting in water that whole time. Ew. I guess it's a whole outfit. I kind of like this helmet. Ooh. Kind of like that glove. Oh, I love those. Oh, shit. Put those on. 
That's a good color, bro. Oh, I forgot to add the... Why do I have bullets? What the fuck? Why did they put this in the game? I don't like that, bro. It's a million bullets with bang and glory on it. All right, I'm going to wear... Oh, okay. Now, I did promise people I would wear the booty shorts for you. Throw me a pass or else. All right. Oh my God, I'm mad sweaty. This is so gross. Why do I look like this? Early bird ascending stuff. I don't like any of these. Dude, you don't get any ranking for winning. It's crazy. This makes the field a fucking hazard. Too much sweat breaking the rule. I feel like it becomes part of the meta. You find somebody with like a genetic condition and that's your unicorn. Put them on the field. Everybody douses themselves in oil. Wait, that guy only has 5,000 fans? How is he at this rank? This guy's a fucking smurf. NBA sweat moppers? Wait, are those real? I, I believe you, actually, that that exists. That's real? Huh. I guess it makes sense. I've just never really thought about it. Sanchez, you're going the wrong way. Sanchez, you are so silly. Sanchez. <laughs> Jukes. That's it. Send the missile. So close, dude. So fuck. What is this coverage? Oh, I should have hit him earlier. Let's go! God, the noises. Dude, why is the awesome G just running defense on somebody a mile away? Come on. Dude, this is annoying. These dudes are just covering Sanchez. All right, Sanchez. Is he just holding L? Look at this. Uh, if I could just get through, and j this is the most defense I've ever seen. He held it the whole time. Lose that fucking ball, bro. All right, bro. You guys want to have a giggle? You want to have a chuckle? How about this? I'll be having a chuckle when I get this fucking point. Yum. Yum. I would love to throw you a pass. I can't. You're too far. Here's your pass, bro. Go. No, you can't. Okay. Well, now I have the ball again. Oh, shit. Far pass. Let's go. Fuzzy. Let's go, Fuzzy. It's in. Let's go. That's my team, bro. That's my guy. That's my... Play my theme song. It's my fucking dude. That was actually a good... Yeah, that was a good trip around, dude. We're only up by one, though. Their team actually looks, uh... Their team actually looks pretty coordinated. I'm a little worried. Oh. Dude, that was actually good tracking there. Is Coney 46 or am I being lied to? Who told you that? Get out of whatever Discord you're in. I'm 45. I'm not quite there yet. Dude, th these guys are slamming people. Fuck you! <laughs> the fucking defense is pissing me off. No, Sanchez. No. No, stop being fancy. 
I'm killing this guy. I'm gonna give him a fucking concussion. I got him. I got him. We got him, team. Don't worry. We got him. I'm camping, dude. Fuck this. No, I'm not going that way. Fuck you. We're up by one now, and that means I'm camping. Eat shit. No. Fuck out of here, dude. I'm winning this game. Skate the face. <laughs> dude, that dropkick is so satisfying. When you hit it, throw it up, throw it up. Oh, let's go! Oh, but oh, that's in. That's in. You guys are looking quite foolish. I got a good teammate, dude. I've got actually a pretty decent team here. They like know where to pass it. They know how to deal with the uh, with the runaway stuff. This is pretty good. Cody is actually getting good at the game. I mean, I played it for 12 streams for two hours. If I'm not good, we have a problem. Good shit. Oh, God. Sanchez is definitely their point guy. I, that should kill someone, dude. Sanchez is, like, their main guy. He's the star. Move it up, move it up, move it up. I'll cover you. Oh, you're going all the way around. All right. Why? Why hit me? What did I do? Bro, they actually feed it to Sanchez every time. This is insane. This is a trio. Why am I fighting a fucking trio? What? Oh, he fell. Let's go! Just run. I'm camping. I'm actually just gonna... Why? There's no one near me, dude. Alright, I'm going to Sanchez. Yep, he rolls it right to Sanchez. Oh, no. Honestly, though, they have to get three. Or get two single points. Are they gonna go for one? They're going for one? Okay, they're not going for one. Good jump. Surely, oh my god, he passed it to his friend. He's letting his friend score? That's why you don't let your friend score. That's why you don't take the fucking, give me the ball. I'm camping, bro. Your friend can't score. He couldn't if he tried. Dude, I just want to camp this so bad. I just want to get on top of it and not let them have it. Sanchez is the only player worth anything. Give me the ball. Nope. Good shit. Pass it. Don't me a pass. Dude, just give me a pass. I, I literally just need the ball once. I can be the Sanchez of our team if you just let me have the ball. There we go. All right. Yeah, no, I'm camping. Fuck you guys. Fuck both of you. Nope. Don't score. You don't have to score. Just run. Just run. Up here. Just keep it away from Sanchez and we win. Nope. 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 I'm going this way. I'm camping. Fuck you. No. 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 The awesome G2013. Get the fuck out of here. It's so hard to catch somebody if they just play keep away like this. Oh, I tried to pass it. Oh, I think I did the fake pass. Oh, no. They need three here, though, to win. They can't get two ones. That's my guy! Okay. Oh, God. Surely they don't get three here. Oh, no, they got it to Sanchez.
No, 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 no. No, you gotta keep it on Sanchez. You gotta keep it on Sanchez. Your team can't do it. Dude, no. If their team has one good player, I'm literally just gonna camp. That's all I'm gonna do. Defense wins championships. Yeah, no way. Absolutely not. Not in my game. <gasps> Roller Legend! Oh, dude, I might finish the Battle Pass tonight. Oh, shit. Wait. I just need a couple more to get this wild outfit. Might be able to finish this joint, man. Sorry, the roller pass. Not the battle pass, it's the roller pass. What's this music? You guys don't know Rayman Origins? This music go crazy, dude. If we find Kevin, you gotta talk to him. If I run into Kevin or what was the other one? Brazilla. Brazilla, that's my fucking guy, dude. Brazilla is my dude. Yeah, the Rayman series is very good. The newest games are excellent. Well, I guess, are they the newest still? I guess if you don't count the rabbit ones. I don't know the Kevin lore. I mean, he just, he, Kevin was a teammate that uh, did everything himself. He was Mr. Do It himself, and I, I just wanted passes and he wouldn't do it. I did not pass the ball, by the way. Stepdad? Uh, Brazilla was somebody who I won a 2v3 against, or with. He was a great teammate. That's him. No, no, no. I love doing that. Brazilla was my guy, dude. We were passing it back and forth. That was my boy. I love that shit. Yeah, Brazilla was an insane teammate. Did you have, ever give Brazilla a sub? Dude, no, his name was TTT, uh, TTV Brazilla, and we looked it up. He had no stream history. I don't know why people do that. Oh, God, he's dead. That's my fault. I threw it to you in triple coverage. Oh, let's go. Boost off me, bro. Boost off me. No, I tried to throw it this guy. Oh, that's in. No, that was bad. I thought he was falling down, but I forgot you could just hang in the goal. Honey, I'm trying to pay my late tax and yeah, yeah. elements isn't working so well. Oh, that, that oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for the bits though. Hey, thanks for paying the late tax. Maybe show up on time next time, okay? How did you get hit by that guy? That guy was literally just standing still. All right, throw it back, brother. Going back this way. All right. All right, Trillist Buzz 420. <laughs> Speaking of Buzz, anybody see Lightyear? Pretty bad, right? I haven't seen it. I'm just guessing. Give me the ball. I'm so sad to Buzz didn't win crown. Dude, me too. I didn't realize, so during the commentary, I said like, you know, DeBuzz seems like he always gets second, but never actually wins. And I didn't talk about it too much, because it seemed like something that like, I didn't want that to be a feeling that I had that wasn't true. So I was like, damn, that sucks. And then somebody posted on the Reddit the day after all of the instances where he got second, and there's like a million. It's crazy. He has got second at so many fucking tournaments. And I didn't want to say that in case I was wrong and I just forgot, like, tournaments that he won. But it just hasn't happened. 
It's fucked up, dude. Oh, shit. Pick that up. Pick that up. Dude, they are covering deep. They're, like, not on the person with the ball. They're covering the person, like, that might get a pass. Like that. Go pass, bro. Jesus! You know, this disco music just made me realize why they did disco for Roller Champions. It's literally Roller Disco. I don't know why I didn't put that together. Fuck. That's it. Okay, they got that. They got that. Half of Crown was Cola getting uh, terrorized by free to play or fighter pass two characters. The Givitational, but yeah, you're right. Dude, he was losing his shit. He was actually like getting mad, mad. I'm glad he did as well as he did, but... Dude, the, the, the Kazuya set, the T Shuton set, is amazing. What a sick set. Everybody should watch that set. That was unbelievable. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't get that? I don't even care if Kazuya kills the game, bro. He is so fun to watch. Nobody's blocking the goal. It's in. Barely, though. Ow. Ouch started FD versus Team Kazuya after beating Riddle's Kazuya. Oh, God. I wonder if more people are going to pick up Kazuya or Steve. I feel like no, but... Falling over. Dude, behind you, behind you. Okay. Oh, my God. Dude, what? How do I get my team to pay attention? Oh, my God. Did he throw that? Oh, no. I go for more, dude. They got two people on defense. Fuck that. Fuck that. We're moving. Why? 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 You're not going to get the ball down. Oh, but your teammate is. Okay. I should have gone for one. I didn't realize we were down by one. I thought we were still 1-1. One, one. I could have just played deep or played around the ball. What? I thought that was in. I was going to be mad as hell. Shit. Oh! Guys, where are you? I want to pass him, but you can't. No, give it to me. Jesus! It's a fucking minefield! Dude, they use so many drop kicks. Are drop kicks just the meta? Holy shit, dude. I thought you'd want more control. There's a lot of drop kicks here. Pass it up. Good pass, good pass. Throw me a pass. Oh, no. Okay, drop kicks do seem good in that situation. Yeah, I might lose this because I was passing. Oh, we're camping, huh? We're going to camp this? All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Pick that up. Pick that up. Good pass. Dude, that was a good hit. That was a good hit, but didn't work out. Okay, okay. Let's move, let's move. Right here, right here. 
Right here. That's it. Oh, all right, we're good, we're good. Yahoo! Okay. We got it, we got it. 2-2, two, 2-2. Two, two, two. Sudden death. Woo! I forgot to do the pose at the end. This shit. Ugh! <laughs> the nut buster. Oh, God. That ball had speed. Shit. What's going on with this guy's trail? Let's go! Pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. Let's go. Oh, God, he's in triple. All right. Fuck! Oh, my God. All right, hold on. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, nobody covered goal. We're done. We're done. <laughs> I, all right. I, I thought my team would have turned around. But they were still chasing. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I got the boost. So I was like, okay, I got the boost. They're going to turn around. But all right. Well. That was a little bizarre. My team looked pretty good up until that point, but you know, it's okay. Can't win them all. How much did I lose? Oh, not that much. Not bad, actually. Not as much as I thought. I got killed by bands be moving. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna blame that one on teammates, which I haven't had to do a lot lately, if I'm being honest. My teams have been pretty good. Ugh. I'm hungry again. Streaming late makes me hungry. I almost make bad decisions, you know what I mean? God damn those roller legend legs. Yeah, dude. You don't get the nationals without some thick thighs. Cat dog montage music. That's funny. That's good. Eating late at night is real bad for you? Yeah. But it's so good. It's bad for you. Oh no, I have Trillis Buzz on my team. I have Trillis Buzz. <laughs> Damn, even rolls the R. Roll All right, it's coming out this way. Peep this one. Fuck. God damn, dude. He was in the right spot the whole time. Throw me a pass. Throw me a pass. He's so far out. What? What? What the fuck are you guys doing? What? Okay. Oh no, not Lil Homie standing perfectly still. Let me pass. Good stuff. Okay. That guy's gone. Yeah, just keep it moving. Don't go for one. Don't go for one. We don't go for one here. We're not scared to get more points. Demarch? Demarch? I'm trying to pass it. I'm trying to pass it! literally get close to me. I can't... Maybe I should have L passed it? I don't like not doing magnetize pass. It feels like that shit goes off the rails. Jesus. What? Where's the ball? What the fuck? He just vanished up there. Favorite type of donut? Vanilla frosted with sprinkles. Period. Love it. Vanilla frosted with sprinkles, uh, or if they don't have that, because for some reason, a lot of donut places don't have that. Um, this guy's dead. I got it, I got it. No, drop that fucking Uh, if they don't have that, uh, you go just glazed. But, 
Pick that up. Pick that up, teammate. Good shit. And he dropped it. Okay. Fuck. Sour cream donuts? Are those real? <laughs> I think that's a meme, but also I don't know. Sour cream are really good. Are you? I can't tell if people are joking. That sounds disgusting. But maybe I'm thinking of like a certain flavor of sour or like a type of. Oh my god, dude! I'm in triple fucking coverage. Literally, where's my team? We're right here. Put that in. I love that so much. Oh, I just realized he says donut time. I was wondering why you were asking that. Ground pound in real life. I feel like I haven't seen deli sauce in here in a long time. I miss deli sauce. That was the uh, ground pound legend. I hope he's doing well. Got him. Dude, I feel like the drop kick is actually pretty good. There you go, bro. Oh, dude, this is in. Oh, that block! My dude fell down twice. Why'd he go for one? Why'd he go for one? I miss people when they don't come to chat for a while, man. Jack Mickey's been gone for a while, but I'm pretty sure he's in here under a different name. I'm pretty sure I know who he is. He shows up sometimes. But I don't want to ask him, because he clearly changed his name. No, I th I, I'm pretty sure I know who Jack Mickey is, based on the way that he types. Where's Niret? Niret usually hangs out in EE's chat, but sometimes he'll come in here. Yeah, Niret's not really in here much anymore. Oh no, I missed. No! That's on me. That's on me. I blew it. Oh, but my teammate had it. Good shit. Let's go. And now we... Gonna say now we move. Seems like it takes a lot from Rocket League. Yeah, I mean it's sick. It's just it's sort of Rocket League in that you know, it's simple to play, uh, tough to master kind of deal. It's a lot of fun. You can get very good at this game. Fuck out of here, little homie. Oh, dude, you guys better pick that up and move. You were wide open. Okay. Oh, there's nobody on defense. Throw that shit in. Beautiful. Good. Have you met any people from chat IRL? Yeah, a ton. Mostly from old chat. Um, mostly from the old days, but yeah. Uh, Ty Atlas, actually, was... Uh, Old chat? Yeah, yeah, So, there are two eras of Kony. Uh, can I stop subbing? I've been trying to say- I thought- I- I thought I gave you the lifetime sub, but yes, I've told you you don't have to. I've told you that repeatedly. Um, there are two eras of Kony. There was, uh, pre- Pre just chatting? In post just chatting. You guys live in the post just chatting. Pre just chatting, Coney used to work at an office job, and I would work a normal nine to five, and then I would just play like weird ass games on Steam, just whatever I wanted to at the time. Now I'm a just chatter, which means a lot more viewers, but I don't play as many video games. Pre and post Panda, yeah, exactly. So the old chat. 
uh, are are a very small group of people because I had like a hundred viewers. They have their own discords though. You've changed? I absolutely have. Yes, I have. You're right. Um. So yeah, those are the two different things. I met Ty Atlas at Utah. Um. Ty Atlas is actually, like, Utah's best Zelda, and beat Shuton <laughs> at the local, which is insane. Yeah. Yeah, Ty was cool as hell. He was a cool guy. It's weird because, like, a lot of people will, like, talk to me for, like, 30 minutes. Or, you know, like, I'll, I'll talk, like, in a group with them. Like, not just one-on-one, -on -one, but, like, I was in the pool with everybody, and, like, we were just talking, he's like, oh, by the way, I'm Ty Atlas in chat. I'm like, oh, dude, what the fuck? Why didn't you start with that? I would have known. Like, well. Oh, I'm camping. Ow, Jesus Christ. If I ever see you IRL, I will be far too nervous to do an extended conversation. I don't know why people aren't nervous, bro. If you see me IRL and you want to say hi, just come up, say, hey, man, you know, I love your stuff. Love your videos. Love the streams, whatever. You can tell me your name in chat. We'll do a fist bump, maybe even a hug. We take a picture and then we're done. That's it. That's it. It's easy. What do you think I'm going to do? Be mean? I'm scared you're going to be like, oh, you're that goober in chat. No, I'm not. Why would I ever? No. If I see you in real life, I will point at you and say, poop boy. Do not. Because I'm not going to be in streamer mode. I'm going to be like, what the fuck is that guy's problem? <laughs> like, I don't, don't come up. Okay, I will tell you this, actually, sincerely, and I mean this. Uh, the most annoying thing you can do as a chatter is to come up to a streamer and say, like, a bit from the stream to start off the combo. Because we're not in stream mode, and don't regurgitate, like, a bit back to us. Jake, uh, Alfred used to uh, say that people would come up to him and just say forward aerial, right? And that's, like, his bit. Oh, hi, Ty! I was just talking about you. Yeah, I was saying it was cool to meet you. People would come up to Jacob and be like, forward aerial, and he's like, yeah, I do say that sometimes. I do say that on the internet. And I think it's just out of nervousness. You know, I'm not trying to be an asshole. People are shy, and they don't know what else to say. But just, 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 just say hi. Just be like, hey, man, I like what you do. You know, I'm a fan. And then you could talk, like, I had people say that they liked uh, Cringe Confessional, and they wrote in, which was awesome, you know? Do that. I actually haven't had as many weird interactions as you might think. It's been it's been very pleasant. It's been good. Just don't overthink it. Yeah, 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 because I'm just a dude, man. I'm just chilling at an event. Someone should do an unironic walkthrough to meet celebrities at this point. It's been done. Ludwig made a video on, like, how to have a good interaction with, like, a streamer or a personality. And it's just, it's literally just that. It's just, like, talk, you know, just say hi like a normal person. Don't overthink it. Tell them who you are in chat. You know? Your community is older than Alfred's, so there's less of us. Yeah, 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 don't get me wrong. I have way less to worry about than, like, Jacob or Ludwig or anybody that's, like, huge, right? Because I'm way smaller. Because it's just, as you get bigger, you will get more young people who probably don't know how to behave in those circumstances. Which, to be fair, how does anybody know how to behave in those circumstances? You know what I mean? Like, influencer shit is so new. That's the wrong way. Oh, he 
he's just launched this shit. I remember the whole plusy situation. Yeah. Uh, plusies were very annoying. Even as somebody who is, like, very uh, tangentially related. But they would consistently, like, DM me for no reason and, like, comment under all my posts with, like, inane bullshit. It's like... Uh, and I don't... Again, I, I, it wasn't Jacob's fault at all. It's not Alpharad's fault. It's just, you know, there's a certain community. Oh my god! Got some speed on that! Oh god, they're gonna get three. It's two v three, come on. What was their deal? Uh so I mean the Alpharad's whole like the whole Alpharad shtick was like breaking down in an ironic way, breaking down the barrier between like viewer and personality, right? and treating internet personalities like they were just anybody else, as they are, right? That was sort of like the, the gimmick. And I think he encouraged his community to do that. And like, it was fine up until a point where a few people just take it too far and there becomes this goal to like one-up each other to be more and more annoying. You know what I mean? And it just got unhealthy. Dropped it. Yeah, genuine harassment. Yeah, it got pretty bad. Honestly, a case study on why that barrier is important. I mean, that's kind of the reason I don't talk much in the Discord. It's not that I don't want to communicate with people. It's that, like, I don't want to make it a precedent that I'm in the chat consistently. Because I don't want people to, like, think that's a perk of being in the Discord is talking to me. I don't have the time for that, you know what I mean? Doesn't mean I don't like talking to people or I don't want to talk to people, it's just like... This happened way more in the past, but it would be like, how often does Kony interact with his Discord? I don't want to be in there or like sub to him if I don't get to talk to him. And I'm like, you're not entitled to my time. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to set that idea. In some creators, that's part of the deal, right? You kind of, you, you earn or buy, you know, that sort of engagement. I'm just not that guy. I'm too busy, you know? Dude, let me hit this fucking guy. There we go. That's actually so entitled. Well, again, it depends on how you're, like, what your expectation is. Like, if you've only interacted with and supported streamers who are okay with that. Because there's a lot of, like, you know, probably, like, 200 viewer streamers that have the time and ability to interact with and engage with, like, a big community of people, which is fine. I'm just not that guy. I'm barely entitled for time. Yeah. Vince will send me, like, eight messages in a row, and I just won't. And it's not even... J it's, it's everybody, dude. The, the guy that ran, um... Crown texted me today and, you know, thanked me for coming and I wanted to hit him back up. I just... I got home at 6 a.m. I zonked out until about 11. Uh, I got up, did some work for Panda, uh, took my daughter to the pool. I just did a lot of shit, man. So I gotta message him back. I just think one of the issues of, like, not an issue, but one of the side effects of, like, the creator economy, right, is that people have different expectations of what that barrier looks like, and everybody has different uh, ideas. And because of that, you know, people are gonna try to put it in a box or put it through their own. Dude, can somebody get close to me? Jesus. Fine, I'll throw it out. I hope you get it. And he didn't get it. There's just no rules on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Throw 
it up, throw it up, throw it up, throw it up, throw it up. Oh, a ball hog ass. I hope you get hit. Oh, never mind. That's my guy. No! Oh my god. I If I thread that needle, it was done. That was so close. I think a lot of people dunk on, like, kids on the internet, you know what I mean? And, like, they'll, they'll be mad at, at, at kids for expecting something or being entitled or whatever. But I also think there's no, like, precedent or expectation or rulebook for this stuff. And a lot of creators have kind of poisoned the well by making stuff, you know, whether it's intentional or not, making things too personal. Like YouTubers that say I love you guys at the end of their videos. It's a small thing, but it's weird. You know what I'm saying? Everybody makes fun of kids for liking FNAF. It's like they're fucking children, man. Let let kids like stuff, you know? I bet I would have thought that was cool as hell when I was young. Saying love you guys is weird. It depends on how you put it. You can love your community and your fan base for what they are as a mass. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, you know, I, like saying I love you for the life that you've allowed me to have and for supporting me. That's one thing. But I've seen people be like, I love you guys. You're awesome. You guys are, are amazing people. Like that kind of shit. That makes it like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Gets a little different. I love this fan base is different. I love you, each of you individually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you can love a community. There's nothing wrong with that. And I, I don't... Again, I don't think it's maliciousness from a creator's part. Because I think a lot of the time it is coming from a place of innocence. And I don't think they realize that they're cultivating that kind of fan base. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just... It's, it's ignorance. That's all. I can't believe you're only playing well now on the last stream of this. It takes a while to get good at, bro. Hard to master. It's a funky dynamic that we as a society don't handle too well. It's nobody's fault. It's just with the abundance, the deluge of information that we're subjected to every day, it's there's going to be some weirdness. And all you can do is try to handle it the best you can. Unironically, I think that, uh, I think being called out for it is the best way to get it, like, I, I think being a little mean about it and being called out about it is the easiest way to make it stick. I don't want to call it bullying, because I think that's too far, but, like, having an interaction that you can look back and be like, oh, God, that was embarrassing. I think that really does sort of stick in people's minds more rather than a gentle, like, hey, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And obviously don't go too far with it or anything, but I remember interactions where I was being weird on TF2 a long time ago, and it shaped me. Like, I remember, like, being called out, and I was like, wow, I, that, huh, that's a good point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've had those. I'm not above it. I was young on the internet. You gotta be called out but not bullied. Yeah, exactly. And I think people change in private. Like, you don't make fun of somebody consistently in public to their face. It's like people reflect on that and they're like, oh, that was weird. I shouldn't have done that. You know what I'm saying? Coney got told you can't say that. No, I, it was never like that. For me in TF2, I think I... I don't know what it was. I was being annoying. I might have been really whiny in a team game. I actually had an experience in League where, uh... I was just being a whiny... I love this story. I was being just, like, a whiny asshole. And I had a friend who played Smash that played Sona, and he played supports. And I was just being a whiny dick. Because, like, we had lost a bunch of games, whatever. This was, like, eight years ago, nine years ago. And I was just being a, a dick, and I'm, I'm being an asshole to pretty much everybody. 
and my friend is just out of nowhere. He's just like, hey, dude, uh, you can't fucking talk to me like that. This isn't okay. You need to fucking stop now or I'm not going to play with you anymore. And I was like, you're right. Yeah. I was like, dude, yeah, okay, you're right. And it just snapped me out of it, and then I stopped. And he was a guy who was really quiet. Like, he didn't talk much at all. So it, like, really meant something. But you kind of need that, you know what I mean? I think friends need to do that for other friends. I'll never forget that moment, you know what I mean? He's a good guy. And let, and I should also be clear, him and I were not close friends. Like, it took a lot of bravery for him to do that. He wasn't, like, cool enough with me that he would know that I would take it okay. Does that make sense? Like, him and I were, like, pretty close acquaintances, but he was a good guy. And I'll never forget that interaction. I feel like people need that, you know? And it's not like he stopped playing with me or anything. He, he like, set his boundary and was like, hey, that's not cool. And I was like, you're right. My bad. And then we just didn't do it anymore. Was a good guy, damn rip him. No, we just don't talk anymore. I think he, like, really got away from Smash. Uh, we, we played for, like, two more months after that, but, like, we just didn't play much anymore. But I'll always remember that guy, because that was a big deal to me, you know what I'm saying? I see now why you call out chats so much. I mean, like, usually it's joking. I'll be mean if I have to be. You know? There was uh, one incident a long time ago on stream and maybe old heads will remember this, where somebody, uh, like, somebody name-searched me on Google, right? And they found my wedding site. So, like, it was a site that Mallory put together for both of us uh, for our wedding, for, like, a registry and stuff like that. And somebody found it and was, like, posting it, like, LOL, look at this site. You know, Tony made this site. And the whole joke was just, like, Tony has a personal life, I guess. And, uh, I had to stop stream, and I'm like, hey, like, do whatever you want with me. I don't care. It's funny. It's a bit. I, I don't really care. But, like, when you involve my wife or people who aren't consenting to this kind of interaction, shit gets really weird, and I wish you wouldn't do that. Uh, and I had to, like, stop the stream. I was like, don't do that anymore. And again, to his credit, the guy took it really well. He was like, okay, you're right, my bad. And he was typing in chat, he was like, yeah, I'm sorry. But he stopped coming around to the stream, which sucks. I feel like he was probably embarrassed, and he didn't want to show up anymore. Uh, which sucks, because he was really funny, and he was a funny chatter at a time when, you know, I only had 100 viewers. Um, maybe he changed his name and he's still around, I don't know, but I still remember, remember his name. And you know, if he felt embarrassed, that's fine, whatever. That's the risk you run with that kind of interaction. I'm not sad that I did it. I'm glad that I did it. But it's still, you know, that's something that can happen. Were the early days better than now? No, they were just different. I played more weird games, which I think is more like what I'm into. Uh, I wish I had the capacity to play more weird games, but I think about, like, I kind of have to think about viewership a little bit more now. I don't think they were better. I think it's just different. There was a time where I didn't want to react to anything, right? Uh, I, I sort of thought of it as a point of pride. But as I've sort of done more stuff, I'm like, yeah, it's fun. And I don't know why I thought I was above fun. You know what I mean? Watching stuff with Chad is a fun time. It's weird to have this, like, superiority complex over it. And I was never, like, superior about it. But I didn't want to do it because it felt lazy. Does that make sense? channels have seen is pig food in the content world for years. Yeah, but I, I don't like I, like a lot of people will make jokes about TikTok, right? And I'll bring up TikTok on the stream and like people will make jokes or whatever, you know, pog and horse leave. But my viewership is very high when I'm doing TikToks. <laughs> uh, the numbers are high. So, I, you know, people either love the content slop or it's a different audience. Either way, it's worth trying. You know what I'm saying? 
and it is fun. It is fun. You laugh, you lose is genuinely fun. React Wars is fun. You know what I'm saying? There's an art to making pig food look good. Exactly, yeah. It's how you package the pig food. It is the marketing and the branding around it. You know? I make fun of the content slot, but I laugh at it at the same time. Yeah, it's great. I love it, honestly. Like tonight, you know, I've been playing a lot of games lately. And tonight, it was really good to, to be home from a tournament and just be like, all right, tonight, I'm going to watch YouTube and, like, turn my brain off and just talk with people. Just talk. It's really an excuse to talk with chat, you know what I mean? More than anything. It's nice. And actually have high viewership. Well, yeah, my viewership's been tough this month because I've been doing so much gameplay which again I'm not complaining about because I've taken a lot of sponsored streams which have been very good so but it is a choice you know Hunger Games is the best series obviously again I, I enjoy doing Hunger Games I don't like doing it that much because I in no world do I want that to be my thing you know what I'm saying maybe once every three months Throw me a pass, bro. Throw me a pass. Just score. Just score. Okay. Laugh and go to the Shadow Realm was really funny. Dude, in my head, I wanted to do that once a month. And have different scenarios where I die. A piano falls on my head. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm in a cage above a shark. Like, different effects. Like, really stupid cartoonish Looney Tunes stuff. But I just never found the time. So now I'm, I'm, I want to do it again sometime. I loved, uh, you laugh, you die. I think it's very fun, but I've only done it once. Oh, I think we lose. That was a good block. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. No. Oh my God. That block was sick. Oh. No way that didn't hit. Oh, he's gone. Been so long since you've done it too. You laugh, you die was so good. I showed it to multiple friends. Well, the issue that... Uh, the reason I'm scared to do it too... What if it lasts like 10 seconds? You know what I mean? What if the first video just bangs? Because I want to do it randomly on like a Saturday night when I'm not streaming. So I kind of want it to go for a little while. I like them being random pop-up streams in the middle of the day. You know what I'm saying? Or not the middle of the day, but just randomly on days. Sub now to revive Kony? Oh my god. You've just given me a $5,000 idea. Oh no! Kony died! Save him! That's terrific. I could put, like, the Street Fighter Game Over music. Insert sub to continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Holding the stream hostage. I think there's a fine line between doing funny, like, holding shit back from chat for subs and, like, actually just begging for money. Does that make sense? Like, there's a fine line between, like, I will not start this stream until I get 10 subs, and, like, stream brings me to life. Does that make sense? There's bits, then there's greed. Yeah, there's a fine line, right? I'm trying to find something in the middle. Gotcha stream might go hard. <laughs> Thanks, Ponzito. Big us for the tier one.
Dude, we could do just like the Germa trading card thing, but do that for Gotcha. <laughs> Dude, my lips are so chapped. It hurts. How about a stream where if you die in a game, you can sub to continue or you go to another game? Uh, that might work with like an itch.io stream, or like a grab bag. It's not a bad idea. I think it might get a little old though. So there are three things to any content, which is like, you have the sell, the stakes, the stakes, and the stay, right? So the sell is the idea of it. How do you sell that to people? Stakes is like, if I lose, I lose $100, right? That's something that you have at the beginning. And then the stay is like, how do you keep people engaged the whole time? That's like a general way of thinking about stuff, you know? And it's like, if it's, if it's sub $5 and I'll have another life, it's like, you have no promise that the next game's gonna be good. Which might be powerful, because then it's like, oh, what could it be next? But I don't know if that's compelling enough to keep people going, you know? Is that true for YouTube too? Yeah, but on YouTube, sell is number one. Getting people to click through clickbait is the, the, the biggest thing. By a mile. I put out so many amazing videos that just, I, I feel like, didn't perform because, like, they're impossible to clickbait. On the flip side, I had no idea that fucking fighting game, weird fighting game character video would actually do anything. Wheelchamp has actually done very well on the channel, despite just being an excuse to react to not videos. I fucking love Wheelchamp. I've always described your channel to my friends as anti-YouTube. I think I had an idea when I first started doing the content thing two years ago that I wanted to be like, almost like a, a tongue-in-cheek parody of a content creator, but because of Poe's Law, you, you can't, there's no way to be a fake content creator, right? Then you're just a content creator, but different. You know, like, there's no way to do that. You know what I'm saying? There's no, there, there's no cut in the middle unless you put a lot of effort into making the distinction, but then that's just a normal YouTube channel because it takes so much time. Does that make sense? It's a really weird balance. I can't pass it. I'm trying. Being ironic only works when you're in on the joke. Kind of, yeah. I mean, like, Watch Mojo at its core is content sludge, right? It's like pink chicken slime. And the whole bit is like, we're reacting to what is nutritionally vapid content. But it's kind of fun. <laughs> like, it's actually a kind of a good time. So is it really ironic? Is it really ironic if it's a good time at the end of the day? Not really, right? It's like laughing at Facebook content. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you can't really say it's different. You can't have a have a have a line in the sand that like, oh, this is valid and this isn't. I, I felt it. I had the spidey sense, dude. I hit that dodge without even seeing him. And now it's 2v3. Give me the boost, bro. Just throw me a pass. No! I was too fast! Alright, now throw me a pass. <laughs> there you go, bro. There you go. That wasn't my fault. That was not my fault. Throw me a pass, bro. Throw me a pass. Tony, are you going to play the quarry? Brother. Brother. <laughs> that is actually a clueless moment. You got to look at the VODs, man. It's literally right there. I played it. Uh, I got the good ending. Everybody lived. Nobody's a vampire. 
I didn't even try to get the good ending. Mobile moment. The crazy thing is that, like, there's only one part of that game where all the characters can die. And by that, I mean, like, one part each where they actually can die. It is very hard to get characters killed in that game. Except for, like, I don't know, the Emma thing was just me, be me silly champing, right? Emma dying. The, the Abby thing, I... There's a weird thing in uh, these games where, like, the obvious choice is so obvious, I'm like, okay, this has to be a bait. So, like, shooting Nick or uh, shooting Silas at the end of the game, it's, like, so clear what you should be doing that I'm like, okay, this can't be real. There has to be a second twist. Did Coney watch the EE clip? No, actually. I need to. I saw the clip of what happens if you don't shoot it, but I didn't watch EE's version. I, wa I read the subreddit, and it had a really good point, which was like... It had a really good, uh... Because I was trying to, like, catch up on story stuff that I missed. And it said that they thought the, the twist was going to be... Silas has nothing to do with the curse. You actually have to kill the witch. So you kill the, the boy for no reason. And I was like, oh, that's kind of a neat idea, right? But no, it was nothing like that. You just shoot the, the wolf in the back and that's it. The plot twist sucked. I don't even know if there was a twist. Is it that Chris is a is a werewolf? I don't know. Bro, we're about to lose a 2v3. <laughs> the best twist was the loose stare doing nothing. Oh, dude, apparently that's, like, on purpose. They put that in specifically to make players scared. Which is amazing. I love that. I'm a big fan of that. However, it doesn't work when so many other choices actually don't matter, right? Like, you can only do that bit if if the other choices do matter. It feels like, for the most part, they don't. Oh my god, I'm fast. No! Oh my god! Oh! You shot Granny's face off and had zero consequences. <laughs> Definitely shot Grandma in the mouth. Yeah, I did do that. Dude, that swimming part at the end is so funny to me. Because I thought Max was gonna have like hypothermia. You know, all the stuff in the game said don't go in the water. So I was like, oh, there must be like a monster in the water. No. <laughs> It's just, if you go in the water, there will be a monster at the end waiting for you. That is so funny to me. What happened to Jacob? Uh, he was just crying in the woods alone. And he survived the night just by doing that. Apparently that scene where he's crying in the woods alone, if you hit some kind of thing, uh, him and Emma reunite, and he can explain to her that he's the reason that they're there, but I don't know how to get that. Because in my game, Emma ended up with Abby in that room. Did you ever watch the ending podcast, or is it a YouTube moment? No, it's YouTube. As far as I can tell, there are 10 evidence things in the game. And for every one you get, you get, like, a five-second long, like, uh, speech thing. Not five seconds, but, like, I don't know. 60-second long speech thing where they'll be like, oh, they found this note or they didn't find a note or whatever. And it's just individual pieces. So. This game low-key looks mad fun. I'm, I, I love it, dude. 
I wouldn't have taken the sponsorship if I didn't enjoy it. Seriously. This is very good. Did we ever watch the death movie? No, I watched it on my own. It's not... Again, characters can only really die at one, maybe two spots each. Oh, I finished the battle pass? Oh, shit! Roller pass complete! <laughs> oh my god, it ends in 11 hours. Wow. Have you played TMNT yet? No, not yet. A bunch of my friends bought it. I want to play it with them. But... It's fun, but queuing takes a while for me. Does it? Are you, like, really high up? I feel like I'm getting matches mad quick. And with crossplay, I feel like that wouldn't be an issue, but... EE clip? Hold on. Boy! Wait, I can't watch this. This is a sponsored stream. <laughs> I'll watch it after. I'll watch it after. I'll watch it after. <laughs> How did he miss? I think it's like, if you don't shoot at the right time, uh, Chris moves, and as soon as he starts moving, you, you're dead. Dude, the game kept saying the shotgun has a giant range. I thought that was going to mean something. I thought that meant don't shoot the shotgun because you're not going to hit the thing. It never happened. It was crazy. The game kept having all these red herrings. Apparently, the uh, somebody in chat told me the uh, at the part in the scrapyard, the choice between honking the horn or shaking the car, neither matters. Either way, both things work. Until Dawn had a more interesting piece since I know little about Wendigos, but went werewolves feel very surface level. I actually really like the werewolves here because uh, they weren't just like wolves, right? They were like lichen throats, which I thought were super cool. I actually loved the uh, the way they were handled in this game. Yeah, the skin explosion thing is super cool. But I, I kind of wish it would have been really cool to get a character that knows how to handle it. Like, let's say the, the grandma or the grandpa, and they've been through it so many times that, like, they just pop. They don't have, like, the big transformation scene where they're like, oh, my God, I'm about to change whatever. They know what's going to happen, and they just, like, pop out of nowhere. All their skin comes off. You know what I mean? That would have been really cool. <laughs> okay, never mind. I feel like there wasn't a lot of variation in the game at a certain point. Like, it didn't have that many surprises, but it's fine. There, are, there were a lot of times that I psyched myself out with questions that didn't even, like, <laughs> they weren't even thought of. Does that make, like, I was thinking harder than the writers. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Jesus. Did you see that you could save Dylan's hand? I, I, somebody in chat told me, but I didn't know how. I had no idea how you could do that. Apparently you, like, in the cabin, you tell them to go to the other cabin or distract them, and he doesn't end up on your cabin, right? Maximum. I wish Dylan having one arm impacted him controlling the crane. Yeah, that's weird that it didn't, right? I was thinking that too, because I feel like you need two hands to control that, but... I'm not forklift certified, so I can't tell you. Game didn't seem as scary as Until Dawn. Uh, I really want to see them do a game that doesn't have supernatural elements. Maybe that wouldn't be as scary for most people. 
because uh, I feel like most horror now is supernatural in some element. But I don't know. I like slasher shit. Like, I like shit that could feasibly happen. You know what I mean? I think that's way more interesting. And I think the idea of, like, an until, or uh, a heavy rain style of story, where it's like you don't know who to trust, you're playing as all these characters, but some of them might be, you know, one of them is not truthful. I think that's really cool. There are a lot of plot holes in that kind of design, though, because, like, Heavy Rain has a lot of sp uh, spots where you play as the killer, and you're, like, trying to investigate the murder, and it's like, why are you doing that alone <laughs> if you know you're doing it? Man and Madame was that? Yeah, but it had all the supernatural shit at the end, right? Or at least the hallucination. You think some dev can recreate the scary movie franchise feeling but with video games? Like, scary movie as in, like, the franchise scary movie as in, like, parody shit? Or scary movie as in, uh... Oh, I thought I had the ball. Or scary movie as in, like, actual scary movies, like a horror movie. Parody shit? Actually, my friend had the best idea of that I've ever heard. My friend had an idea for an Ill Bleed remake. Uh, because the whole game is based around, like, B-horror movies and whatever. But he really wanted to do the, uh, play up the audience bit. Because the game is about, like, surviving the night through various B-movies and stuff. And there are all these traps in the game that you have to sense to know that they're coming up. But the way that he thought it could work is instead of, like, a sense meter that you have to be looking at all the time, there's an in-game audience, and when you get close to a trap, they, like, hold their breath, or, like, uh... Or, like, the crowd starts making noise, and you know that something is up. And I think that's cool as hell. The idea of, like, an audience in the game that you have to keep track of. I think that's a really neat idea. I would love an Ill Bleed remake with, like, cool shit in mind. I do think it's possible. If you mean like video game mechanics, scary movie style, I think the Simpsons game tried to be like a parody game, but like, I don't know how you make a parody of a shitty game mechanic without just making a shitty game. Because then you're just like, LOL, fetch quest suck, huh? Anyway, find this thing that I'm asking you to find eight times. It's like, okay, you're still making me do it. No more heroes did that and everybody hated it. It was like, wow, it really sucks you have to do this boring chore work, but you're gonna do it anyway. Watching this game makes me realize I take for granted that your team is always blue to you. Dude, I've said that repeatedly. I keep forgetting what team I'm on. Like, when I start up a game, I'm legitimately confused. But I'm stupid, so that I figured that's all. I feel like you can't do a game parody, like, of a bunch of different shitty game mechanics, because there's too many of them. But you could do, like, a couple, right? A lot of games do that. Yeah, I'm camping. Fuck this. Stop. Oh, I was gonna stop. Yoop! Oh, they can't. Yoop! <laughs> Yup! <laughs> How foolish. <laughs> Let me do some squats. There we go. <laughs> That's tough. Dude, I've heard Conquer is so bad. Because you were just talking about Conquer. Conquer is apparently so fucking bad. Like, going back to it now. Does this game have proximity all chat? No, but I wish it did. It'd be very funny. Apparently there is team chat, but... Oh, wait, did I get a... Oh, I got a loot ball. I don't know how I got it, but... 
is a skate. Those are not good skates. I wish I could recraft that. Ugh. Banjo also sucks. Well, hold on a minute there, player. <laughs> Come on. Relax. We love Banjo here. I actually have no idea if Banjo is, uh... Oh, oh, you get a loot ball for every tier over. Oh, that's sick. Okay. I actually have no idea if Banjo is still good or if it's just nostalgic. Because I played it all the way through and I liked it, but... I was into it. I would love to see... Dude, I wish Banjo-Kazooie had achievements so we could track, like, how many people beat, like, each level. You know what I mean? Cleared Rusty Bucket Bay, cleared Mumbo Mountain, all that stuff. That would be awesome. Oh, it's on Xbox? Oh. I love Banjo. But I hate Banjo-Tooie, so, uh, <laughs> I don't know. The boat level would be where it cuts off. I love Rusty Bucket Bay, bro. That's one of my favorite levels. Ladies but I hate Banjo Tooie. I hate Banjo Tooie. Banjo has had one out of three good games. I know. It's not a good series. I played Nuts and Bolts for like 10 minutes. I hated it. But I'm not a creative guy. I don't like Legos. I don't want to make my own shit. I, I don't like that in games. Not a fan. Did you play ukulele? Yeah, it was fine. It's fine. Wasn't crazy about it. I played the other game that was like the Donkey Kong style game. The, the Impossible Maze or whatever. Impossible Lair. Again, it was fine. Like, I don't know how you elevate that now. It might just be nostalgia and because we were playing that for the first time. But it does not feel... I don't know. The same. Have you ever played Viva Pinata? No, but I've heard it's good. I like these streams where you aren't trying to make content for YouTube and just being chill. Yeah, I mean, these are just gameplay streams. We're relaxing. We just get to talk. It's nice. Like I said, I want to do this stuff more. And I think the best way to do it is to do, you know, sponsored stuff. Because I think sponsored stuff, like, allows... A lot of opportunity to just play games and just relax, you know? Not to say that you can't do it without being sponsored, but... Also, there aren't a lot of games coming out. So being able to do this with new games is really nice. There are some games coming out soon, though, because, like, Cuphead's out soon, and... I, I literally changed my flight to Gommel so I could play Cuphead. Alright, bro, that's enough. What? That didn't hit?! Oh, no. It's over. It's fucking over. Wait, he left the game? <laughs> my dude left the game before the game. Oh, my God. That's insane. <laughs> that horror mechanic your friend came up with is legit an amazing idea. I know, yeah. He's had a lot of really good ideas for stuff like that. I, I genuinely think... If you remade Ill Bleed now, it would kill. I think it's so weird. It's 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 got that same like FNAF flavor. It's a shitty game, gameplay wise, but it's so goofy. I really think it could do well. I love Ill Bleed. Tony, what's your favorite cocktail? I don't drink. Uh, but if I was going to get one, I'm in, I like Mai Tais? I like tropical shit. Is that a cocktail? I don't know. I actually don't know what a cocktail like, I don't know what the difference is. I like Mai Tais, though. Twisted tea without alcohol? That's just tea. <laughs> What are you talking about? I I told people this story before. I so I never drank. 
Um, hold on, I gotta put on the clothes. I gotta wear the new outfit. Edit. Oh, I see. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Wait, do I have this too? Oh, I see. They changed this up. Okay. Um, I went to New York, and I never drank before. And Mal and I went to go see Hamilton, and we went to a piano bar, like a dueling piano bar. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to try to get wasted. And we bought so much alcohol, and I didn't feel it. I might have been slightly buzzed, she said. But I had, like, eight shots. Uh, uh, uh like, two or three my time. Like, I drank a lot. We spent, like, $60 of alcohol on me specifically. I didn't get any of it. How much did you eat? I think I ate a lot. I think I had a full tummy. And I don't know how serious the eight shots were. Like, I don't know if they were, like, you know, super alcoholic. They might have watered it down. But... And I'm not a big guy. I'm 5'9", uh, 175, 180 maybe at the time. Like, I wasn't huge, right? So. Do people question you when you say you don't? Because I turn 21, I have no idea what to say when I turn people down. Yeah, I, that happens to me a lot, especially at events. Usually, I don't have to worry about it because people think that I am drunk. Because, like, you know, if I'm at a party, I'm matching the mood. I'm not trying to bring people down. Because one of the most annoying things at a party is when people find out that I'm sober, and they're like, oh, are you drinking? You're like, no, and they're like, oh, man, I really respect that. I'm like, why do you fucking respect it? I don't care if you respect it. Don't pay attention to me. You have a good time. I don't want you to notice me. I don't like it when people, like, make me being sober and not drinking into a conversation. You know what I mean? It's weird. I hate being the one sober guy at a party, don't get me wrong, but, like, I don't want to talk about it, you know? Um... But usually it's not an issue, because I'll, like, match the mood of the room. You know, I'm trying to have a good time. I'm not going to, like, bring everybody down. So. Anyway, I didn't answer your question. Usually I'm just like, no, I'm not drinking. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't fuck with drunk people. You know what it is? I swear to God this is true. I, since I haven't been drunk, I can't tell when a drunk person is about to punch me in the mouth. Swear to God this is 100% true. I feel so not at ease around drunk people. I don't know what they're going to do. So I don't like fucking with them because I don't know if they're going to be mad at me. That sounds like a joke. It's not. I just... I'm scared. I can't read body language of a drunk person. Because I've never been drunk myself. So I don't know. Oh, that's so foolish that you went for that. Oh, don't do it, Tom Coney. Don't do it. Oh, no, boy! <laughs> oh, the Nutbuster 360 Deluxe. Oh, no. He'll never have kids. It's over. The Torsionator. I can't read a sober person. I think that's what it is. I'm very good at, like, reading people's intentions for the most part, I think. If we're in person, anyway. That's why I hate Among Us. Because I can't fucking... I, I can't lie to ten people at once and, and, and get reads on people when they're just swiping cards. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty good at that. But when they're drunk, it, it all tells go out the window. I think they're all new tells that I'm not privy to. Oh, that's in. That's you, baby. That's you. Oh my god, there's so many people. Oh. He sucks at Among Us. He does, and he's miserable that Among Us was the popular game. Because I had to try playing it, and I wasn't having fun. I had a lot of fun when I played with my friends who were also very bad. But there was this real pressure to play Among Us at the time. Even if you, like, didn't know people, or you weren't cool people, whatever. Just to, like, you know, play it. It's a big collab opportunity. But the whole time, I'm just like, ugh. I can't lie to all these people. I don't play the game that much. I don't know the meta, you know?
One of my nicest friends always kicks me in the nuts when he's drunk. Oh god, that's terrifying. I think one of the issues that I had to is when I used to, when I lived at my mom's place. So I lived at my mom's place with a bunch of roommates. And uh, I had a bunch of friends that were like blackout drunk like every weekend kind of thing, right? They were smashers too. Um, lived with them. And there was a guy named Joey that would get drunk and just piss on the floor. He would get out of bed and blackout drunk just start going on the floor. And you'd be like, Joey, what are you doing, dude? And he'd be like, oh, no, it's okay. And he'd be like, what? And he'd be like, oh, no, mom said it was okay. It's like, dude, you are, you're somewhere else. And I think because of that, I have no idea what to expect out of drunk people. Because they all act fucking different. Jesus, yeah. My friend and I, here's a story. <laughs> this one, this one's getting a little, uh, a little deeper. I have one of my best friends. I love this guy to death. Lived with me for a few years, and, uh, we were super close, but he kept letting people get, like, blackout drunk and, like, smoke weed in my house, right? And I'm like, dude, I don't care what you do, I'm not making judgments, whatever, but you have to do it in your car, because my mom works for the government, and if that shit gets traced back or if her clothes smell like something, she's gonna get in a lot of trouble. I don't care what you do, just don't do it here, okay? Please, don't do it here. That's all I care about. I don't care what you do. I don't care. And, uh... Not only did he keep doing that shit, he got worse. To the point where, like, his friends were bringing, like, hard shit into my house. Like, really bad shit. And, uh, I had to kick him out. He was one of my best friends. I had to kick him out of my house. And I don't even think he was the one doing it. He wasn't even the one doing it, but he was such a pussy. He was a pushover that he wouldn't tell his friends not to do it. And I'm like, dude, okay, you're, you're just a piece of shit. Like, I, I don't want to hang out. So, yeah, him and I just, uh, we, we had to go our separate ways after that. It was pretty bad. I lived with Gimmer and Apostle for a time. That was fine. No issues there. They were great. I lived with TK for a little bit. He was fine, but TK was sad because I'm not... Like, he had these ideas that we'd be, like, playing video games all the time and hanging out. And, uh, I don't do that. <laughs> I am a hermit. I am... I am in my cave a lot of the time. Just by myself. And I think he was sad because, like, I, I just... I would come home from work and just do nothing. And I know that was sad for him. I'm super introverted, so, and I don't think he was ready for that. And I told him that, but there's a difference between, like, telling people that and them seeing it. You know what I mean? Good block. I'll give it up. Oh, no! Get that ball. Get that fucking ball! What's going on? No way they score here. No! Let's go! Oh, my God. Oh. That might have been, I think, the first block I've ever had. Thank you, Jar Shafid. I don't think I've ever had a block in this game. And when it matters most. Oh, Jesus. I'm super introverted. The guy talking to 600 people. Doesn't mean I'm not introverted. I can talk to people. I'm not shy. It's just, uh, you guys should see me after these streams, bro. I'm tired. I'm beat. I get very tired. Especially after tournaments. Oh my god, I need like two full days to recover. Except for tonight, because I actually was very excited to stream again. I missed you guys. Unironically. And not very socially. I missed talking to people and hanging out with streams. I was very excited for tonight. It was a good time. Yeah, I get super drained by social interaction. It's bad. Yeah, I especially missed your money. Yeah, I had a lot of decay. And, you know, getting that number up made me feel a lot better. So, thank you. Alright, fine, whatever. I want that game to be over. That's too stressful. Too stressful. Yeah, uh, that- I almost said his name. Jeez. That guy was my boy. He was a really cool- Oh, they were a trio. What the fuck? Okay, never mind. Same outfit and everything. 
I really like that guy, but I don't know. I don't even know why I brought up that story. Oh, because it was in that. Yeah, okay. Because the whole drinking thing, yeah. Dude, there was a point where I uh, <laughs> I found weed in... Uh, tell me if I'm wrong here. Tell me if I'm the asshole here. Because I've heard differing perspectives, and it kind of pisses me off. Tell me if I'm the asshole here. I found... I told them, don't smoke weed in the house, no matter what. Because my mom works for the government. I'm not tracking that shit. We're going to lose everything. Okay? I found weed in their room once. Like, on the dresser. They didn't even hide it. I just threw that shit in the garbage. I threw it away. I'm like, I'm not dealing with this bullshit. I threw it away. It was the guy's girlfriend. And she came up to me later. She was like, hey, uh, did you go into our room? I'm like, yeah. I was looking for a cable. And uh, I, I found some stuff and I threw it away. And I, I caught her before she even knew. I was like, yeah, I found it and I threw it away. She was like, okay, well, I know you told us not to do it in there, but that was actually, like, really expensive and it was a lot. So, and I didn't know. I don't know how fucking much it was because I don't do that shit. And she's like, so do you still have the trash bag? And I did, but I said no. I was like, yeah, I don't know where it is. And I was like, I don't know what happened. No, I, it's gone. And I, and my friend, his, her boyfriend, you know, the guy who I was with, said that I was an asshole for doing that. And then I told a mutual friend, and he said I was an asshole for doing that. And that mutual friend is still one of my best friends. And I'm like, dude, I, why are you not on my side here? Him and I are still friends, very close. But I couldn't believe he was off my side on this one. I was in the right. Okay, good. Thank God. Dude, I told him, I was like, you, he paid like 300 a month in rent. And I'm not kidding. It was like 300 or 400. It was crazy. Because the house was kind of shitty. It was very cheap. Thank God you can get validation from randoms on the internet. Yeah, thank God. Whew. My heart is now at ease. <laughs> No, I just, I couldn't believe that shit, dude. I was, I was, uh, gobsmacked. I feel like people who do drugs and spend a lot of money on them would be inclined to say you were in the wrong. Maybe, I get, like, like I said, maybe it was mad expensive. I don't know, but. I was furious, dude. Bro was flabbergasted, yeah. I love words for that. I gotta find more. Th uh, oh my god, look at my outfit. Was I wearing this last game? I didn't even notice. Now I'm looking at it. This shit is cool. As a person who does drugs, that, that friend is at fault. Well, the issue was that my friends were all like in that camp where like I think I'm better than them because I don't do that shit. So they had this like intrinsic insecurity about it, which I think painted all of our interactions like they thought that I judged them. And I genuinely didn't. I just didn't want to lose our fucking house, which my mom was basically paying for because we paid 300 a month in rent and I had no money. You know what I'm saying? Flummox. That's a good one. That's a good one. Tony should scroll Am I the Asshole? Dude, I've wanted to. I love that Reddit. I would love to go through that Reddit for content, but it feels tired because everybody else has done it. I need a gimmick. I've thought about this. I actually had an idea for a show. Don't steal this. Okay. Actually, I shouldn't tell you. I've had an idea for a show with that Reddit. It involves a collab. I'm not going to tell you. Shut up. Yes, okay. Shut up. Okay, got it, got it. You guys would not believe how many ideas I've had stolen. Vince hates me. I just have a lot of ideas. Oh. Yo. Shit. 
But why is there? Look at them blocking. I'm not gonna move, bro. I'm staying over here. That dude is diving. You, one of you guys has to defend me. All right, bro. Ow! Geez. What an asshole! It was great to meet you at Crown to this past Thank weekend. Thank you, much, I'm super pumped that we got a picture, but I feel kind of bad because I made you look like a child next no, to me. You did. Wait, did you? Great Wait, that might be true. Were you the super tall guy? That's actually true. Dude, there was a really tall guy that I took a picture with. Is that you, much, lad? That actually might be true. <laughs> Somebody made a joke about uh, me being short in a, in a thing and he's a little bit taller than me, but some guy was way taller than me. Is that you, much lad? Yeah, DM me the picture. Yeah, I would love to show it on stream. If that was you, absolutely. I had three separate people come up to me, and, and, and including the organizer of the event who uh, took me out to lunch. We went out to Kane's, and he was like, we, we get in line for Canes, and literally, as we get in line, he says, Oh, by the way, you're not short, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I know I'm not short. I know. I'm not sensitive about it. It's something chat says. I'm not worried about it. I promise you. And it hurt extra bad because he's like six foot, so he was still a little bit taller than me. But I literally had several people that weekend be like, you're not even short. Why did I think you'd be short? I was like, because you buy into the fucking meme. It's not real. I'm literally average. None of this was like a joke. You guys turn it into a joke. I don't, I'm not tall. I'm just average. It's crazy, dude. People are falling for the fucking meme. And for what? All right, bro. I'm going for three. I'm Mr. Does It himself. Okay. Next time I get the ball, Mr. Does It. I should have done quick play. It's my final game. Is it my final game? What time is it? Ooh, I think I got time for one more after this. I got to go to quick play. For the final ego boost. <laughs> Being a streamer and being under six foot is tough. It truly is. It hurts, bro. Hold on. Oh, Munchlad sent it to me. fucking god oh my god that's a good shot picking me up from daycare bro Munchland, how tall are you don't say 5 10 don't say 6 foot don't you dare don't you dare Coney's head leaning in as well dude it's because when I take a picture of somebody I always lean in this just looks like my head is on his fucking shoulder I always lean in I didn't think about it I'm not trying to stay on my fucking ground I'm only 6'3", I swear. That's not fucking true. We both know that's not true. <laughs> this looks like Coney found his favorite character at Disney World. Oh my god. You're 6'9"? Right, wait, is that real? Now I think you're, you're joking in the opposite direction. I can't tell which one is real. I think you're joking the other way now. <laughs> oh, you're big for real. Okay. Okay, 6'9". Dude, I, that photo is amazing. Holy shit, that's funny. <laughs> when I went up, he was like, hey, can I get a shot? I was like, yeah, you are the only person that's allowed to call me short in this whole fucking venue. God, that was funny. Bro, I'm in triple coverage. 
Ever ran back into Kevin during this game? No, Kevin's gone, bro. God, that's a good shot. I gotta find a way to purpose that, uh, that tweet. Post that picture. Unless you already did, then I'll retweet it. That's good. That's so funny. <laughs> I took a lot of pictures of Crown, man. It was nice. A lot of fans, and they were all like from Utah. It's a lot of people from Utah. It was really cool. Go ahead and post it. I don't use Twitter that much. Good, good, good. I don't know what the caption's gonna be, but that is an excellent photo. Bro, pass me the ball. Are you not passing it because I was mysteriously gone for a couple minutes? Listen, I'm back now. Okay, never mind, Bobo. Bobo, you're a ball hog. Oh. I remember he doesn't miss when it missed. We've had a lot of characters on this stream, bro. I think he doesn't miss with uh, Cam. Wait, we can still win? It's not over. It's not over, bro. Boost it, boost it. Oh, let's go. Boost me. Let's go. Let's go. Keep boosting. Keep boosting. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. I didn't mean to pass the bomb. He's dead. I meant to pass to the other guy. I meant to pass the other dude. That's so sad. Bobo the Lion can't carry the game. He died instantly. I, dude, if if I gave it to the other guy, I think he could have won it. I couldn't do that in triple coverage, bro. Tony passes and regrets it instantly. Yeah, I, that was foolish. Okay. One more match for the fans. Cheeky bit of quick play. I forgot the Rayman music was on. Yeah, it was mad quiet, actually. I'll be Mr. Do-It himself. I'm on it. I'm on it this time. What time is it for you right now? Uh, 130. 133. Like I said, I'm gonna be maybe streaming tomorrow. Maybe not. Uh, I can't stream Thursday. So I'm either streaming tomorrow or Wednesday. We'll see. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is, uh, I wanna pop a web surf because we need more videos because I'm gone. Um, so I think we're gonna pop a web surf. I've got more YouTube stuff to watch. I wanna play that Lego game. Thank you, Munch Lab, for the Prime. Big ups. Uh, and then, I think that's it. I got pictures of all the Japanese players at Crown 2 if you wanna see. I basically harassed all the top players of my height. Yeah, I was gonna say. For as much as, you know, the meme is me being sh short. Dude, T is tiny. T is a tiny fellow. So if you have that picture, that sounds funny. T is a small guy. Uh, I think Ken is average height. I think Ken is like my height, maybe a little shorter, like 5'8". All the Japanese players are really short. Uh, I don't know about Shuton. I've never seen Shuton like up close. But I think so. I think you're right. T is half your age. Is that true? Is T 17 or 18? I met somebody who, uh, a commentator, who was like, how old do you think I am? And I was like, I think 22. He's like, I'm 17. I'm like, you know, I'm double your age, bro. <laughs> Crazy.
All right, hold on. Not that, not that bad. This is Send, who's usually taller than most people. I guess he's like 6'4", 6'5". Luis, not bad. But my picture was taken from above. I got set up. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. That's good. Bro, was my take picture take... Yeah, this isn't fair, bro. Take my picture head on. Why are we taking this with a fucking drone? Come on, man. I <laughs> hate that shot. I don't like that picture, bro. That angle hurts me. You posed for it? Well, I didn't know it would look like that. <laughs> Throw me a pass. Throw me a pass. That feel when no passes in the final game. Uh-oh. Damn it. I wish I could mod the game so that when I had the ball, my theme song played. Uh-oh. Did you guys know Silver Strikes is... Or Silver Scrapes is copywritten? I can't play that. It's fuck master. I think we used it once in a YouTube video and we got copyright claim. What? Oh, he dropped it. Throw me a pass! Throw me a pass! Well, what are you waiting for? Throw me a pass! Well... Wasn't that the Reactor's intro song? Oh, was it? Maybe we did get away with it. I thought we found out that we couldn't do it later, but maybe I'm making that up. When is the secret announcement thing happening? Uh, 29th. Oh, you had to pay for it? <laughs> ah, that's what it was. Bro, this team is a well-oiled machine. Oh, no. Oh, we got an AI now. Okay, well. Wait, is it two AI? Oh, my God, it's 1v3. Oh, hell yeah. The actual ego boost. No, throw me a pass. 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 No! Don't go in. Don't go. Let's go. Okay. All right. It's actually 1v3. No, no, I'm not passing anymore. I'm not passing anymore. This is my game to win. <laughs> is my team trying to tackle me? Oh my god, I thought that guy was on my team. That's unbelievable. Throw me a pass. Throw me a pass, bro. Let's go. What a teammate. Love to see it. I love the fact that the AI never tackles. They're so friendly. Give me a boost. Thank you. You. We go for five here, bro. We go for five. Wait, I'm camping? The AI are pretending to... Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Okay, never mind, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. All right, the AI had enough. No, give me that ball. Let's go! <laughs> Oh god, now I'm scared of them. I'm fucking scared of the AI now, bro. Oh my god. Give me a boost. No, not that way. No, 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 no. Oh shit, okay, never mind. It's the AI. Dude, what is up with the AI? They're so hostile. We're gonna lose. 
Everybody in this game is Mr. Does It himself, including the 1v3 guy. <laughs> he just threw the ball backwards. Dude, this game rules. Oh, what a way to send off World of Champions. Love it. Hey, come here. Throw me a pass. Throw, throw me a pass. Throw me a pass. <laughs> oh my God. He's dead. Throw me a pass. <laughs> he juked to get me off him. Oh my god! Uh-oh! He about to do it himself! Get off me! Everybody's just playing- Oh shit! Everybody's just playing grab ass now. Oh my god, that zoom! Holy shit! This game rules! Oh, we might lose. We actually might lose this game. And I can think of no better way to say- Oh my god. Alright, alright. Don't be a pass, bro. Hey, don't be a pass. Don't be a pass. Let's go! Alright, let's get it. Nope, give me a boost. Okay. Give me another boost. Okay, never mind. Didn't work. No! Where's my team, dude? Actually, I was gonna pass it there. But they weren't in the right spot. We're actually I would lose so many points for this if it was ranked Why would you ever pass it to me in this scenario? Why would you ever pass it to me? He got duffed by the AI By the artificial intelligence All right, bro, here we go. We go for five here Give me the boost. Thank you. Yup! No way! Nope, still mine. No! And I'm out. And I'm out! It was foolish. <laughs> We're gonna go to a draw. Throw me a pass! Throw me a pass! Throw me a pass! Throw... Me, a. <laughs> They're passing to each other. No, don't score! Oh boy, what a final game! No, no, no! Don't be a pass. Pass it up. Pass it up. Throw me. Dude, the, the AI is actually tracking really well now. Bro, why are you hitting me? Leave me alone. Throw me a pass. Throw me a pass. Throw me a pass. Throw me... Okay. What a boring ending. And that's how Roller Champions ends. Not with a bang, but with a whimper. Should have gone for five or go for the, uh, go for the draw. I would have loved the draw. What are the bat wings, bro? He's morb. This is so sad. The 1v3. Oh, never. What? 3v0. He left. It's three AIs. We beat the bots. Hell yeah. Humanity wins again. Guys, remember to check out Roller Champions below the stream. Click the link and check it out on Ubisoft Connect. It's a very fun game. Love the 3v3 gameplay. Okay. Thank you guys for staying up so late. Appreciate it. I gotta go to bed because it's 145. Jeez. I'll miss the dancing. I'll miss the music, bro. It's, it's sad. What can you do? Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow or maybe uh, Wednesday. I, I haven't decided yet. I'll tweet about it. I'll probably make it the stream title, no stream tonight, whatever. Um, thank you guys for all the subs, by the way. We decayed like crazy, and we got like 60 tonight. So I appreciate it. Thank you. 
All right. Uh, no raid. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night.